dominated the world stage. Okay. So we are England. We have this star, which is actually kind of interesting. I mean, what do we think? Three crabs, two wheat, and a dies. A little bit low on production, and by a little bit, I mean a lot low on production. But it could be worse. Yeah, Mr. Jarvis says two hills, crab regional, fish pantheon maybe. <laughs> Lol, Gurren says settle off the coast, TPH, lol. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no ship of the line. Not, not entirely sure. But yeah, it's pretty... The crab regional is not bad. Crabs is not like the... the <laughs> Always settle on a hill. <laughs> oh no. no, we're not doing that. <laughs> but this this looks interesting. We're definitely going to be a bit short on production. We've got strategic balance, so we don't have to worry about it too much. If it looks a bit low on production now, perhaps it'll get better. Crabs could be worse, because at least with a fishing boat, they're three food. <laughs> Must take kill. Yeah, Mr. Jarvis suggests maybe two on the right. We could go two on the right, but I think it moves us too far away from our good stuff. This is actually... I mean, let's let's not, let's not sort of uh, distract ourselves from the fact that this is actually a really nice really early position because we've got two wheat we can go early granary work two really cool tiles and we've got a hill and then we've also got iron and horses to come around this area so i'm pretty sure this is going to be perfectly fine i see no reason to move at all but first yeah i mean we might we might not lose anything going to to the right but we do wait ages to get this wheat into our third into our third ring which is quite a while. We also wait ages to get these crabs into our third ring as well, which is actually a really big impact on the speed of our start. And given how important these tiles are going to be to getting us going, I really don't want to delay acquiring them. Because let's not forget, if we go here, we need to acquire this plains or this hill before we can expand to the wheat. And we need to acquire this coastal tile or this crab before we can expand to any one of the other crabs. So I think... We're going to go in place, but first. It's time to rename the warrior. So, the warrior today. I think we'll go for. There we go. Time to rename the warrior. We go. The warrior is going to be renamed after Gurren first. Oh no, I need to rename it properly. There we go. Gurren's the first chatter in the stream today. I'm going to pick some of this a bit at random. But Gurren, today, the warrior is named after you. We're going to find our settler in place. There's no reason to move at all. Go, scout. Am I on standard game pace? Okay, we're on standard game pace. Cool. <laughs> so, today's game then. We're playing as England. England are a really cool civilization, mostly because of their military units. They have this ability called Sun Never Sets, plus two movement for all naval units and receives one extra spy. Really, really cool. Movement on naval units really increases the viability of doing things like naval attacks. And the extra spy is great because one spy, you know, it's not enough. Two spies is always much, much better. We're on continents map, standard map size, deity difficulty, and standard game pace today. Playing on continents with strategic balance set, setting on. So we're going to move Gurren. I think we may as well go a bit this way. There actually would have been something quite nice to sell here, you know, as well. But oh well, we can settle this for a new city. <laughs> Guren says, I'm going to die to barbs, just you watched. Well, we'll see. You might die to something, Guren. And we definitely want pottery here because the the getting a granary down on these wheat is going to be really good. <laughs> Let's have a bit of an explore with Mr. Guren. Oh, we found Mount Fuji. Perfect. Well, I'll tell you what, we can settle right next to Mount Fuji. Done. Would have had a four fish cap, says Mr. Jarvis. Yeah, I know. But it's fine. We'll find a way to get something like that settled. We need to go away from here. The jungle's too bad. <laughs> Black Vegetable says, Does Guren have a say in the scouting direction? No. Guren, Guren doesn't really have a say in what happens to Guren. This is where the fun begins. But Guren, you did, found, you did find Mount Fuji. Although I wish you could have found a better wonder. Oh, Guren found us a pop ruin. That was a mistake. Guren, you got us a pop ruin at the wrong time. Thanks. See what else is going on here. We've got our scout up now. Probably just go for a second scout. Let's go explore this way where 
Gurren ran into ran into problems. <laughs> Gurren says, "Okay, I see. That's all my fault. It's not your fault. I'm I'm just playing." <laughs> I have full control, exactly. <laughs> Mr. Jarvis asks, PCJ Law, would you say standard is easier than quick versus deity? Um, I think there's a few things to say about standard game pace over quick that make it better or worse than, than, than quick game pace. The whole thing about the basic, the biggest difference really is unit movement. So on, on standard game pace... The unit movement and unit damage is not scaled unlike a lot of the other things that go on which means that the amount of turns you know the amount of turns determines how your conquest is going to go but the amount of turns that your unit is relevant is lower which means that timing pushes are less effective which is why it's much easier to do any strategy that involves war on standard game pace as opposed to quick game pace whereas quick tends to bias a lot more towards peaceful victory conditions because peaceful ones generally depend on movement a lot less so that's what i would say is that it's its biggest impact is on war war becomes so much better the slower the game pace and becomes much worse the faster the game pace Oh, oh, Mike, oh, Mike says, because PC is helping me get better at a game I love and I want to support the stream and you needed a sub party. Oh, well, thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. <laughs> Artie says, name something in gaming Civ. You know what to do. What do we call it? Bratislava? <laughs> there we go. We'll do that. <laughs> I like it. Nice. Okay, let's get oh wait we need to rename the scout of course i forgot there we go mike like has become the scout and let's keep exploring so mike like's got this ruin mike like's become an archer nice <laughs> Uh, you're all in this together, eh? Pottery in one turn, granary next. Perfect. So we can maybe move up now. We've got another scout. <laughs> Our battle shall be glorious. <laughs> Drip of brain says, Mike, you'll be deleted soon. <laughs> Alright, well. There we go. Now who's going to get deleted? We'll see. <laughs> Go and let's keep these barbs asses. Hey, we might be upgrading you to longbowman. You never know. Got animal husbandry next for the horses. Another ruin here. Gurren is going to tactically wait a couple of turns to see if we can grow this time. And then another scout that's found another ruin. Met Prague, nice. I don't know if there's another city down here because Prague is taking up a bit too much space, but I can already see an expansion right here on this hill, which would be really cool because that still gets the bananas. It actually has a little forest chop here, still gets the citrus and two fish, and it's backed right up against Mount Fuji, which could be good. But yeah, not bad settles at all. I wonder if we should have built a shrine, actually. You know what? I'm going to change my mind. We were building a granary. Let's go for a shrine. Firefly joins the stream today. Welcome to the stream, Firefly. Uh, Booker joins the stream today. Welcome, Booker. You weren't here earlier when your resub notification came through. But thank you very much for that. It's very generous, so thank you. Uh, or maybe you were and you were just uh, lurking, but that, that's totally fine if you are. Or if you were. Uh, anyway. Oh, oh, Booker says, no, I was. I was just saying hello to... F oh, 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 <laughs> lol. <laughs> okay, fair enough. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Well, Hi. Apologies. Anyway, Cinefreak2307 joins the stream today. Says, hello from Brazil. Welcome to you in Brazil, Cinefreak. Hopefully you're doing well and welcome to the channel.
the welcome in the boys club nice uh well let's wait one turn before we grow maybe we can go for a settler actually so black vegetable made a good suggestion why not get a settler to get the pantheon off mount fuji that's a good point actually we could do that i wonder if it's uh if it would be a good idea we'll grow first and then we'll sort it gold culture okay so we've grown here I guess we can go settler now. It's 14 turns, though. The Shrine is 4 turns. 10 turns. Plus a few for movement. I It might actually be just about faster, wouldn't it, to just go for a settler? I guess we can do that. But maybe the Shrine can stay, because we might need it. It's in a freak says, thank you. Been watching your videos on YouTube. Nice. Well, welcome to the channel. Ah, America. Hello. Of the United States. We don't need to talk to you yet. We can keep moving Mike like around. Gonna get shot by an archer though. We perhaps could have done with getting an earlier worker here. Let's see if we can steal one off of the city state. Oh, I should have taken the social policy last turn. All right, let's have a look at the social policies. So we've got crabs, we've got citrus, we've got gold, and there is a marble up here. Crab, citrus, gold, marble, dies. That's four... I've counted five luxuries, so that's basically five cities. We we could settle a reasonable amount of our regional luxury, maybe, but not like a lot. Now, I don't know if we want to settle the gold yet, because the city's not great. So I think, unfortunately, tradition just makes a lot of sense. My vegetable says 14 turns is bad. Can it not be improved? I mean, maybe. But we're, I mean, two ones are about the best thing that we can do right now. Because there's no other tires with more production on them unless we buy all the way out to these hills. Which we could do. Actually, I wonder if that will happen. In two turns, we'll try it. Once we get the border expansion off. But there's no reason not to go tradition, I think. We're also on standard speed. Yeah, yeah. Standard speed game settings today, Firefly. Artie says, you know what I'm going to do, PCJ Lord? To be that one guy in the restaurant that only say Magusta bit in chat. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We're going to see how that one goes. <laughs> Uh, Is the following trade of interest to you? No, Washington, we would not like this trade agreement with you. Oh, okay, we stayed near the cattle. That's quite good. Go back and see if we can steal a worker from somewhere. Oh, no. I think Artie is just trying their best at Brazilian. I mean, I thought you were going to give it a real go. I uh, I speak uh, Brazilian. Brazil's Portuguese, right? So I don't know any Portuguese. Sadly, I've, I know a bit of Spanish, but not Portuguese. I I mean, I say I know a bit of Spanish. My Spanish isn't that great, but I guess at least I, some of the, some of the words are similar between Spanish and Portuguese, right? So some of it is comparable, but not all. We found another ruin. Nice. Oh, I should have moved properly here. Portuguese is the nicer cousin of Spanish. <laughs> it's a I don't know about that. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, we didn't... It's, it's changed where it's growing because we're growing to the horse now. Okay, that gets a down turn. Then let's see if we can stick around for... We need to choose research again. We'll go for mining next to chop down some of this forest. But yeah, it's not great, 14 turns. But I think we'll, we'll, we'll solve it. It's fine. And I guess we can take Samarkand's worker here. We're actually going to take a couple of shots. It's fine. We'll just piece them. Guren's already declaring war and capturing citizens. We found the Old Faithful as well now. Nice. And met Bucharest. Does that mean we can buy this hill now? No. Still need some more gold. Uh. Oh. Already got our first bot of the evening. Ah. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, it's a nice early worker, but sadly we are a, a country mile away from our own city, so it's going to take us a while to get it back. But I wanted to just seize on the worker while it was here. And apparently we've got... Is this a hill? Oh, man, we're being shot. Yeah, double shot. Mike might already be dead. Jeez. <laughs> All those bots, thanks again, Scott. 
We can go for bronze working next to reveal the iron, maybe. And then let's see what else we can do in terms of scouting. Okay, Mike survived. Mike survived. Mike is okay. Or will, uh, or will Mike survive? I don't even know anymore. Because this is a hill. There's, there's barely anywhere we can go where Mike doesn't get shot. Jesus, another one. So many bots. That's crazy. <laughs> Mike says I'm built different. <laughs> yeah. So I think if we stay here, we've got 29 hit points. I guess we just get out of here and hope that this thing doesn't shoot us. We've grown, grown to some more crabs. I, I'm hoping Mike survives. Otherwise, this would be a very untimely death for Mike. We found another ruin as well. Jeez. Yeah, the, the number of bots are quite a lot. Yeah, Black Vegetable asks, can it shoot over Old Faithful? I have no idea. We might have just got Mike killed. Mike may, Mike may die. Mike lives. There we go. We can heal Mike now. And we can go and take this ruin. We got a map ruin and found another one. Wow. 20 culture again. It's kind of crazy. We got loads of ruins here. Uh, <laughs> drip of rain. <laughs> Almost got yourself accidentally banned there. Want to be careful you don't fool us too well. Guren's a bit low on health now, but at least Mike is healing. Another barbarian archer down here. We actually need to get the scout back so that we can protect. Oh dear. Apparently Ar <laughs> Artie's into a bit of the role playing. Oh! Guren's upgraded into a spearman. I would have loved, loved to have gotten a pop in at some point in all of these. But I guess spearman will do. That means that Guren's now got more hit points. Which is good, because it means Guren won't get killed. I guess Guren has... The Guren RT has caught on to a bit of an Australian stereotype there. What? I'm your chef and will accompany you in this car meeting, RT. Lol. <laughs> I guess that'll do. Uh, do, do we think Mike has healed enough? Yeah, Mike's healed enough. Let's go meet Washington. See what's going on. You're in squats. <laughs> yeah, I guess he does. He's just upgraded his strength. Let's bring the settler over. I would like to get a granary out now before we go anywhere. That'd be quite good. And maybe grow again if we can. Or do we just keep pumping out settlers now? We started one at three already. We actually need to be a bit careful about workers. So maybe it's like a three city national college into other expansions. How do we make a city work down here though? The production's really bad here. I would like to, but the production's really bad. Up here, loses the deer. Really bad production still. I don't know. I guess I'm not sitting here with Google tra Translate right now. English MP. <laughs> Maybe. We do need to do some... Where are we going to put these cities, though? This is my big question now. So we could try something. This is the only one that's really, like, slam dunk a good choice. Because it's got a balance between food and production. This city down here has absolutely no production whatsoever. And will never. We'd have to chop out the jungle to give it production. But it does have two fish. It's got a deer. It's actually grassland. Or it can go up here for a horse. But this the capital's horse. Maybe iron working will, will reveal something useful. Maybe we can grow a bit for now. And let's just try it. Cellar production will be better after the granary, says Black Vegetable. Yeah, I think so as well. It feels like we should leave it. So we'll do that. We'll also be able to chop the forest out for the settler. Go there because it's safer. 
explore around American territory. Probably a bit too ballsy to steal that worker. <laughs> Black Vegetable says, I would go three city and then conquer, depending on your plan, of course. Yeah, I'm thinking about that as well. It could be three cities and conquer. So it's just about which is better. Like, is a city up here that has no food better than a city that has no production? Probably the no production city is a bit better just because we can at least send it a production trade route. And it's got plenty of food. Probably would need exploration hammers to make it work, but that's fine. We can take that. And let's heal Guren up now. All right, first, can't you just get that last horse for better settler production? Yeah, I think we could as well, actually. We can afford it now. That could work. I wonder. I would settle with the golden prey for Petra. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm long past praying for Petra on dirty difficulty. It does put us in a better luxury position. There's just there's just not a lot here, is there? Even the civil service farms are garbage. And then we can go all the way up to the hill for Mount Fuji. I was going to heal. No, oh, apparently we're dropping a few frames every now and again. That's not great. Apologies, chat. There's not really a lot I can do about it. We can chop this down. And heal the spearmen. We can take legalism now from monument. And we've discovered iron here as well. Wow. Okay, so we've got plenty of production in the capital. Still none here. I mean, this gives up the... If we are to settle this... Oh, thank you. If we are to settle this here, it has no production, and it actually misses the cattle and the horse. If we settle it right here, we give up the deer, but we get both the cattle and the horse, which feels like a better choice. And we just accept that we're not getting the deer. But the deer is like a two production, three food tile. Whereas we get the three food here and a production and another food and a couple of productions from settling a bit north. So I'm thinking I like that. Cinefreak says, what about a city on the forest tile between the lake and the mountain? Oh, in here somewhere, you mean? Yeah, there could be a third city in here. And there's actually silver up there. I was just thinking about coastal cities because we're already... We're already... Um... We're, we're kind of looking for coastal cities because we're thinking about doing some sort of coastal warfare later on in the game. Just work this for a couple of turns and go for granary to go get our Pantheon. Seven turns is a lot to wait for that Pantheon. It's a lot to be working that as well. I didn't realise it was going to be so long. We need calendar next. Vegetable says, I would go southwest of the gold, a reasonable amount of hills, two oasis and a crab. Yeah, this is where, if I'm settling, I think we do this. If we settle this, though, it's kind of like four cities is what we'd be doing, which is fine. I don't mind it. But yeah, this um, we're looking for coastal settles so they can contribute to ships of the line. Girlfriend has delivered me some prawn tempura, which is hopefully quite exciting. Nice. Finish the granary. And then I wonder if we... Do we roll it into a shrine or do we carry on with the settler? There's nothing wrong with a shrine, so to speak. It's just quite difficult to make it work. Or to make it... It's quite difficult to... Oh, Cinefreak says I'm back. My internet is hustling. That's a shame. Yeah, I'm having a few problems as well, actually. I can't really fix it, but... Nice PCJ norm emoji. <laughs> that is what's happening. Hmm. All right. Well, if anyone notices it, <laughs> if anyone notices too much in terms of bad frames or dropping, do let me know and see what I can do. Good says, yeah, not sure if it's me or dropping frames on you. I, I'm dropping frames. I've got the readout on. 
on my Streamlabs OBS. Interesting. I don't really know what I can do to fix it. One of my... Maybe I'm doing something a bit weird. Oh. <laughs> doing something a bit weird with internet connection. See, I'm watching myself stream. That I can't help. So let's stop that. Steam's not doing any downloads. See if it holds better now. Not really. Oh. I don't really know how to fix that. I mean... Aside from sorting out the router, there's not a lot I can do. Hmm. Black Vegetable says, I would build a worker and grow to four pot. We're definitely growing to four pot. The question is what we build off this granary. A worker would be quite nice, actually. We might need it. May also need a work boat. Let's put a pasture on here in any case. It's six turns to grow, so we can do that. A one turn shrine now. I mean, more faith will be good. I don't... I'd quite like to push that, so we'll see. Now that we got the chop through on the shrine. We've met... Oh, lots of city-states around here. Need our Pantheon in just a couple more turns and then perhaps we can actually make London a better city. London's not very good right now. Drip of Rain's a bit scared of this archer right now. Everyone's going to be nicely stationed on the hill though. Um, yeah, alright, we can be friends with America. We've met Riga. Let's use Giron to just block this warrior off. And apparently, this barbarian is running around with a Regan worker. What camp does it want? It wants this camp right there. We might be able to go clear that for them. Return the worker and get some good influence. Is the following trade of uh, no, we're not interested in that trade agreement in America. Spiritburn asks, wait, is Mike dead? No, no, Mike's all the way down here. Mike's, Mike's the archer. We're going to try and chase this down and see if we can steal the worker back for the city-state. Oh, Mike is alive and kicking right now. Don't worry. We've not gotten Mike killed yet. <laughs> Welcome back, Cinefreak. Yeah, I think I'm having some internet issues as well, sadly. I, th I'm pretty I think it's the internet connection. This is a shame. Yeah, yeah, Mike promoted to an archer. Yes, yeah, yeah. Mike, Mike became an archer. He, Mike grew up. There we go. Return the worker to Riga. And we've got a Pantheon. I'm pretty sure we just need to take a Faith Pantheon here. So Faith from Natural Wonders. My reasoning is just that, and we'll grow in five turns and then we'll get back to working it. <laughs> yeah, Mike's not dead yet. Exactly. Ooh, I think that worker is yours next turn. So it's going, yes, it is. Yeah, I mean, I, I just left the warrior. We can almost try and let this camp abuse the city state a bit more. But yeah, the idea is to try and clear this camp now. And then we can hopefully get Riga as big allies. They're even neutral, so that could be useful. Archie says, like, I'm still surprised how you have on every single stream a minimum of 10 people and I'm streaming almost every single day and I have three viewers max. Uh, I mean, that's that's a shame, Artie. I don't really... I mean, I, I haven't come out, come to check out of your stream. I have no idea what you play. But, I mean, the, the general process I followed, I've been watching a few YouTubers teaching kind of how to stream, how to use YouTube to build your stream as well. Because YouTube is where most of this following has come from. I 
I think most of chat found me on YouTube and then came over to Twitch to see the live play. Grow next turn, that's fine. Cinefreak says, I had a few buffering, but I think it was me. No, it was definitely me, Cinefreak. I'm dropping some frames. I don't really know what to do if it carries on. I have no idea how bad it is for you all. Like, if it's really bad. Well, I don't know what I'd do, but if it's still passable, I guess we can make it work. But do let me know if it's pretty... Pretty difficult. Yeah, X Davy and X, welcome to chat. X Davy and X says I came from YouTube. Guren says they came from YouTube as well. PCJ was the only person uploading recent videos on Civ Five. Yeah, that is feedback I've heard a lot actually. Not many people uploading recent videos in Civ Civ Five. Yeah, yeah, everyone chipping in chat saying they came from came from YouTube. Oh, Scrambled Megs just subscribed for one month with Prime. Thank you very much, Scrambled Megs. It's very generous of you. And hey, welcome to the stream as well, Scrambled Megs. Hope you are enjoying the content and thank you. Let's see. So yeah, Mike yeah, Mike came from YouTube. I'm not really a YouTube and he was just looking for Civ 5 knowledge. Yeah, fair enough. It's kind of what people use YouTube for, I guess. But yeah, Spirit Burn says, Now, right now I have pause. I need to do some brain reconstruction. Yeah, fair enough. But yeah, Spirit Burn says, I think if you do a few guides or tier list videos on YouTube, you'll get even more viewers. Personally, I found these videos working very well for other streamers. Yeah, so... The... I think the thing that I've seen with youtube is that i mean it's the guide videos and stuff that tend to do very well i haven't been very good at it actually and i need to be better myself but that guide content is quite should we buy these this is what all the cattle might be able to take happiness but yeah the uh the like youtube is kind it's very hard to get discovered on twitch playing whatever it is that you're playing so it's generally better to start whatever it is you're doing on youtube and then I guess find a way to show the people on YouTube that what you have to offer on your stream. And if you offer something new, then people can come and enjoy it. It's kind of the way that I, t I generally approach it. Oh, is it really that bad for everyone? I mean, is it is it possible or is it actually bad? Because I don't really want to be sat on here for ages with a stream where the the internet is pretty pretty variable i will take like a five minute break to try and oh noxon just resubbed for two months says london in a jungle yeah london is in a jungle thank you very much noxon welcome to the stream today that's very generous of you welcome and thank you <laughs> london in a jungle nice firefly says i'm a sucker for tier lists <laughs> yeah people do like quite like a tier list i haven't done one yet actually but maybe i should think about it and now I'm glad I watched this in 360p. Yeah, I just, I mean, if it really genuinely isn't passable chat, I will take maybe five minutes to try and see if I can sort it out. But I am watching. It's not, it's not going great. Firefly says I'm at 720p with no issues. Okay, interesting. We'll see. <laughs> but, uh, I, I think they're giving me that 160p goodness today. Lol. But yeah. So, uh, so oh, Scrambled Megs anyway says, I came from YouTube just dipping in to say hello. I'll watch the VOD later so I can watch from the beginning. Ah, oh, well, welcome Scrambled Megs. Thank you very much for the sub. It's very, very generous. Glad you enjoy the content and see you later. Uh, Bobby Bobby says, greetings. This is Deity. Yeah, this is Deity today. Okay. 480 seems steady for now. Okay. Well, we'll kind of try with that then. We'll see how it goes. But if it cuts out, I'll give it my best shot. Anyway, welcome to the stream, Bobby. We need to improve the dies. And, oh, Mike has got a promotion. Let's give Mike barrage. 
keep bombarding these archers. We've expanded to a fish down here, and an unmet player has gone classical. We now have our calendar. We should probably take... I mean, right sailing will probably be good because we want a cargo ship at some point. And then... Uh, source and buffering fluctuation. That's not great. Maybe I should give it a go. Alright. It seems like enough people are having a problem. Let me give it maybe a couple of minutes to see if resetting my router is going to help fix it. So, be right back. Yeah, Scamble Mech says, have a good stream, everyone. Yeah. Have a good... Well, thank you very much for joining Scamble Mix. Um, I'm going to be back chatting in about two minutes with a router reboot, and then we'll see if that fixes it. So, BRB. Okay, we are back. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. It says, oh, it's good now. Excellent. It seems okay so far. Let me just clear my notifications. Basically, basically, uh, my girlfriend tells me she's been downloading loads of video. <laughs> so when I restarted the router, she came in looking all annoyed because it had all stopped. So let's see if this makes a difference. We're already... I'm already barely seeing a drop frame, whereas before I was at 20%. I mean, there are there is a bit here, <laughs> but hopefully we're good. Everyone says it's smooth now. Nice. Well, good to know we're already here. Yeah, Mike says, anyway, I'm already working on logistics. No big deal, guys. <laughs> yeah, no big deal at all. Okay. Well, it looks like we can carry on then. That's good. I would have been really sad if this didn't work out. Fewer drop frame percentage so far than we had before. Still not great. We can try, and we need to get a drip of rain upgraded as well. And then... In the capital, I guess we can build... We can get to work on... It's five turns to grow. Maybe we just bail on that and just build settlers now. It's 15. I guess this will do. And then we'll just build some settlers, and then we'll get back to growing afterwards. That's fine. <laughs> Jess Wall says, what videos would the girlfriend want to download? The only video she needs is happening live. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, eh? <laughs> Misses are currently operating as a foreign spy against England, corrupting telecoms, telecoms from the inside, lol. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay, the, the drop frames is a lot better, so I'm, I'm much more pleased about that. That's good. But yeah, Drip of Rain says, wait, you have me in game? Yeah, Drip of Rain, you are the scout. After you were giving... Uh, really? I guess America wants the camp, so we'll have to heal here. <laughs> after, after you were giving, I think it was Mike, a, a hard time over the fact that he was going to get killed, I decided to rename you after the, the second scout. <laughs> so, as Booker says, you have become the local peasant. <laughs> I didn't say it. Booker said it. Mm. 
I should have realized that was going to be a problem. Got our horses stepped on and pillaged. But Drip of Rain now has a scouting upgrade. So Drip of Rain can see more. Nice. <laughs> Can't die if you're always garrisoned. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, Artie says, I'm going to head out for some time. Bye. See you later, Artie. Have a good time doing whatever it is you're out there doing. Oh, this warrior is annoying. I guess we need to back up into this territory here. And then see what better we can do. And Drip says, oh no, I'm going to be deleted soon. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that to Mike before. Exactly. And now you are the only one who is a scout. So what do we make of that? There goes Temple of Artemis. Let's just kill this. Being annoying. Blocking our settler production. Construct our, construct our plantation there. And we can perhaps take land and elite. Because I guess we'll get back to growing again soon. And we don't really need the happiness. Need to shoot this barbarian. Because there's no PC will just make you stare over the most barren landscape in the corner of the map. So no mark barbs spawn to a modern era. <laughs> exactly. Actually, that's probably going to be a thing. <laughs> Needs to come to the rescue and capture the clan. That's true. The camp. That's true, actually. Drip of rain could come and could come to the rescue and capture the camp. I don't really think of that. Need to use drip of rain to get a bit aggressive on this barbarian archer, though. See if uh, drip of rain. Oh, <laughs> drip of rain nearly got attacked by a spearman. Guren can upgrade, though. Can take shock and heal. Get happy. Well, let's just move in here now. This American warrior doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Drip of Rain is the Night's Watch forever vigilant. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> yeah. I agree about vegetable. America doesn't seem to want to be attacking the hand axe, but the problem is, is that like with this camp, I mean, clearly we'd have to bring drip of rain over to be able to make a dent on it because we can't the moment we empty this camp america's warrior is going to walk in because it's going to take the scouts so long to get here and i actually need the scouts help to patrol some of this land i i would like to wait until the american warrior moves away if possible this is what i'm hoping for here but i really don't know if that's ever going to become a thing Kill the archer now. Prepare our horse. Ah. Here we go. Washington, would you be interested in a trade agreement with England? Go ahead. Yes, you would. There How you interested are you in a trade agreement with England? Right. Moderately interested in a trade agreement with England. Okay. That was somewhat sen successful. Probably optics soon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Mike is not letting Washington steal, steal their camp, exactly. Unfortunately, we're losing the window of becoming friends here. I don't know what's going to happen. I, you, let's just send the scout. We might as well. This American dude does not appear to want to go anywhere. So let's just send it over. And wait. And in fact, we could just chill here. So that a barb spawn could go and steal another Regan worker. Potentially. And let's just hope the barbs don't cause us a problem. We actually need to go and handle the camp down here. And up here. We should probably just found two cities. So I think that's what we're going to do. So let's just keep helping out Riga. See if we can get the final kill on something. And then in the cap, we can go for one more settler now. Six turns is perfect. Let's... What do we do? Which is the... This what? So the, the southern city is going to be the one furthest behind in its production queue. So we should go and settle the southern one first, probably. And then, then let's keep using Drip of Rain to go and... See if we can clear the camp. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm saving up my channel points to request denunciation of Washington for trying to steal the camp. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I 
There you go. It says, Chat Sif 5 role playing is pretty awesome, TBH. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I love it. This is great. It's fine. More, work, more units will be built at some point. More opportunity will be had. But now we can just stay there. Drop frames is much lower now, but still a bit of a problem. I'm going to have to really keep an eye on it. Nearly there. There's Ur's worker. I know what we do about this. Ah, oh, good. The American warrior is being attacked by the hand axe. That could be perfect. This scout might just about... We might have to do a high... We might have to roll high to make this work. Now, we wanted to go right here, didn't we, for the production. So, let's settle. Go unhappy for a bit. Uh, there's nothing we can work, sadly, but we can now go and work the horse. Which I think we should actually go and do. It's just it's just better for the city to have the horse. And we can go build a granary there too. And then I guess we're just going to have to deal with what settler production we've got. We need 1.18. We can fix that for a couple of turns somewhere. Yeah, we can fix that for a couple of turns somewhere. <laughs> yeah, Garen promoted to a spearman indeed. <laughs> Been doing squats, found some workout equipment in the ruins. <laughs> there goes hanging gardens just need to get happy which we've done this turn so york can grow now so we can switch over that's how we get our two production for the capital to produce this settler and here we go might just do it Let's see how many squat strip of rain's been doing. Bombard all this stuff. Good. And we got the settler down to one turn, which is perfect. That's what we wanted. And then with this worker, what do we need it to do? Probably to come out and help improve the gold behind the settler. Probably the most important thing. And we just need to actually get these crabs online. So London can just chill for a bit. We're going to have to give it another worker. And Moose on says, England's capital city is Bratislava. <laughs> what the fresh hell has happened? We... RT asked us to rename it. You can spend a thousand channel points to rename rename something in Civilization 5. So, our capital is now called Bratislava. Mike's not strong enough here. Maybe Mike needed to do some squats as well. We need more workers as well. But let's go and get this city founded. Bring the worker with us. We need to we need a work boat and then probably to spam workers. I think in here in Bratislava. We are happy. So let's do something like this to grow. And also work this cattle. How are we doing? Oh no. The scout is not strong enough. Will the warrior be? Do we have to hope to roll low here? The American thing healing. <laughs> Mike says, I've been working at the arm so I can draw my longbow. <laughs> yeah, probably need two archer hits before the scout can take it. I think I think so as well. The question is, will the warrior do it? We never well, I'll tell you what. I think our archer was too good. I think the warrior's gonna manage it. We'll see. We'll see you next turn. And no, we would not like this trade agreement, Washington. Good. The warrior's attacking over a river, which means... Yes! Go on, Drip of Rain. And Mike, good team. And we got Riga as our allies now, which is perfect. And Moose and Ghost says, Name something Civ 5. In that case, rename London to Mansfield. I need to bring my local boys into the fray. Here we go. Mansfield it is. We now have the city of Mansfield. Washington narrowly avoids denunciation. Exactly. We got it. You are not born warriors, but you are the truest warriors to me. <laughs> All right, let's go up here and wait. We're finally going to get our granary in Mansfield. Mansfield could actually do with this banana. I don't know that we can afford to buy the banana, though, because 
the city right here desperately needs the oases. We need a granary here as well. We're unhappy, so we can work the hill to start. Yes, we got a wheat that's okay. Granary done here. This city's really low production, and it's never going to get better. So I wish we'd gone for libraries first, but we can probably put... I mean, what is going to always be useful to us? We're not going to want to build our worker from here. So we maybe just put a couple of turns into a shrine. We know we're going to build a shrine at some point and then come back later for something more useful. And we can get these units out. I see these units. Oh. <laughs> I see, also, also held a message. <laughs> okay, that's it. Okay. I mean, if we could just avoid the language, RT. It was just peaceful messages. Just for the YouTube upload later. Oh, here we go. But yeah, yeah, thanks, Scott. But yeah, if we could just turn it down just a little, that would be great. Just in case there's someone who doesn't like it who's watching back on YouTube later. Hopefully we can still get the same sentiment across. But thanks, Scott. Okay, we're going to need Gurren to support here. Stop our, stop our worker being captured by the horsemen. <laughs> Black asks, Black Vegetable asks, Mike and Drip on the way to the next camp for Prague? Maybe. They could be. Where is Prague's camp? Prague's camp is this one right here, so we're certainly going to do this. The dynamic duo, we'll call them, of Mike and, Mike and Drip of Rain. We can trade citrus now for spices. We'll get another citrus. Well, oh, we've grown here and we really shouldn't have done this. We'll keep growing though. We'll grow to pop three and then sort production in York. Can we grow in one here? We actually can if we can find the food. Good. We can do that then. Improve the mine. We're a little bit unhappy for a while. That's okay. We need writing next for sure. We can start now on the lighthouse here. That's going to be valuable. Need some more workers. <laughs> I'll hold down the fort. <laughs> you two improve foreign relations. <laughs> this truly is a team. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Alright, we're happy again. That's perfect. Back to working the horse. We should probably work the horse in York. We'll wait a couple of turns. Bratislava grew. Yeah, we expected that one. The dynamic duo is on the way back. We need to make sure one of them doesn't get killed. <laughs> Book is a drip. You're definitely the Robin to his foreign... Definitely the Robin to his Batman. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> drip says, I want to find another ruin hoping to get promoted. Uh, the time of ruins may sadly be over, but at least you can contribute to the success of the Empire by helping clear renegading warriors from Mansfield. We actually need to heal Drip for a bit. Drip's a bit wounded. Let's get some happiness from Monarchy. Keep going. Don't need to attack yet with a Spearman. More production for York. That's perfect. Actually, we do want to attack now with a Spearman. Let's do that. So Artie says... Do you know what Czechoslovakia was? Do you know that Czechoslovakia was a republic in World War II and Prague is the capital of Czech and Bratislava is the capital capital of Slovakia? Be friends with Prague. Ah, oh, so you're telling me to be friends with Prague to feel like I'm uniting Czechoslovakia in some way. That's interesting. Maybe. Maybe we are. Maybe we'll be friends with Prague. Maybe we won't. We'll see. We'll see what we decide. We can't improve this cattle now, unfortunately, because of the presence of this hand axe. So we'll go back and improve stuff for the cat. <laughs> Mike says for the queen. <laughs> you mean for the motherland, exactly. Or maybe, well... Say for the queen. Maybe we're doing it here for the king. <laughs> Look at all these barbarians ganging up on York. Well, I think we need the dynamic duo to return home and save it. 
This is going to get zone of control if anything moves around here. So our worker is safe. We can actually go back to working this oasis. We should have been doing that a little while ago. I mean, there's many things we should have been doing. Should have been doing, I think, in that city. But working the oasis was certainly one of them. Mansfield is being absolutely raided by barbarians. So let's bring Mike over. See if Mike can use their newly found squats to sort out the problems. Can we still grow here? If we do something like this. I think we do, because we really do need to work this horse here for the production. And we can now go on to for archery, probably to get another archer. We really needed we really need some more production in here. Can we buy this hill? I mean we need the banana first. Let's buy the banana. And then we do also need the hill. So the double team. York having to use its city bombardment quite a lot here. We do need to get another worker over to Mansfield now. This spearman does. Does Gurren need to heal or does Gurren need more promotions? Probably wants to get cover and back up. And then Mansfield grew, which we handled. Bratislava grew as well, which we've now handled. Terracotta army's been built. Apparently, we completed a quest for Ur. Artie says, name some soldiers I need to start to roleplay too. Uh, okay, well, uh, when, when we get something, we will. We don't have one yet, but we will. And then we'll do it. Let's get some of these workers over to start doing things. So. <laughs> Look to my coming at first light on the fifth day at dawn. Look to the east. <laughs> I love it. Lord of the Rings. Nice. Garen thinks that they're going to come and help out with the barbarian camp down here. But maybe maybe the, du the duo's got it. I'll blow my trumpet to sing with it fast. <laughs> The horseman near Bratislava could be a problem. It really could be a problem. Fortunately, it moved back, but it definitely could be. We can found a religion, though, now. Apparently, barely any religions have even been founded. So, we'll go for a religion. Arty asked to be in on the roleplay. Wanted to name a soldier, so there's no name for the religion yet. We can take Tithe, because Tithe is here. We got plus eight faith per turn, so I guess we could get away with taking pagodas as well. Just about. It's early enough as well, turn 64. So I guess we can do that. Unless anybody's got an opinion for a religion name. Yeah, there are any workers right now. Indeed. And we're all. <laughs> Fish and chips says Moose and Goose. Interesting. Canning Town Mafia. That's true, actually. We've been waiting for the Canning Town Mafia for quite a while, haven't we? Let's just do that. The Canning Town... Oh, no. The Canning Town... Oh, here we go. We're gonna, I'm going to have to figure this one out. Canning Town Mafia. There we go. We'll do that. We'll call it the Canning Town Mafia. We've been waiting a while for that one. Can we kill this? I would much rather get the horse into the camp. If we can. So I'm going to wait one turn for that. The dream team can wait a bit for now. And we'll carry on. We need to improve this other citrus. It might have been a mistake to trade that away as opposed to the crabs. Okay, so if we empty... The oh, here we go. Mike's got another improvement. See if we can... Get the horseman into the camp and stop it from being a problem. London grew. Perfect. We want to work this for a moment. Once we've expanded to the wheat, we'll buy the second oasis. But for now, there's not a lot to do. Need to sadly start chopping jungle tiles down in Mansfield. Which is why we've brought the worker over. And then we probably go for... We might need trapping next for a circus. And then we'll see. But yeah, it's a lot of barbarians. Uh, we what's our, our tea suggestion? You know what we could do? We could do like a series where we're all being soldiers, but you read it, and we're gonna write 
If British accent or Mexican or something. Oh no, are you, are you, Artie, are you trying to get me to <laughs> to start doing accents on stream? My accents are terrible. There's a a very very small chance of getting me <laughs> getting me to do an accent on stream. I can, I simply cannot do them. It's one of my big weaknesses. Vegetable asks, are you going for Oracle? I'm thinking about it. I would like to go for Oracle, but I don't know if we're going to yet. Let's take this camp. We've now got Prague and Ur, all friendly. Perfect. Some bonuses for now. We might have to think about... We've got Barb standing on this title again. We really need to deal with that Barb camp. That's what's next for the double team. <laughs> my British accent is totally on point, to be honest. Oh, good. Yeah, I've been, I've been working on my British accent. Been trying. Yeah, England Total War Barbarian Invasion is running. Yeah, it actually kind of is. Uh, the Barbarian problems are really real right now. He needs orders, okay. This granary is going to be quite important for the wheat. We can squeeze it up to being a four food tile, maybe. And now the dream team needs to carry on. I think what we need to do now is just leave Drip of Rain to wait for a bit. And use our units to go and get through all of this stuff one by one. We've just grown here. That was a mistake. We should have been paying more attention to that because we could have worked a better tile for the production focus trick. As for this barb camp, we really do need to deal with it. It might be that Guren can now deal with it all on their own. We'll see. So lighthouse definitely in the capital. 100%. Maybe we should send... Oh, there's still this unit here. This hand axe. It's being a pest. And now we can go for philosophy maybe if we're interested in the oracle. But I'm pretty sure we need to build some cargo ships soon. Let's get RT recruited as another archer. We could actually. How long is an archer? Three turns. Might need it. It's being a bit prohibitive to us right now. Or... We can just buy the camp. <laughs> so the camp's gone. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, we had an unemployed citizen and we didn't grow last turn. Perfect. I tried to be too cool and failed. Mansfield grew. Yeah, perfect. Do some chopping for Mansfield. Where did this hand axe go? It's in there. See if we can just use Guren's thighs all on their own to try and take out this hand axe. Need some more gold per turn, actually. Our gold's quite good right now. This worker doesn't can't really do a lot in London. Let's maybe bring it home to see if there's something better it can do. And then we're unfortunately going to have to heal Drip of Rain because they've taken a bit of a beating. Oh, Moose on Goose says, did you get the gold slash city-state quest progressed for buying a barb camp tile? I didn't know that you could do that. Wait, what? I don't think we did. But you're right, the quest is gone. It must have just disappeared. Because we don't have any extra influence with anyone. We definitely don't. So it must have gone. I don't really know why that would be the case. Let's start chopping down some jungle. We're going to need to chop down some jungle, sadly, because it's extra production. Keep working on that hand axe. Gurren's got to, got to rest their thighs a bit before they carry on. I, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's a thing. A bit confused if it would be, actually. This hand axe is seeking to be annoying still. We've got another worker out here that we can use. There goes great lighthouse. Would have been nice to get that, but we are England, so we don't really need it. A lighthouse would be great here as well, actually, in York. So we can work on one of those, and we still need to get cargoes up for the cap as well at some point. Maybe wait one more turn with Guren. Rest is very important when you're kicking in Bob's faces. Exactly, exactly. These hand axes are really being annoying. But it's okay. We expanded to a wheat up here. Perfect. That means we can bar. We don't actually have the cash to buy the oasis now. Okay, let's kick, kick the asses of this hand axe. Apparently some more barb camps have been desired. That is Bucharest this time. That desires that camp. Oh, there's a ruin over there. 
And Samakan wants that account. Look, there's a ruin. I wonder if it's still here. So, let's see what we can do. Lighthouse complete next turn. And we are interested in this trade agreement with Washington. And we can sell Washington iron. Would you be interested? Oh, wait. No, Washington's selling iron. There's no trade agreements here. So this iron is done. We do need to now get, get a farm up on this wheat. Let's grow if we can. It will take a couple of turns just to grow there in London. It's fine. Keep beating up on hand axes. We're done with the lighthouse and the cat. We need a cargo now. It's been way too long. A lighthouse would be good here too, actually. And then we can switch back for a library. Okay, clear the camp. Hope we don't die to the warrior. We've only got 21 hit points. We might have just got Gurren killed. I didn't expect to roll that low. Rip. Gurren died. Whoops. <laughs> My bad. Well, maybe there's next time. F. <laughs> Sorry, Gurren. <laughs> the, barb the barbs have bested you this time. It could have been better. You have been lost. My bad. <laughs> Gurren. <laughs> well, yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna have to avenge Gurren somehow. Maybe Gurren V two will make a comeback later. We did. We did just get iron. Can we not? You are a friend to liberty. Why can we not? Oh, I've, 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 re I've reduced the strategic resources screen. Here we go. America, would you be interested in this trade agreement with England? Yes. Very not very much. Apparently, you don't like trade agreements with England that much. It's actually kind of similar to real life at this point, I think. Oh, we got a lighthouse complete here. That is perfect. Can we grow? Yeah, we'll grow. Wow. This is some party fun times here. It's still two turns either way, so I guess we can work this. We need a library first here in Mansfield. Before the shrine. Work this gold. I guess the scout has to go and defend. But look, Gurren. You, your, your sacrifice was not in vain. You cleared the barb camp for us and stopped this nonsense from happening. So, we thank you for your contributions. Better luck next time. Yeah, maybe maybe the new Gurren can be called Gurren 1. For the glory of Bratislava. Hopefully my son will captain a ship. Maybe. Yeah, he could come back as a... <laughs> Let's install Wi-Fi as his gravestone so people can visit off at lol. <laughs> we'll see. Gurren 1, maybe, can show up at some point. We'll see. We need to go deal with this last barbarian. And then we'll be all good to go. York's got some production to work now. That's perfect. Let's actually get York to do that. Because it's a bit behind in the production queue. Let's see if this ruin is still available. Drip of Rain is fancying some fresh legs. And we need to improve the mine for Mansfield. <laughs> Just renamed London Gurenberg in homage to our fallen warrior. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Mansfield. Okay. Keep working production. We can keep growing there. Mansfield's an okay city. The problem so far is that Mansfield just doesn't have any production to contribute anything good. We need to improve tiles around Bratislava. See if this ruin is still there. <laughs> Drip of Rain says, do it. All right. <laughs> London is Gurenberg in homage to our far fallen warrior. Here we go. Gurenberg. A nice memorial for a lost friend. We can buy this oasis now too. And finish tradition turn 79. Pretty good. Got a good tradition timing, which I am enjoying. Finally killed this barbarian, so that's out of our way. See if this ruin's still here. Cool. <laughs> Name Archer to Gurren Zero and Arty. Uh, I can't. I will. I mean, do you mean that Ar the archers have the same name as Gurren Zero and Arty, or you mean name two archers, one to Gurren Zero and one to Arty? Arty. <laughs> Our nation's fallen hero. Okay, same name. We'll do that. Same name. <laughs> Pressure is now on for someone else to die, so York can take their name. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, oh. 
Grip of Rain, is it time for your new legs? Is it time? Let's send this from Mansfield to Bratislava. And we finished one cargo. We should try... Maybe... Should we, do we try for Oracle now? If we do, we're going to want Theology. Because it's 24 turns. We are unhappy. So why did we not concentrate on getting happy sooner? It's because we've only met one AI. That's the problem right now. And we can't actually make ourselves happy again. Unless... Or did we... Oh, we, lo we lost our alliance with Riga. That's what happened. We should actually send Riga that trade route. As much as I like the Oracle, maybe it's time for a cargo and we'll see what happens. We should probably send Riga the trade route because that's quite valuable. America's the ally. 10 behind. Can we do that? We can. Can we re reach Riga from the capital? Where is the cap to... Uh, well, destination city of Riga. Only reachable from Mansfield. Okay. Well, let's trade with Riga. That's actually probably quite valuable for us. That means that we can maybe go for the Oracle first, I guess. And see if we can get it. That would be very nice if we can. Because the Oracle would allow us to take maritime infrastructure and exploration, which would be pretty powerful. All right, let's see. 100 gold. Sadly, no new legs for Drip of Rain. So yeah, 1093 Oracle is getting risky. Mm, it kind of is, isn't it? It is a bit risky. Maybe we do just give up on it and go for the cargo. Let's, let's, let's go for cargo. Let's, Oracle could go for all we know. There are some very peaceful civs in the game that we know of. Declaration of friendship expired. Do we try and get it back with Washington? Okay, good. He, he likes us. Uh, we, we, we mismanaged our growth again in York. We need to stop doing that. I'm so not used to not having a hill to grow to, like any number of hills. That I just keep forgetting to do the production focus trick everywhere we can. Mansfield needs to work some production soon. Wheat are now worth working here. We should probably just get a road in Gerenberg. There's not a lot else to do. I keep exploring. There's another ruin though. I don't know if the, I don't know if Drip of Rain has embarkation yet. Drip of Rain not might not know how to swim. America, would you be interested in this trade agreement with England? Proceed. Yes, good. Is Washington coastal? Sadly, Washington is not coastal. Only Seattle's coastal. So if we're going to kill Washington, it's got to be longbows. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, we probably don't need to go drama and poetry now, though. It'd be a lot better to try and enter the medieval era another way. 24 turns, though, for Explo. Dunno. Might make sense. There goes Petra. We were never getting that, I guess. We can't embark, sadly. Drip of Rain can't swim, so Drip of Rain needs to come home. Improve these tiles. Mansfield. Yeah, Mansfield's almost ready to grow. What are the gold now here for that lighthouse? We're actually really behind on National College timing, I think. But that's okay. There's a reason for delaying it right now. We need to get happy. Mike would be the best longbow with no terrain cost. Yeah, maybe. Mike the longbowman could be a thing. Could be a thing. Oh, we don't have the wheel yet for roads. Let's just get the wheel. Let's just get the wheel. Do we even... Exploration production would be incredibly valuable for us, though. Is the only thing. So we could really do with it. So maybe let's keep it. In that case, these workers really don't have a lot to do. So come home to the cap. Nearly there. Babeshwar says, Turn 83 Petra is doable for a capital or a good first expand with the cargo slash caravan in it. Yeah, it's true. And I mean, maybe if we'd really rushed for it in Gurenberg, we could have managed it. But it wasn't to be. Lighthouse done. Onto the library. I mean, we could still try for Oracle, but after the cargo ship rather than before. Which is a big difference in how effective it would be. Let's get these two farms down. Although, York kind of needs some help. We're going to grow here and we're going to leave that work in the mine. There goes Chichen Itza. We got this cargo that can now come from Mansfield back to the capital. Mansfield grew. Now we can work this production for good. So let's do that. It's growing really nicely. 
York's nearly ready to grow as well. And Gurenberg. We're going to go unhappy soon again, sadly. I guess there's not a lot we could have done about it. <laughs> Mike says, I'm going to lay my purple heart on Gurren's gravestone. Yeah, <laughs> I guess you can... Uh... We can all come in and lay purple hearts for... Our fallen warrior Gurren, who died for the motherland. This would have been really easy to build a fishing boat right now. We should actually just get a fishing boat in Mansfield. And we do need to chop down maybe some more jungle. Because that would be quite helpful. And then go unhappy. Food to Bratislava. Yes. Can we give gold to anyone? Not really. Prague wants us to discover a natural wonder. Samarkand wants a barb camp dead. Samarkand's hostile. Bucharest is friendly and wants this barb camp dead. So maybe we go and use Mike's abilities to go and handle Bucharest's barb camp. Oh, Mike asks, explain it like I'm five. So, why doesn't the production growth trick work without a hill? I thought I heard you say that while I was watching your France archipelago cultural attempt. Um, so, oh, oh, we can redo this deal, but do we want to? Probably not now. Citrus. Or well, we can just buy it for now. Let's probably not do that. We're going to get the citrus in enough anyway. So, the, the production focus trick does work with, well... It depends, I think is probably the best way to say for the production focus trick. We've got a lighthouse in here now. This is actually more production, so we might as well work those tiles. Both cities grew, which is perfect. Let's go get our scout with a promotion and then come back. So the production focus trick is... It, basically, it exploits, and I do have a video where I explain it on YouTube, but it exploits the way that your yields are calculated in Civilization V. So, oh, Drip of Rain asks, can you rename a cargo ship? So I'm not sure, a cargo ship, I'm not sure, actually. Let me just check that quickly. You can actually rename a cargo ship. Yeah, you can. But anyway, so it exploits the way that your yields are given to you in Civilization V. So... The way it works is that the yields that you get from all of your tiles, say the food, the production, the gold, the culture, the faith, etc. The way it works is food is calculated first. That's Well, first of all, the yields are given at the start of the turn, not at the end of the turn, which is very important. It's kind of an important differentiation. But at the start of the turn, your yields are given to you. They go roughly in order of the way that they look down the left-hand side. It might, or, well, in the way that they're ordered here, for example, but I don't, I don't know if it's this exact order or not. But the most important thing to know is that food comes first. So the first thing you do is gain your food yield. So that's the first thing that happens before anything. Then, once you've got your food yield, it then calculates whether or not you have enough growth to gain a new citizen. If you have enough, well, if you have enough excess food to gain a new citizen. So if you see here, we've got plus 10 excess food. We need, so we've got 70.9 out of 114 excess food to grow a new population point. So once you've gained your food, it then checks to see if you can grow a new citizen. Basically, have you got more excess food than the limit to growing? So have we got more than 114 right now? If you do have more than the amount of excess food you need to grow, then you get a new citizen. That citizen then actually counts towards the yields you gain for everything else that's calculated after it. And that citizen is placed according to the focus that you have set for your city. So if we so we could set our city to food focus. And what it would do is when the city grows, we get a new citizen. If we've got it set to food focus, that new citizen goes to work a food tile. However, because food has already been given to us at the start of the turn, we gain nothing from any food worked because it get, it's already been given to us. We can't get it again for this turn. However, production, gold, science, culture, great person points, faith, they have not been given to us yet. Which means that if we set our focus to any of these other things, the new citizen that's born will go and work a production tile. And that means then that when it lands on the production tile, the production hasn't been given to us yet. And after that, then it goes and gives us the production, the gold, the science, the culture, the great person points, and the faith. Which means that this is why it's called the production focus trick. Because production is the most important resource in the early game. So instead of wasting the fact that you don't get any extra food 
from that grown citizen, you can set to production focus and gain extra production because the new citizen will get assigned to the production tile. And that way we gain extra production that we wouldn't have had if we'd stayed on food focus. The only problem with doing the, the trick like this, of course, is that we can't tick food focus, which means that you have to... Which means that you have to manually lock in your food tiles, otherwise it will just work all production and you will never grow. So that's how it works. But Mike says, that makes sense. I guess I'm wondering, does the production trick not matter if we grow to, say, a one production, one food plane style? Is that why we prioritize mines? Or does it still give one production? So it's about the production of the tile that your citizen grows onto. So it can grow onto a one food, one production plane style, but that just means one production is the most that you can get. Whereas if you grow onto a three food, a three production mine tile, then you can get three production from it. Remember, the food yield absolutely does not matter for the turn you grow because food has already been given to you. You aren't going to get any extra food from that citizen anyway. So you just look for the one that gives you the maximum production, basically, or the maximum of whatever yield you think is most important. I wonder if we should buy a pagoda when we can. It's eight, it's eight faith away. We should probably buy a pagoda as opposed to enhancing. I don't know, but it's usually better if you can afford to get the pagodas early. It's better to do that. There goes Oracle, sadly. Oh well, circus then. At least we didn't put too, too many turns into it. We gave it a go. I'm glad we got the cargo ship first out now because we would have lost it anyway. We still need to get happy. We'll work on that. And Dripper Rain says, who wants to be a cargo ship? Raise your hand. <laughs> yeah, maybe someone wants to be a cargo ship. Because as yeah, I hear you, I've often seen them be better than the capital with enough hills. So good. Yeah, those Petra expands indeed. Yeah, Petra and expand is quite nice. The opportunity cost is an early caravan and a delayed first and fourth, third and fourth cities, but not too much. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's true, like, the, the Petrian expansion could be quite a good thing. Let's just buy a Pagoda now, because it actually gets us happy. Which is quite useful. And we can grow in the cap. This is a free population point in the capital because of the tradition policy. We've got some gold, which we could expend on any city-state we wanted to, if we found a reason to do it. Oh, Bucharest cleared their own camp, that's a shame. Maybe we can clear Samarkand's camp, but that's not really any good for us. We need to meet some more AIs is what we need. <laughs> Arty, <laughs> it's a good job we haven't built another archer yet because it gives you a lot of time to decide on what you want your archer to be named. We actually probably want to go and work one of these one food, one production tiles here because Gurenberg desperately needs the food. Eight turns for theology. Which means we can maybe take a quick break to get the wheel and then go back for theology. Because our social policy is not coming that soon. We want to make sure that we've got a medieval en era entry ready for when we want to... Uh, we can sell. Here we go. Washington, would you be interested in a trade agreement with England? Yes, but not very, not very interested. Just moderately interested in a trade agreement with England. We should have done the production focus trick there as well. I'm getting, getting a bit distracted. Let's bring the scout over. We might as well clear this camp while we're here. <laughs> yeah, Arty says, sorry, I'm just too excited for your stream. It's so much so much fun. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm glad. We don't need this tile yet in Gurenberg, so let's switch it back to the capital. And then let's use our dynamic double team to try and clear this camp that's actually empty right now. Into a library, into a library. In fact, we can afford to go... Oh, we just built our circus. We should get a trireme, actually. Dynamic deal, getting things done, exactly. <laughs> Mods are asleep. <laughs> Distracts PC from optimal growth. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> know. Oh, Distracts me, eh? There we go. Samakan likes us a bit. We could give Samakan a gift of gold, but this is th this happiness is not just not going to last very long. It does give us porcelain, though, with... Book a rest. We can actually give them 500 in a couple of turns. It's better to do that instead, I feel. We've got roads now, so we should try and connect Mansfield. 
We're, pro we're probably a bit short on workers. If I'm honest. Which we probably should solve. Now we can actually properly do the production focus trick here. Ah, <laughs> oh, the Celts. Hello. Would you be interested in a trade agreement with England? Yes. But nothing else, sadly. Well, good to meet you, Boudicca. America, would you be interested in a trade agreement with England? Yes, moderately. Let's get this archer. Well, it's the, this archer. Let's get Mike in the water. Mike can swim. We've learned that. A library done here. Get a shrine now. And then we'll, we'll see what else we can do there. Finally got our lux improved, so we've got some happiness. Capital grew to the iron, which is perfect. Do some roads, I guess. We need more workers, though. Let's find a way to get some more of those. We also need another work boat. Let's have this trireme go scout the world, though, and see what we can find. We're nearly up to the 500 gold we need for Samarkand. Or do we invest in Riga? No, Samarkand gives us friendship with Bucharest. But that'll last quite a while. So let's try that. Although, to be honest, we could have we could have used the gold for a frigate rush. I guess we're just going to have to rely on having decent gold per turn. Oh, we got a pop ruin. Perfect. Mansfield has grown. Cool. Guess we'll work this tile then. And here's the work boat. Do we want to... We should probably just put the work boat on the fish for Mansfield. Help Mansfield improve itself. And actually, let's just get another work boat while we're here. Boudicca, would you be interested in a trade agreement with England? We probably shouldn't give away all of this iron. It's going to be a bit of a while before we get it back now. Whoops. Oh, well. We can chop this deer if we want to, but I don't know that that's useful. Probably just improve the cattle. Keep building this road. Seven turns for the library. It's going to be a bit of a late national college, but it's okay. We've delayed it for a reason, which is the important bit. We now got friendship with Bucharest, which is really the whole point of giving all of that gold to Samarkand for. Going to grow again in the capital. Well, that's fine. Gurenberg needs to start growing at some point. Bring the scout back. And we can bail this archer away. Keep moving around with the trireme. Do we, yeah, we've sorted out the growing in one thing here. We're doing okay here. Unfortunately, York's pretty much at its maximum production now. But this culture, this early culture is important. This is why we're doing it. Samarkand wants us to defeat some barbarians. Oh, there's an archer over there. Maybe... Mike can come over and there'll be a barb camp over there for us to deal with. Is another work boat suitable now? Six turns, five turns. Yeah, another work boat's perfectly suitable now. We need to work this tile over there in the cap. Let's give over this tile now to Gurenberg. Because it needs to get better. Seven turns is okay, actually. And it will it will uh, it will get the library down a turn when it grows. We've got so much movement. Kind of crazy. York's going to grow, so we need to production focus trick it again. It might even be that America wants crab. I would like to trade America crab, but we should probably keep hold of it. Mike says, did Drip get, get his promotion? Sadly not. I'm still waiting for Drip's promotion. <laughs> Goes says, PCJ, you're going to need to improve the posh attitude that Elizabeth has. <laughs> oh. I mean, maybe, I don't know. We, are you saying I need to be more or less posh, actually? I guess she said improve, so that means be, be, be less posh or more posh? I don't actually know. We'll figure that one out. Do we need to be more or less posh? Work the mine, perfect. Got our shrine done now. That's good, because we do need to do our religion things. A work boat would be good here as well, actually. So maybe we can build a work boat. And then continue building roads over to places. But yeah, oh, Mike says, does the plus two movement affect cargo ship range? Oh, that's interesting, actually. Drip did not get his promotion. He did get his gold, though. 
So I don't know if it affects cargo ship range, actually. I don't know how I can tell without counting. I've never known. It's a huge amount of movement, though. Let's see. <laughs> I hope optimal growth is <laughs> I see. I see. I, I was wondering why someone had done a PCJ norm and now I know why. Yeah, Mr. Jarvis says I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think he does either, but we'll see. You need to talk down to other civs, says Guren. Uh, well, I guess we can try and be more condescending. Maybe. I think we take mathematics next. And let's see if there's a barb camp up here that we can exploit. We need it to generate a great admiral for Bucharest. We need more trade is what we need. There's the Celts over here. The Celts inland as well. Get this white boat down. Perfect. Make Bratislava even better. Can it grow in one? It can't. No worries. There is no barb camp up there, sadly. We need to try and get another one to spawn. See what other exploration we can do. Yeah, Mr. Jovi says, I mean, it'd be like Explo giving vision to cargoes, lol. That's true, actually. Yeah, yeah, no, Mike. It would be cool if it did, but it probably not hard. Yeah, so the, the, the thing is, is that, oh, wow. We found the Great Barrier Reefs. Very cool. That is a quest for Prague. Okay, nice. Well, that's a bit more culture. That'll speed up our acquisition of exploration hammers, which is good. It's important. Gurenberg's about to grow. Gurenberg needs a trade route. Bratislava's going to grow again. Let's do some production focus trick there. York definitely needs this tile in there. In fact, it's almost more valuable like this, right? But yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know if it gives the cargoes more range. That's quite, something quite hard to figure out, actually. Don't know. It would be nice if it did, but it wouldn't seem likely to do so. Food's not great there. We need to send it a cargo ship. That's fine, we can do that. We've got one to spare. And now we can do more research. Going engineering would be nice. We don't we barely have any civil service farms. So we can go for engineering first for the extra trade route. And then keep moving round. It's nice. Two extra happiness though. Can we has America got civil service? They don't. So we're gonna have to wait with the trireme, sadly. But we can do that. We need more trades. We need the Celts to get us to trade. Yeah, Atlanta more like Atlantis. <laughs> yeah, that's true, actually. I mean, look at these. These two great... Look at this. Two great barrier reefs and two fish. And America is liberty. America is liberty. Fair enough. I have heard that the Americans enjoy a good bit of liberty. Freedom. That kind of stuff. Let's go connect our roads more. And the duo can come home. Nearly got construction, which means we might have to... Might have to upgrade Mike's bows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They they love liberty, so they go liberty. But now they're going to go autocracy, gear, and I bet that would be the sort of thing the AI the AI would do. But we can open exploration now. That's perfect. Even more naval movement for us. And then in 21 terms, we could perhaps even take maritime infrastructure, which is production from or th plus three production to coastal cities, which will be quite powerful. We need to go work boat now there. We actually kind of need to go work boat here as well for the food. Okay, nothing to see there. We can heal this scout. Get some food for Mansfield that's about to grow so we can make use of the production focus trick. Sadly doesn't have any more hills within range yet, which we need to fix really. And this work boat in York can go and improve the crabs. Okay, there's Chicago in there. Good. This is good culture per turn right now. It's not going to last, but now that we've got it, it's quite nice. The idea is just to accelerate our social policies a bit. We really should have done these tiles better again. Oh, well. These tiles desperately need production from coastal cities on maritime infrastructure. Yes, we can work something like that. Mansfield grows to production. Okay. Keep waiting. We'll, we'll wait a little bit for America to get to civil service and then we'll check again. We still need more workers. We really should have built some more. There goes Agia Sophia and Borobudur and Alhambra all on the same turn. 
Coliseum maybe in Mansfield now? Maybe. We do need to get happiness up. Actually, that's probably quite an important point. I think we need to get our happiness sorted. If we're going to be doing conquest on four cities, conquest on four cities is a bit tough on happiness. Particularly because we're five luxing right now. Here we go. We got open borders. Would you be interested in this trade agreement with England? Yes. Good. Exciting. Edinburgh is even inland, so perhaps we have to longbow both of them. Is the following trade of interest to you? Yeah, Mr. Jarvis says, I'm not sure if that was IRL talk or in-game, but they both work, says Mr. Jarvis. So Mike was saying, I can do so many things with my th with my freedom, like pay for health care. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, let, let's keep the iron now. Although we're not even going to be able to do much ship of the line stuff. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know in America, you do have to pay for health care, and it is an awful lot of money. I lived there, it was not good. So this is our road connected to York. That's perfect. We need to get some more food available for Gurenberg. And then we need to come back because we do now need to upgrade Mike's Mike's bow and arrow a bit. Make Mike seem a bit more threatening. I guess if we're long bowing the AI, it's time to start thinking about it. Which really does mean Colosseums everywhere. And hoarding gold per turn as well. Met Ormus. We've accumulated some faith. We should definitely go for an enhance now. It is about time for an enhancer. Just do these tile assignments properly. Bratislava is going to grow. Something like that, maybe. No, but let, let's actually switch this over to the jungle over here. We've got a lot of tiles that we need to fix up. We need more production everywhere. Go for metal casting next. Hopefully longbows are good. That's the thing I'm hoping for right now. Mike says logistics when. Yeah, exactly. Can't wait to see Mike as the battle hardened bazooka of the future. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We're actually running a really good positive amount of gold right now. It just sucks that neither America nor the Celts are coastal because I would have loved that. That could have been incredibly helpful. Boat boat done into the Colosseum. Colosseum needed here too. Gurenberg nearly ready to grow. There's never any way of getting that fish, sadly, in Gurenberg. Can it grow? It can if we give it food. Give it food. Good. And the food is done here as well in Mansfield. So let's get that worked. Need to keep growing. Need to get these. Hope I think we probably need to get Circus Maximus built before we push for conquest. I think. Because otherwise our happiness is going to be in just too perilous a situation. Let's see if we can ex explore around. I think that one AI that we deleted from the game was supposed to be on our continent. Which is why there's so much empty space here. Let's go and move around Mansfield and get some stuff done. We've got the production focus trick to do again. So why not? Something like that. Can York grow? It can. Let's do it. Perfect. And then everywhere else is okay. We've got decent growth, I think. So this was the cargo that was going to Riga. And we can actually afford to build the Colosseum now as well. Well, the, the Colosseum, the cargo. So we'll queue that cargo up after the National College. And I think we need to send Gurenberg some food. Which means sending it from York, probably. And it would be nice to get some more food going to the capital. But the cap's fine right now. So let's send this to Gurenberg. Bigger monuments, I guess, to Gurren, whose warrior bravely sacrificed themselves for the good of the Empire. Oh, I say warrior, spearmen. Can't forget that their thighs grew really large at some point through the benefits of an ancient ruin, which perhaps they perhaps they stumbled across an ancient gym and trained a bit. Perhaps that's what happened there. Our happiness is going to run out really quickly if we don't sort these Colosseums. Otherwise, I would go and do one right now. We also need more, more workers. We really need more workers. Let's just get around after these Colosseums. Oh, but we're about to go for metal casting. So much to do. Anyway, Mike gets an upgrade to their bow. He's now a composite bowman. Sadly, Drip of Rain never did, never did figure out how to fight. Doesn't know how to use 
a weapon themselves. Our capitals actually basically run out of tiles. Lots of tile crossover. 26 turns to our next social policy. That's quite long. It would be nice to find a way to get that. It might even be that we use a cargo ship for it. So maybe friend or ally city-state for a bit longer. Okay. Mike can go back out into the wild. America wants horses. We can do that. So would you be interested in this trade agreement with England? Yes, but only moderately. We've got so much, so much crab right now. I guess we can just sell it. No. For gold per turn, because that is going to pay for unit upgrades. And now we need to go and do the mine. Even more gold per turn. We're up to 52. I guess we're, are we even in, we're not even in the golden age yet, which is ridiculous. I wonder if we like try and pay for an ally of some sort. Like the 45 with Bucharest might last for a bit. But I really don't want to give up gold that could be Longbowman upgrades or Ship of the Line upgrades because both of those would be excellent. Gurenberg's going to grow. We need to take this hill for it. We actually kind of need this hill as well. I'm just going to buy that now. That's a Petra hill, which is why we want it. Not a Petra hill, a, 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 a fresh water hill. Let's get Mike out with their upgrade to the bows. <laughs> there he goes. But, but Drip can see real good, yeah. I guess Drip has got binoculars. I guess. <laughs> Drip, what I missed, promoted to 1080p. No, sadly, yeah, Drip out here making the sun never set. Yeah, no, Drip, we know that you can see well, but sadly you have not learned how to fight. It's a shame, really. Oh, here we go. We have entered the Renaissance era. Boudicca's declared war on Washington. That's perfect. We needed that. Okay, so what we can do is we can drop our spy into Bucharest. And we can actually drop our spy into Samarkand as well. And those will keep us happy, hopefully. Gurenberg grows. Yeah, work that. Need to get some more food and production out of here. Still need workers, but we're building this cargo ship right now because the cargo ship is going to be better than a worker. And Boudicca's finally got a trade available. Perfect. Silk for crab. Done. Let's heal Mike so that they're fully rested to go into the world. We're doing okay right now. We've got 47 population on four cities. It's turned 115. I would usually say it's a bit of 55 by turn 150 on standard speed. So this is actually a pretty good number right now. We're doing really well. This could be a really strong sim game if we tried it. But we're now fast approaching longbows. If we want to do some long buying, we should really do it soon. We still need workers. This was going to Bratislava. Definitely continue it. But the time to start thinking of that, of that long bows is really soon. So we need to build workers. Let's get a round of workers maybe after the Colosseum. Because we are really short on them. Golden Age has started. Mansfield grew and so did York. Okay. Mansfield, yeah, we weren't managing... Actually, yeah, we do want to manage it like this properly in Mansfield. Nine turn growth is perfectly fine. It's gone to eight anyway now. Improve some tiles for Gurenberg. We actually do need to give over this tile at some point. Let's get a round of workers everywhere, and then we need to start on Composite Bowman. I've still got a little bit of time. Oh, there's the Barb Camp now. Hopefully, Samarkand starts desiring that. Let's send Mike and Drip over in anticipation. Drip says, rename Trirene try randomly from chat. Sure thing. So, who have we got? How do I... I'll see if I can pick, the t pick whoever I see that's the top here. So, okay. Randomly from chat. Wait, is, is, is picking from the top just... Just alphabetical. Oh, lol, I, I would have rigged it by going alphabetical. All right. Let's rename randomly from chat. Who have we got? Who's going to be the... The trireme? Our trireme. It's called X, Davy, and X. So there we go. Maybe, maybe we'll do capital X like that. Just for a bit of funness. So there we go. X, Davian X is the trireme. 
Oh, black vegetable says me, me. Uh, apolo <laughs> apologies. I ran. I random chat. I read randomly. Thought we should do it randomly. We actually need the Writers Guild if we want more culture. We really can't afford it though. We need to get the Colosseum done now. See what we can do about the Barb Camp. Los Angeles, really? Do we do we go for longbowing now then? Or do we actually wait and go for civil service? Which could be good. Let's go for civil service because we're just not ready for any longbow shenanigans. We don't really want to send this to Prague because it's it's hostile. So we can just send it back to the capital again from York. But yes, welcome to the Navy. X Davian X. Hopefully X Davian X survives longer than Gurren did. We can maybe stay there to protect our cargoes, actually. That's probably quite useful. Another cargo to Bratislava. And we can get our guild up as well. And a workshop. We need a lot of stuff. I think that's our tech being good, though. We finally have our enhancer. Let's enhance the Canning Town Mafia. What do we want? What's well, quite useful for us. We might have screwed our, our chances at actually getting something decent by me delaying this here for a pagoda. Which is a shame. Only one garden city available. Amphitheater Faith. I guess production if the city's got a specialist. Or temple culture. We're not really building temples though. So I guess production if the city has a specialist. Because we can go and do that. And then we need to get a spread of belief. Because if, it's got, if we've got specialist production... We'll then work workshops in a few of our cities. Oh, we didn't even grow properly here. We should have fixed that. Damn. Okay, well, we're doing okay now. Bratislava. Let's just work some of these tiles. Gurenberg needs that. And we still need to chop down jungle here, sadly. Let's garrison in front of this and come over. Thanks, <laughs> Davian says, it will change the course of the game, maybe. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the Navy. Swords into plowshares. <laughs> That would have been good. We're, we're plotting war here and we could have gone swords into plowchairs. Get the Lord Muffler's belief plus the cheap Lager's bonus. Lol. <laughs> I guess we could have done. Yeah, the Navy down, down votes swords into plowchairs. <laughs> Maybe. We haven't really heard much from the Navy yet. Our, our whole Navy is ex-Davian X right now. The Navy didn't... The Navy didn't have an opinion, I think we'll say. Definitely no need to chat if you don't want to, so don't feel any pressure, X Davian. Just having a bit of fun role playing. But we uh we still need to keep growing. We definitely need this writer's guild. We also need the workshop. We need a lot. The writer's guild is something that's better for the overall empire, whereas the workshop is something that's better for Bratislava. No to America's research agreement. We're probably gonna backstab our friend soon. Booker says, no pressure, Davian. The entire British Navy rests on you. <laughs> it actually does right now, doesn't it, as well? Davian is our entire Navy. Right, we got our workers out. This is perfect. Needed. And now we can get started on a workshop. Since we've gone workshops, we should get a workshop. And then push towards education. I really don't want to go longbows after unis, though. That seems like a terrible idea. We've got 11 turns. We should probably just... I mean, what a... Why... We have to build Composite Bowman. There's no way that we can't. We can maybe build, build and buy some universities with the gold that we've got. Or do we go for longbows? Our tech's fine, right? Our tech's totally fine. And it's going to be even more fine. So I guess we go for... The longbowman now, or a longbowman good enough to be able to... I mean, we're doing really well in tech. We can probably afford to go unis first. As long as we spend our time pre-unis actually building composite bowmen for pre-builds. I think it's okay. No to selling the iron because we want to go I trust you are a friend to ships of the line whenever we get the chance. Yeah, longbows don't have indirect fire gun. Thanks, Black Vegetable. Mike says, My nephew is working on your trireme and he has straight A's and a bright future, Davian. <laughs> let's, uh, let's see. I hope so. A lot. 
Currently, the entire British Navy rests on the shoulders of that trireme. So let's hope the trireme's good. Let's hope. Let's hope your nephew really does have straight A's. And we get our roads built, do we? In Mansfield, over to the AI. We've been really caught out by not being more prepared. Let's just keep working on the composite bowman. We need to, that camp to get desired at some point. We actually just need to improve our own city. So let's get these composite bowman pre-builds up. We've got a load of gold. We've got an absolute stack of it. Long bowman, bowman upgrades are how much? They are 100 gold. So we can currently afford 10. Pretty good. Pretty good. We should perhaps actually prioritize longbows. I mean, we can build a university in the capital and then get most of our longbow pre-builds built everywhere else. Would seem okay. Oh, this is a civil service farm tile. Oh, I didn't notice that. Perfect. That's good. We need to get rid of some jungle. Let's build this road first. Can Gurenberg grow? It cannot. Bratislava, can it grow? It cannot. That's fine. Kill this. Carry on. But yeah, that's the one problem with longbowmen. This is why you need quite a few workers sometimes with longbows. This is not good terrain for longbowmen to work through. At all. I think we're blocking the American scout, but I don't actually know that for sure. There's no benefits to the American scout for clearing the camp though, so I'll just leave it be. We're running out of tiles now. In the worst way. We really need this writer's guild. And I guess the citizen will go into it. Repopulation point in Bratislava. Gurenberg's going to grow to this production. Got decent food. Uh, America did clear the camp. That's good to know that they can still do that. It didn't matter, but it's good to know. So Bratislava grew. Gurenberg grew. We handled Gurenberg, so we just need to pop this in the Writer's Guild. And probably just throw one of these useless tiles that we're working in there as well. Workshop is available. So is the Circus Maximus. But maybe we should go for some composite bowmen. And then we can... Oh, Gurenberg says scouts can go through your units. Oof, that's alright. I, I wasn't really worried about this gold. It wasn't part of a quest. We're going to lose the friendship of Bucharest, sadly. I mean, we could spend some gold to get it back, but I don't feel like we need to. We're about to take our Explo Hammers policy. Did we build? Yeah, we build another composite bowman in Gurenberg. Need to just get some food here. Anything will do at this point, I think. Unit needs orders, okay. Get another farm up. That's getting some more production for York. The reason we're chopping down all of the forest around York, or all of the jungle around York specifically, is because chopping down jungle turns into plains. Don't really want to sell the iron. I don't know what's going on with America and the Celts. Are they still at war? No, they're not. We should probably pay for that again. Preferably pay for it from America's side. This Celtic missionary is going to try, come and try and convert Gurenberg here. Let's finish some composite bowmen. Mike says, is this an expo push brewing? It is. isn't. Well, it's a longbow push brewing. Yeah, Gurenberg got converted. It's got mosques, though. We might as well just buy a mosque there. Pump bow done. University or workshop? We could buy, like, two universities. We've still got plus 50 gold per turn. I almost wonder if we just buy two universities somewhere. And then get some pre-builds in for the longbowmen. I mean, it can't be bad to buy unis, right? So maybe buy one in the cap. And then we can buy one in... Mansfield. Lots of science being worked all of a sudden. Makes me feel bad about chopping this jungle down. Maybe we don't need to do it. Maybe we shouldn't do it. Probably shouldn't do it now. Let's just get some roads towards America then. 
Got this in there. And so it's going to take us a few turns, but it's going to take us a few turns to research Longbow Tech anyway. The cap's got a university that we can and really should be working. We can work those slots. It would be great if we could get these slots worked in here. I wonder if there's what... Can we give up more production for it? Probably. Combo here. And so... Yeah, we, we need to just chop down some of it. Because it's production for the city, we do need to chop down some of this jungle. I don't want to get rid of it all. But a couple of pieces of jungle just like this for production, probably. But right, so there's another randomly from chat as well. Oh, PC, can, you can rename those combos now. Yes, we can. So... So my boy RT needs a longbow for role play, says Mike. Absolutely, we can do that. So... Let's see. RT is in here. I just want to get RT's name right. So, let's see... Two T's FN. Here we go. Oh, RT wasn't here to, to decide exactly what they wanted their name for. So we'll do that. And then another one in chat. RT already asked for something. So I'll actually do two randomly from chat. So we'll see who comes out next. Okay. Let's see what we've got. So, this one. Bucatini. And then this one can be... Let's see. Mr. Jarvis. There we go. And then <laughs> Scott says, Name that next combo poop man. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do that when it comes out. Poor poop, man. <laughs> Booker says, look, no, I made it. Yeah, you did make it. You did make it indeed. Let's chop some stuff down still. Need to do these roads. Bring this dude back for the war. And next Davian, the Navy, rather, as well as being next Davian, comes home. We can maybe try and give up these dies because we are working gold anyway. And Gurenberg just needs a decent tile. Badly. So let's have that work the dies. Okay. <laughs> the merchants and the traders oh, Mike points out the fact that I said I was going to name the combo Poof Man when it comes out. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Well, we now have Poof Man as well. It's five. We can take maritime infrastructure now for the production from coastal cities, which is going to be a big, big boost to production. We should go and now get our combo pre-builds up. Machinery in four turns. York's got perfect timing as well. Then, yeah, finish our roads. Do this. Composite Bowman up, so let's get another pre-build in. Mansfield's got really terrible production, but it'll improve as it works these extra mines. Let's bring all these units back, ready for upgrading. We'll store them inside the cities to save gold for now. And America, while they're still friends, why don't we just sell four iron for... Oh, how much is that worth now? How much is it in gold? 40 and four. It's like 200. Let's try 250. 231. 200. 180. 185. No, okay. 184. We're going to try and rinse him through as much as we can here. No. Is it really just 180? Yeah, it's 45 each. Okay. And then we'll trade the other one away for another 45. I'm listening. Perfect. It's a bit cheeky from us, really. We've got guilds. We can actually put trading posts down now. So let's do some of that. Yeah, the combos can wait just for a moment. Need to make sure no one finishes too soon. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six right now so we don't have enough gold which means that we can switch to a workshop for a couple of turns here uh, <laughs> drip of rain says for black vegetable okay acknowledged Gwen says, uh, how are you going to generate that great general uh admiral i mean <laughs> yeah i don't know yet we need to figure out what we're going to do i would like an admiral for a city state quest oh there's a camp here for book arrest let's go observe it we don't really have time to do it but we can go observe it at least 
Make sure none of our combos are finishing too soon, which they're not. Build another road towards America. They've got another settler out here. Just improving in York. Try Ream, just to explore some more land. Yeah, American settler, I know. <laughs> Taxing the colonies. <laughs> exactly. When are we going to get these riggings in? A couple of turns. I think our happiness is living on Samarkand right now. It's not great. Let's go check out this camp. Hopefully the American settler will get stolen by it or something. Need to put some trading posts down wherever we can. Or we'll probably chop it down more likely. Machinery in two turns. We're going to be up to about five upgrades. It would be nice if we could get some more, actually. Our friendship with America just ended, so we can't renew that. Kill the settlers, says Drip of Rain. Kill the natives. Oh, no. Are we going to accidentally produce any? Not yet. No, we're going to go alone. Washington's just built Machu Picchu. Where? I like that. we got to kill some trash, though. We actually can't go inspect the camp right now. Will you, you declare war on the Celts? Ability. Eight gold per turn and dies sounds fine. So what's that like? 14? 15? 16? 17? Okay, 17 gold per turn for that war. I guess we don't have to worry about the betrayal penalty because, well, we haven't met any more AIs. So why don't we just friend him? Oh, we can't because we declined the friend request. That's unfortunate. Yeah. It did indeed settle the bananas. It's a shame. It's going to be annoying. We'll have to burn it. Or, yeah, just some, something like that. Or take it from him in the peace deal and just kind of hope that it doesn't build any units. Might just be the best plan. Don't want to finish these composite bowmen. Let's put a turn into a university here. And a turn into a university here. Apparently we've been spread Jesuit education. Which is kind of ridiculous. Need to buy a mosque at some point as well. We, it's a shame we're not being peaceful. We could have done a lot for faith. Unmet player went renaissance. We should get astronomy. To solve that. We now have machinery though. So we can turn back and try and get to astronomy now. And make our renaissance era entry. We need to upgrade all of our dudes. So... I guess, well, first of all, we need to prioritize the most important one first, which means that Mike, of course, needs to be in upgraded. RT, Poop Man gets upgraded. Booker, Mr. Jarvis, Composite Bowman. Okay, this one's the Black Vegetable. Oh, no, apparently I don't have room for the name, so we call it, maybe it's the Bee Vegetable. There we go, the Bee Vegetable. What have we got? Something like this for the production focus trick still. And now we can try and finish all of these composite bowmen. Next turn. They'll get converted over so we don't have to worry about that. Perfect. And we'll finish this workshop before finishing the combo and the cap. Well, Mike says, is there a rule of thumb for estimating how much unhappiness you're going to generate from a peace deal when an AI proposes it if they're giving you cities? You can, yeah. So the way that it works is the, it's one unhappiness for every population point. So when you take on a new city, you know that you're going to take on one unhappiness. And then it's something like 1.5x, I think. It's like, or like add like, I forget how many percent it is now, but you also have to add a few unhappiness points on for the fact that they're going to be occupied citizens. But I don't, I don't know quite how much. It usually tells you. Yeah, Drip of Rain says an upgrade. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Drip of Rain is the, the watcher on the wall. Bratislava grows. 22 population, which is perfect. And we're going for the longbows. Just need a couple turns to get the bee vegetable upgraded. But we can probably start the war now. So let's see what we can do about America. Bring the longbows over. What have we got here? We don't have much else to improve. Just improve some tiles. Put a trading post down on this one because it's our capital. Same here. Probably don't want to... Probably just want to build trading posts there as well. 
And then I guess we can just declare war this turn. Booker says we can shoot further than we can see, so need your eyes. That's true, actually. Get a couple of sight upgrades. Maybe we do need maybe we do need their eyes. We do actually need a horseman. And we have sold all of our horses. Let's just I trust you are declare war on America now. Oh, really? We went to war with Bucharest. That's annoying. It's unfortunate. Probably should have done something about that. Oh, well. I guess we can... I mean, what can we do with the spy instead? Put it in Riga, maybe? I not realise that. Oh, well. Yep. Revenge for the camp steal attempt. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, the extra unhappiness comes only when annexed, right? Not puppeted. No, puppets also give extra unhappiness. Well, that was pretty brutal. We need a horseman. Can we get one? Yeah, we can get one. It's almost better to get a three-turn horseman in the cap. Okay, well, let's wait, and then we'll see what we can do. This American knight is it? Oh, and here's Egypt. They've shown up just as our... And we can trade salt for crab. Perfect. Well, we've met Egypt. They showed up just after we broke our deal, which means they have no idea what we were doing here. Oh, Mike says, when I watch NQ domination games, I never understand how the players are managing their happiness. There's more happiness going around in the NQ mod as well, I think. The general. Get a mask. All right. What can we do about this knight then? I think we can kill it. Yeah, nice. Look at these longbows go. We actually need to chop down some stuff in front of Los Angeles. Which would be kind of fun. Need to wait a turn here for that combo to be able to get an upgrade. Let's keep chopping some stuff down. We'll bring the sight along. To brain and their vision. But yeah, there's there's kind of... I mean, there's more production. It sort of helps you stay happy. There's more luxuries around on the map as well. Which kind of helps with happiness. But you're right. I mean... They... It's... With all the conquests that they would do, it is quite tough sometimes to manage the happiness. The one thing that I will say is that on 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 Lech mod as well, it's you kind of have to capture those cities because going to war does slow you down a lot, especially in the context of the in the context of what other people are doing as well in the mod. So it slows you down so much that you actually have to keep all of the cities, otherwise you will never be able to. Never be able to keep up with the players that didn't go to war. It's already a problem that the group has a bit, actually. Good. Kill the knight. Move in. So we can chop down the jungle. And we can get some upgrades here. Just move into Mansfield to upgrade. There goes the great mosque. Bring Drip of Rain over. For their vision. Finishing some longbows and crossbows. Oh, Black Vestra says, According to the in in internet, puppeted cities do not generate more unhappiness. And it's also not my experience. Oh. Oh, interesting. Well, I guess I'm wrong then. Yeah, fair enough. I kind of assumed that they did. But I definitely could be wrong. University next is fine. Then Gurenberg and University next is also fine. Oh, fair. I did not know that, actually. I guess I just always had taken on so much unhappiness and had assumed that it was to do with the... Yeah, we can't shoot the city, can we, right now? We cannot. Which means we need to actually chop down a lot of stuff here. Let's go and try and chop down some more fur ice. This can shoot, though, can it? It can't. Can't even shoot Portland. For... Why can we not shoot Port? Oh, because we can't draw a straight line between the unit and the city. So, I mean, maybe Portland's like the... Portland was the one place we wanted to leave alone, though. I guess we'll just wait a couple of turns and set up our fortification line. Like this. And do that. But yeah. Maybe it's just all like... The most game says it's reduced unhappiness, you thought. Oh. Or compared to annexing. Yeah, it, it is reduced unhappiness. He was just disputing the fact that I had... I had originally thought that you also took on extra unhappiness because a a puppeted city was not your own but apparently that's not true so fair enough I didn't know
America might steal some of our workers here, but we're really not bothered. We also don't want to keep Los Angeles. It's really a lot of turns to cut this stuff down. I guess in the meantime, we can just shoot Portland for training. I was hoping America would send over some more units, but I guess the war with the Celts has got them busy. We can just bring some of this stuff over. We're starting to get close to unhappiness again. Ah, oh, here's Shaka. Hello. Can trade ivory for crabs. Perfect. Come on, America. Got a great person born in Bratislava. That's good. We now need probably some more... Probably just an... Oh, this cargo ship would be nice. But I'm pretty sure we want another horseman first. After this longbowman. We've got more than enough longbows right now. We just need to chop down jungle. Or just to push in. In fact, you know what? This is kind of pointless. We're waiting way too long. Yeah, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. Just push in. And take the city. <laughs> All right, let's get Drip of Rain out here. They've got extra vision, so that actually helps with sight. <laughs> but yeah, Drip says, it would be better if you sacrificed me rather than deleting me for honor. <laughs> yes. we. Uh, you're, you're not going to get deleted. I wouldn't worry. You know I'm bad at deleting scouts at the best of times. You're not going to get deleted. You may get sacrificed. We can take this worker. Okay. So apparently Los Angeles is going down pretty quick. We need to get the horsemen ready and in position to capture. Oh, there's a car. There's a caravan there. It's a shame we can't get it. But yeah, so noble. Drip, drip could be the capture unit. Maybe Drip could do something here. We shall see. We need to double back now for the workshop in Mansfield and grow a bit. Well, it's actually going to be a relatively clean kill on the AI here, which is good news. We needed that for sure. Oh, are we working our all improved tiles now? I think we are, which means we need to just go and improve jungle. This cargo to Gurenberg definitely can continue. America wants to make peace, but take all of our cities. I don't think so. Because as I think my guy missed. <laughs> we'll see. Yep, good shots, everybody, indeed. Let's see. Poop man. Can shoot. We need to we need to make sure this thing can get in, which means we actually need to swap here. Can we knock down any of this jungle? No. So oh, longbowman. Or should I say let's see. This one is. Squeak. Unfortunately, I can't. But in Squeak is a bully boy, so it's just going to have to be called Squeak Bully. And we can take Los Angeles and raise it. We do not want that city at all. Get rid of that nonsense. Maybe start building another longbow now. Do we want the cargo? The cargo could be good. So could an artist guild, though. So there we go. <laughs> Booker says, I got a swap for the horse. I mixed my, ex missed my XP. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, Booker, you did lose your XP. I apologize, Booker. Whoops. But let's, um, we need to make sure that the scout drip can be the next capture unit. The noble man who wanted to be deleted may instead become the capture unit. We can just keep shooting Portland for a bit. We can't move through. We're going to have to wait for a turn. Yeah, book, book got benched. <laughs> the unnamed horseman captured it, boys. That's true. We need to name the horseman. All right, who do we name the horseman as? Let's see. Okay. FJS War has become the Noble Horseman. There we go. And then this Horseman actually now needs to become someone as well. Let's see. Noble Horseman has become Scott Noly. There we go. And Scott Noly can come forwards. 
Maybe go there, Scott. There we go. Get useful. <laughs> because there's now I'm third string. Yeah, we've actually got a few too many horsemen right now. We, I don't think we should build any more. But also, <laughs> Mike says, sub booker in for me. I have so much XP. <laughs> where, where, where did you go, Mike? Oh, we've got this longbowman as well. He needs to be named someone. Let's see. Orion VB for the longbowman. There we go. The city's still being... It's got no buildings. It's kind of bad. All right, let's see what we can do. So we need to work some more of this jungle, which would be ideal. We actually acquired a tile here. We should probably work it just so that it's like ours or something. And then we can push onwards towards more American stuff. Unfortunately, we're in a bit of a mess with Prague right now. There's not a lot we can do about it. There's a... Oh, that's a fifth, fifth looking unit over there, actually. Oh, okay. There's the American army. We're going to have to defend around Los Angeles for a bit. <laughs> okay. Clear some tiles up. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do about this army. Just, oh, go to workshop. Okay, we're going to need everybody here. Everybody we can get. Maybe Scott can move out. Scott, get, Scott can get out of the way. Jarvis hasn't really got a lot to do. Stay there. Yeah, <laughs> hold the line, men and women, indeed. We're, we're certainly not keeping Los Angeles. Like vegetable, wait. Squeak is a bully, wait. Who else has we got the wait? This longbowman here. <laughs> Booker says, I'm glad, glad now to be on the bench. Good luck, gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Good luck, indeed. Okay. Got another longbow here we need to name. Let's just shoot Portland again. Okay, let's see what we can do. These tiles are a bit punishing right now. We just need to... Yeah, didn't see that. That's fine. Uh, yeah, let's be friends with the Celts. That's fine. Hopefully, there's not too much around here. Minutemen are going to be a bit punishing, but I think we'll be okay. We just need to make sure that we can do damage to the units that, are actually, that can actually cause us some harm. Let's just kill that. And then we can come through here now. In fact, we should just get into the city... Now that FJS war is kind of done for a bit. Let's go back in and push this one up. The drip of rain needs to be protected. We can shoot this combo. Although we probably should have actually backed up. That would have been better. Nothing to do here. Let's build a road for a while. Bratislava still needs to grow. Perfect. I guess these two noble longbowmen, the ones that aren't doing anything, can keep shooting Portland for a bit. Although Squeak needs to find something to do. So I think Drip drops back. Build a road here. And heal, probably, with Booker. Taking a bit of damage, but not too much. Keep the trade going. It's going to be a bit painful, this war. City got raised now. Yeah, so we can get also some shots on this composite bowman. Can't kill it, but it's nearly dead. I don't think anyone's close enough to kill it. <laughs> I think we might have just sacrificed Scott Noli. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> R.I.P. Uh, let's back up over here. I think uh, I, th I think Scott's died. <laughs> Whoops. I'm good at Civ chat, I promise. <laughs> Drip says, I want to deal with that swordsman. Well, like, we'll see what we can do. We're, we'll bring Drip round, see if we Drip can get their wish of sacrifice. I guess is what Drip is angling for. Still keep shooting Portland, though. Bombay mix in the background, just duking it out. Uh, yeah, so I think Scott's dead. Scott lived. What did I say, chat? I'm like the best general ever. So, RT's got Barrage. I guess we can upgrade. There we go. I can shoot a lot of stuff here. There we are. Look at this. Scott lived. The Scott is it, Scott's a tank. What, what what can I say? We can't really shoot a lot now. We need to chop down more jungle. 
So we should probably get Scott out <laughs> before Scott actually dies. And then... What, a settler? Shoot the civilians. Bombay Mix is promoting still. That's fine. So what do we need? We probably need... We need more sacrifices, really. So let's just get another longbowman. Put a longbow on the sheep. Oh, good question. We could, we should have put a longbow on the sheep, actually. This dude can come up here. Booker. Booker can go on the sheep. Booker, we're pushing you forward. Our artist guild is done. Let's get it worked. Uh, I was going to chop down this deer. I guess we can. And wait with Mike. Wait with... Oh. Long, random longbowman. I think. Is there is there anyone we haven't named after yet that's in the chat? Let's see. I don't think so. So maybe... Yeah, Mike's got zero terrain cost. It's true, actually. So, this time to rename... Or who do we... We can have... Here we go. We can we can resurrect Gurren 1. Gurren 1 is back. Pretzel has no unit. <laughs> Pretzel's the music bot. <laughs> Although, that's I mean, I'm sure you knew that. <laughs> but Gurren, Gurren 1 is back. Squeak gets an upgrade. And then we can keep shooting stuff. I guess get roads. Need to chop down some jungle. Push this worker forwards. See what we've got. Can't shoot a lot of stuff here. because Probably because of one of these jungle hills. We can actually attack San Francisco. Why don't we do that? And that means our enterprising drip of rain can move out. And Scott the Horseman can maybe push forward too. Got another upgrade here. Nothing to do this turn sadly. And we now have a general. That's uh, King PCJ Law. Come to command the troops. University done. Get a workshop next. What are we doing here? This seems okay. Heal Mr. Jarvis. Long swordsmen have arrived. I guess these two longbows can actually kill San Francisco by itself. And I think we do want to also raise San Francisco. Poop Man's got an upgrade. Move over the scout. See if we can get some caravans. Upgrade for the black vegetable. Cool. And we need to just chop down jungle. Out there. Probably uh, just more jungle that needs to be chopped. Gurenberg grew. We we kind of do just need to work the food. But we're unhappy right now. So why don't we just work the university for a bit. Which actually just tells me that we should be building this up. Because Maximus not a longbowman. We got no trades. I guess not. Okay well we'll have to wait for that. Right now I guess we're just being unhappy for a bit. Egyptian prophets here. I guess we're not going to get our religion very far. We should actually work these two university slots while we're unhappy as well. Before we build the workshop. Now these workers don't have a lot to do. We might have to delete a couple. It's okay though. General PCJ Law can come forward. Chill right there. Orion's protecting him. FJS War is upgraded. Oh, FJS War can upgrade to a nice knight. There we go. On oh, Bowman can keep shooting Portland. These American units are being a bit annoying. We need to bring a third unit over towards San Francisco. That will accelerate the decline. Now we have banking. Yeah, so let's maybe move over here like this and like this. And then we can bring these units over. Booker, Scott and Poopman can go and take on San Francisco together. Perhaps we can also bring Mike over. No terrain costs. And push some other of our noble longbowmen forwards. Yeah, no one can really shoot anywhere here. That's fine. 
then FJS Ball can maybe come forward as well. But the FJS, FJS Ball's already got one kill. It would be a bit greedy of FJS Ball to get another, I think, personally. So we can now try and look for... We probably do just need to look for scientific theory. But we can maybe go for industrialization first. Aim small, miss small, says my... <laughs> nice. Let's see. We can maybe go and improve some stuff. These workers are good. America's got no units in Portland, which is fine. We need to chop down jungle. That's what we need to do here. Actually, let's bring all of these workers over to chop jungle. It's really nothing that needs to be done apart from that. And everyone can take a break. There we go. Oh, the city states keep covering up these caravans. It's really unfortunate. But our team, including Gurren 1, can take on San Francisco. We're going to push in for the kill next turn. So we'll see if Drip of Rain can do it. Or Drip of Rain dies. One of the two. Guru in the cap. Workshop done here. We need to go observatory next. Get the mine here. We're actually happy again. But I think we're okay with our growth rate right now. Let some units move forward. So we can kill that up there. Three and easy kills. Horseman. Scott can't really pillage much. That's okay. Go and improve some of this jungle. And we can get our custom reshot on Portland. Where Bombay Mix is training. Miss Jarvis asks, Is there ever a scenario in which you would convert a general into a citadel amidst a war? Actually, there is. So, turning generals into citadels can actually be quite important for trying to break into difficult terrain. So, the I guess the useful scenarios that I can think of are a couple... The, and they're only really, generals are only really useful, of course, in offensive war when you're attacking your neighbor of whom you have a city right next to them. And then on defensive war, they can be incredibly useful because they do tons of damage to, universe, to, to units that are next to them. So where they become most handy, I guess, if, my, if I'm next to my opponent and my opponent plants a citadel, I could plant a citadel to take their citadel away from them. It's whoever owns the tile gets the cit you know, owns the citadel. So if my opponent plants a citadel and then I plant a citadel to steal their citadel, then I can use their citadel against them and that can be really punishing. But also, offensively, I can plant a citadel to take their tiles into my tiles and it means I can do things like use roads while on those tiles. And that can allow me to break into their land as well. But also, planting a citadel on someone's land as opposed to being able to steal their tiles for roads, you can also just generally use it to deal damage to their defending units. Although it's much less viable because because your opponent can counter general. So typically I would use it for... Oh! Alright, Pete. <laughs> Drip of Rain died. <laughs> the scout was killed by San Francisco. And we've met Gandhi. Hello. And Assyria, hello. No trades available, sadly, right now. But Poop Man can shoot San Francisco. So can Booker. So can Gurren One. And so can Mike. We have enough to take it with the Knight or the Horseman. We actually only have enough to take it with the Knight, sadly. So Scott can do the noble job of plundering the trade route. Scott could try it, but Scott might die. So we're going to have to use... Unfortunately, we're going to have to use FJS War for safety. We can return a unit... No, uh, we just take the civilian, whatever it is, and raise the city again. That's a missionary. I didn't want to return that at all. I thought we'd taken a worker or something. We probably need to push up here now. We've been waiting far too long to not do anything around here. So let's push. Let's get on the road there and keep chopping stuff down. General PCJ Law can come forward. Need. Probably actually this just needs to be a road now. And we can make a proposal. Let's just make it the World's Fair. Everyone loves the World's Fair. Need to make everyone happy with us while we're doing Conquest. We're really unhappy all of a sudden. Let's get a garden because that'll actually make a difference for the great people. And then Mr. Jarvis says, look at the unprotected general. Yum. I know. <laughs> I know. But yeah, Drip of Rain died. So it was a really nice time with all of you guys. <laughs> well, RIP, Drip of Rain. And perhaps you'll make a comeback as a unit more suitable to the game. This this knight is being annoying. 
I'm going to finish this long bowman to see if we can deal with that. And then Scott can now... Scott can upgrade to a knight. Scott's got some new wheels. Oh. Okay. Unit needs orders. FJS War needs to heal. <laughs> the horrors of war. <laughs> no, the honour of war. Yes, the honour of war. Sacrificed for the greater good. That's what we call it. Gandhi wants to buy our crabs. I don't think so. We want trades. The enemy is near. I was just knight being annoying near Gurenberg. We actually have a, a long swordsman that's shown up now. Double promotions for Bombay mix there. Can't actually shoot. That's a really annoying knight. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Okay. Promotion for Gurren 1. Need to kill this crossbow first. Okay, so whatever can kill this crossbow should. And then whatever can kill this. Oh, we didn't move forward here again. Let's get another try to build another road. And Scott can go do some attacking and run away. Can delete this mission, really, I guess. Minutemen have now appeared on the field. We actually got an upgrade for FJS War. We can take, I guess, Shock. We sell any buildings here. We can sell a water mill. Move this worker forward because we're going to have to fix some tiles, I guess. We actually need a little bit of defense for a while. But yeah, Mike says, I'm going to need a medical lab. I need therapy after losing my duo. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. We need some ship of the line. Those those don't die so easily. Yeah, these, these Minutemen, I know. Trouble is, America's barely got anything that we can even ship of the line. We're just going to have a bit of a party for a while. And hope no one dies. Basically. <laughs> I think. Now Artie is in danger. But we really do need we really do need to deal with the knight. So let's see if we can get rid of the knight. And help give Artie a bit of help. Oh, we probably could have helped Artie out as well, but it's fine. Next time. the crossbow can we Scott can maybe take shock as well and just hang or or should Scott no shot Scott should not risk their life again and we now need to go and deal with this knight let's move up here and just handle that eventually Bratislava can go back to up oh, we're raising so we can't build the circus Maximus which I guess means that we need another knight but we do have a new long bowman let's see I guess Drip can now make a return. As the pro-defensive longbowman of the Empire. We'll wait here. And see if we can make a push on Boston. Shoot Portland, I guess. Or maybe... And it can't, it can't be called Drip of Rain, because Drip of Rain died. So maybe it's... Uh, I mean, what is it? Like... Drizzle of Rain... Why not? Drizzle of Rain is here to save the day. Scott is immune to targeting, says Mr. Jarvis. Scott, Scott kind of is, actually. But yeah, oh, someone, someone said the last 15. What happened here? Our book says, I missed the last 15. Did we win and who died? Drip died, sadly. And then we... <laughs> Drip of tears, that's nice. Drip died, our fallen comrade. And we uh, we attempted to sacrifice Scott, but Scott is just untargetable, apparently. So Scott lived. Gandhi wants to move through our territory. I don't think so. Okay. We need to find a way of going after Boston. But we don't have the horseman right now. We just don't have the staff, really. So let's not worry about that. And let's focus on the more important things here. Do so we have a road here? We do have a road here now. If we can maybe use a couple of these dudes to kill this. There is potential here to do something useful. Oh, we can't really. Oh, we can do this, though, right? And then we got this minute man that's here, but let's just YOLO Scott forward and get a pillage off. And we can just block. The knight in San Fran is at risk. 
Yeah, that was FJS War. It's fine. Someone might get sacrificed. But yeah, Scott with the Steely Pecs. <laughs> oh, look. Whoever, whatever this knight is just got in the water. So Drizzle of Rain was able to easily deal with that. Uh, General PCJ Law is a bit open to being hurt here. So let's make sure that General PCJ Law is protected. Can't sacrifice the commander. Actually, we might have to. That's fine. Uh, yeah, there would be good for a nice road. Okay, these two knights then. They got a bit attacked. Scott took the brunt of the damage, but it's okay. <laughs> General J Bay says Mr. Jarvis. Well, if anyone's got any opinions about names, we will certainly sort those next. So we need to push Pootman forwards. Then this musket really does need to die. Can we... How do we get shots on it? RT. What can we do with RT? RT might just get slammed here if we don't do anything. We probably need to pull Scott back. Scott is only impervious to so much. We can take this promotion with RT now and shoot the musket, and so that won't be able to do too much damage now. Need to kill the trebuchet. Maybe we pull forward here somehow like that. And then we need to get Drizzle of Rain back into the action. Need some more sacrifices. I mean, knights. Need some more knights. So maybe we get one. And then we can build... We were build, we're building... We're supposed to be building the Circus Maximus in the cap. So let's get that. Although maybe we should get a new, uh, new sacrifice first. I mean, knight. Yeah. Okay. This general's... Uh, PCJ's a bit of risk. We'll move them back. I say we vote for a J-Bay emo. I'll tier three for that. Uh, right now, lol. Don't put PCJ Bay near me or I'm doing that slinger thing where you abandon it. What? <laughs> I don't even know what a PCJ Bay emo would be. Oh, cool. That's that solved. Okay, let's hope FJS War doesn't die. FJS War might die. It'll be... It's, it's okay. I mean, um, it's not okay. Let's be friends with Egypt. That's fine. More Minutemen. FJS War took a bit of heat. It's okay. We can shoot this Minuteman again. Whoever's got shots left on the Minuteman can shoot it. That that really takes a lot to kill. <laughs> That's astounding how powerful that is. Scott is a bit in the firing line here. Is this a hill? It is, but it doesn't do any, it doesn't make any difference, sadly. Because we can't see over the jungle. It's a shame. We need to chop this jungle right there and pull back onto the hill. And then maybe move forward like that. <laughs> minute and more like minute, <laughs> minute lifespan, lol. <laughs> I hope so. We're, we're going to need some more longbow replacements right now. But at least we have Drizzle of Rain coming to the rescue. We can keep working our trading posts. And then you know, King PCJ Law is perfectly fine there. We don't we don't have anything to do with this stuff right now. We need to find out a way to get some shots on Boston. This is becoming a bit tough. <laughs> Two second men. <laughs> oh dear. We can actually spend this gold for a research agreement with Egypt. That's fine. Egypt appears to be the top player right now. Oh! FJS War died. <laughs> RIP FJS War. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. What next? Shoot more Minutemen, I guess. We're going to need Scott to heal. We're running out of units. And shoot these Minutemen a bit more as well. And keep chopping down this jungle. Let's see. <laughs> Portland is tanking quite a lot of damage. Well, I guess we can improve some food. It's not really any good, but we can do it. And we've got a new knight. I guess this can... Um, well, FJS War died, but I guess this can be F... I don't know. Let's, uh, we can maybe call it um, F... We can maybe call it like H... Uh, what's, what's it? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yeah, there we go. 
So we can call it like GJS War. There we go. The FJS War successor comes out as a knight. Rename Washington to Tears of Heroes, says Drift of Rain. We will do that. We will. Once we complete our conquest. Bukatini upgrades. We've got this worker here. That's easy pickings for Scott. Fight through some of this stuff. Black Vegetable's got promotion. That's good. Bootman had a promotion that we forgot to take. Oh, that's come back. We can't kill that yet. We need to kill this pikeman. And then we need to find a way to push forwards, which does mean chopping more jungle. And this forest. So I guess we can do both. Let's actually just chop that jungle then. And then we've got some workers here that are doing pointless things. Bring one of these forwards. And we can open rationalism now. We need to focus on some sim at some point in our city, so perhaps we should tone down the longbowman at some point. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, maybe we should call it FJS War, actually. Let's do that. That'll be better than my uh, my name. So we can call it FJS War. There we go. It's actually got plenty of movement. We can come back onto the front line already. Civilians were captured. The AI is actually finally doing the civilian captures. Is nice to see. Is there any way that we can kill some of these now? We need to make sure to kill as many as possible. Up to barrage three now. Then actually, I mean the AI hasn't been doing any worker killing at all. I think I think FJ's war might already be dead, sadly. This is going to get slammed unless we kill the knight. Double slam, that is. We might have to use... I mean, I, I, we've got to hope that that lives now, actually. It's fine. And then, I mean, these Minutemen are a huge danger to us. Let's try and kill some. We're going to have to... Uh, Bring Squeak Bully forwards. I mean, I'm pretty sure this knight is dead. FJS War is already re-dead. That's okay. Where is PCJ? He's caught. <laughs> yeah. He's currently renamed Washington for now, lol. Yeah. Crossbow pushes are hard on dirty. Says the black vegetable. In this terrain, even longbow struggle. Yeah, it's true. I mean, we're going to do our best to try and take something. I would like Washington, at least, to add to our city collection. But let's see. But yeah, just got back. Did anyone die, says Mike? Lawmasters. Uh, oh, wait, was I was I gonna re oh, I was gonna rename Washington to, to it was what what was we what were we gonna call Washington? It was Tears of something, right? I'm trying to find it now. Yeah, Tears of Heroes. Some have died twice. No one's died twice quite yet, but I'm pretty sure FJS War is about to die twice. FJS War didn't die. Perfect. We got another civilian captured. And a trade route plundered. Really? By what? The barbarians. We're going to have to send the navy over. Is that the longsword? Oh, we can't attack this. Okay. Need to definitely get rid of this minute man. And then we've got this knight. Scott is still healing. It was like Scott has been healing forever. Uh, FJS War definitely needs to take a promotion right now. And do a good job for us. I think FJS War really has been sacrificed now. But we do have a new general. <laughs> that's, that's, so Drip of Rain says, I need to sleep working in three hours. Bye everyone. See you later Drip. Thanks for joining the stream today. We need a new general. Yeah, FJ's war is definitely dead now. Uh, we need to. We might have to resurrect FJS war as one of the generals. Yep, FJS war did now die. 
Whoops. Jack has declared war on Ashurbanipal. We've got another longbow upgrade though. Drizzle of Rain has got a promotion. It needs to see if we can get rid of this knight. Yeah, we can. Good. I feel like that would be sacrificing Scott if we pushed in for that. So maybe let's pull this knight a bit further forward. Or I say this knight, Scott, a bit further forward. Uh, oh no, we can actually take this worker because it's a, it's a road. Oh, we should have, we should have actually shot and then moved back. That would have been quite good. I oh, know we can't move back after shooting. Not to worry. Oh, we can't actually shoot there. If we cut some forests down, maybe. Oh, it's a city-state caravel. Send the navy over. We got this knight coming forward. This is, uh... <laughs> this is, I guess, the new... FGS4 has now died twice. Oh, no. I don't know what to call FGS4 now. I don't know what else to do onto the name. But maybe let's, uh... Scott says, I am willing to sacrifice myself <laughs> all for the quit. The king. All for the king. It's king. We are king PCJ Law Mountbatten Windsor of England. You see, maybe this can now be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, there we go. We can now, maybe it's, maybe it's all caps. FJS. F War, there we go. And now contribute a bit. Circus Maximus is done, so I guess that means we're happy, and we actually are. Leaning is still here. We need these trade routes, though. They all got pillaged. We should build a caravel. We we need some more navy, I feel. We're definitely going to need the zoos. We, we got a new longbowman as well. There we go. Don't even know who we got left. Maybe we need to we need to name one nightbot now. Maybe nightbot can be sacrificed a lot. Yes, uh, this can this can be nightbot. That's fine. Nightbot can be sacrificed. <laughs> Booker says, everyone here is so noble. I'm just trying to stay alive. <laughs> well, I must say, Booker, well, I haven't really been doing a good job of protecting you, but you have stayed alive nonetheless. Uh, Scott Scott wants to be sacrificed for the cause, but there's no need to sacrifice Scott yet. We'll just push this longbowman up a bit. And the black vegetable can move forwards as well. General PCJ Law can still... King PCJ Law can stay here. <laughs> yeah, no nightbots in here. <laughs> Redfield Scott, I don't know. But, but this general does need a name. <laughs> Booker says, because I only have one promotion, not a valuable target. The general does need a name. Um, We're going to name this one Scrambled Megs, because Scrambled Neg Megs is not here. They can be the general. Still wants to take cities. <laughs> oh, you wanted PCJ Bay now. We lost some civilians again. And now King PCJ Law is actually... Is actually under threat. Gorgeous. We've been doing a noble job of keeping King PCJ Law safe so far. We might have pushed Orion up a bit too far as well. Definitely in danger from this longbow, but there is a road here. What have we been pillaged now? Somewhere else. So can we piece it? I bet it's Urz as well, and it's just been trolling around. It is actually Urz as well. Oh dear. Yes, yeah, fine. Well, we can get a white boat to replace it. And we can maybe upgrade the navy to a caravel. We've got another scientist born. We have a promotion on Squeak, which we should take. Ootman has been sitting on some health for a long time. We need to get rid of this knight there first. Then we really do need to think about... Getting rid of this musketman. And saving RT from very definite and likely death. Although we can't actually save RT, I don't think. Oh, and I might have just sacrificed King PCJ Law along with it. Whoops. Well, let's push Scott up for the cause. Can Orion get away? Orion can. Which means it needs to go back and heal now. Choose production. We've got the observatory built. That's good. We kind of need a zoo. Could do with a zoo. 
Could do with some other stuff maybe as well. Got lots of good stuff around Mansfield now though. I feel like we should be growing at some point. FJS War can maybe go and... Oh, FJS War can go defend the king. There we go. While we continue to try and cut stuff down. <laughs> Dives into Jungle Hex to <laughs> protect King PCJ Law. Yeah. Let's see. Book, the book is like, I love how far back my longbowman is. Just like how merry distance at all times. Probably hitting our own front lines. <laughs> That's true, actually. You're miles away. you still got J-Bay, don't fret. Yeah, maybe. We, have, we do now have... Scrambled Megs to come up and be a general. Probably need to get a road up there too. We've got Nightbot. The rogue general. Heal. Sleep. Oh, we lost Scott. <laughs> Scott and Oli died. Well, the black vegetable is the next one in trouble. We'll see if we can pull this off. America's got so many units. I wonder if it's going to do anything. I was hoping this would do better, but yeah, it's the musketmen that have come out that are definitely a problem. Well, we need to get rid of this one first. So let's definitely do that. Got this for Mr. Jarvis here. If JS War can actually do some valuable things. Yeah, that's died now. Now we need to, unfortunately, we need to get the black vegetable out of here, first of all. Can we kill this knight? Okay, that's the knight dead. I'm repairing a tile just to pillage it again. Bratislava grew. We haven't really been concentrating properly on the sim. We can get back to that. Got some more longbows, though. Nightbot, I guess, can come forward. Nightbot can be sacrificed. <laughs> But yeah, Scott dies old. Mr. Jarvis said, did you just peace at this point? Maybe they give you Atlanta. That's true, actually. First, you are a friend to live uh, no, they still want Mansfield and Gurenberg. But we might be able to do something. It's a shame, because the initial jump did allow us to get a couple of cities, but not everything. Ships of the line could be good still, but we'll see. Oh, who did we lose? Oh, we just we lost a civilian. That's okay. Thought we'd lost someone again. But we've got a lot of damage on these longbowmen now. They're slowly being worn down by the American units. Okay, there's that crossbow. Can't shoot with that one. We can shoot with this one, which means we can take it again. And this worker can keep trying to chop down the jungle. We can actually go move mode on Squeak to take this worker and drop back. Like that. And then we just need to get some heals going. One long bowman's got promotion. That's Bombay Mix that's been chilling here attacking Portland this whole time. Caravel done. We might need some extra punch to get into the city. So let's get another knight. And then maybe we need to throttle down and think about simming again. Maybe we can even push forward here. Pillage. For FJS War. One of many. But yeah, this jungle, I guess the bad terrain is what's slowing this down. But yeah, once we get logistics, hopefully the tide will change. It's what I'm hoping for. Double attacks is going to be pretty pretty powerful. We can explore some of the world while we're here. See who else is act who's actually coastal. I was really hoping we'd be able to... Oh, someone died. Who died? I don't know who died. Yeah, it was whoever was here. I can't tell who we lost. Your longbowman was destroyed by an American Minuteman. Oh no, we lost someone. And I can't figure out who. <laughs> Mike says, I think it was me. Oh no! <laughs> oh, Mike lasted so long. Uh, we can pillage this tile that we just repaired. Well, RIP Mike. Oh, Mike says, oh no, I'm safe. Yeah, I don't know who we lost. Maybe Drizzle of Rain died. You're right, it could have been Drizzle of Rain. Yeah, it was Drizzle of Rain that died. Well, RIP Drizzle of Rain again. <laughs> Jess War's got an improvement now. Okay, we need to kill all the dangerous units for sure. Which means backing up from this right now. And waiting. 
And there's actually a nice shot that we got off there, which is good. We can't take this back. I guess we can. We can maybe try and push FGS War up a bit to try and defend that. We need more barbarian crossbowmen. We need more happiness. Let's go Samarkand. We don't have Samarkand anymore. Maybe we can do some trading with someone that's our friend. We've got spare citrus here. Is that like 200 gold? It is. What else can we do? Maybe solve our gold per turn somehow. By selling other horses to Ashurbanipal, perhaps. So our gold per turn has gone not good all of a sudden. I guess that solves the gold per turn problem. How much do we need to become allies? 89 to become allies with Samarkand. Oh, wow. Okay, that's not really possible then. We might have just lost that for good. But yeah, Black Vegetable says, I will get killed there. <laughs> yeah, we've... we've uh, you might actually. This is a road, isn't it? Let's just pull back a bit. Someone may well die. Let's hope no one dies. We've had we've had a bit of bit of fun trying to troll with AI a bit either way, but I must admit I would like to come away with Washington. Thebes isn't even coastal. It's kind of crazy. What is coastal? FJS War died again. <laughs> These knights are taking a beating. Yeah, it's a minimum. They're scouts. Yeah, of course. Yeah, they can definitely move and see. And move over terrain, right? We just needed to be able to do damage to the city. It's kind of the important thing right now. And we're just not able to do it. I mean, that knight is as good as dead. Okay, we need to do... We need to do something here. How do we do this? Shoot that, maybe. Oh, we can't do anything there. We'll just wait a turn. Heal here. And then, I guess, because we can't actually shoot anything, we'll move in and take the worker. Return it. Oh! That was our Samarkand worker. Well, there's something we can do with that. Surely. I need to get into a good shooting position. Like that, perhaps. And then maybe just uh, make sure King PCJ Law is safe. Bring a new worker over to see what we can do here. But yeah, Mike says I'm going in. Never mind. We don't need to yet. It'll be okay. Yeah, ships to the line would have been nice, but we just can't take Washington with them. This is, I guess, a bit of a lesson in just how bad it is to do crossbow pushes on deity but let me go turn the lights on and then we'll see <laughs> Booker says oh god he's got me protecting the king terrible idea we'll see no one has died yet we just lost another civilian we're down to all longbows though we don't actually have any knights it's worth remembering Oh, this is this crossbow is being a real pain. We actually do kind of need an instant heal on Nightbot. We might have to just back away here from America, which is unfortunate. Because it means that we got kind of nothing from this. I really wanted to take at least one capital, but there's just too many units for us to kill until we get the range promotion, which we don't have. Because we're just going to lose all of these longbows otherwise. Would have been good to be up there. This can't really do anything either. Don't really want to take that. Roads, healing. Indeed. Oh, Mike says, did you do you get the range com promotion through combat XP? Yeah, so it's the it's the level four promotion that you can take on units. Yeah, so we can't do anything here. This is going to get flank attacked. We'll probably move Scrambled Megs back. And maybe pull this back as well. I guess see what we can do. Apparently, well, our trade with Egypt ran out. 
we can get that back. And then this worker, this can't really do a lot. I would like to go and take it back, but we'll, we'll die if we do that. Because it's not on a road, is it? Or is it? Not on a road, so we're going to have to wait and heal. This was going well, but the Minutemen are a bit much. Um, Mike asks, do you need Brandenburg or Alhambra for that? Probably both, actually. Alhambra helps. And then Brandenburg, I think, gives you... Yeah, so Brandenburg is what you need to get out of the date. Out of the gate. And then Alhambra gets you most of the way there. We got another civilian captured. I guess he's not at war with Samarkand anymore. These Minutemen coming in here like that make it easier for us to kill them. The Celts stopped being at war with America, which is probably what's caused a lot of these Minutemen to come flooding over. We're really actually struggling to even get shots on these Minutemen right now. Maybe pull some generals back. We lost all of our workers, which is a big problem. We maybe get the Celts back to war with America again. I actually would do it, I think. Okay. So the Celts are back to war with America. It might be too little too late, though. I actually built a zoo now here. What do we need next? Probably the cargo ships. And then this night is complete. Let's get cargo ships. I guess we'll batten down for a bit of simming. For a bit. I guess we can try and get peace. Maybe. And then come back later with ranged Gatling guns or something. I don't really know. Probably not worth fighting valiantly until all the units die. Because they are going to die very fast here. Pillage for Poop Man again though. How is America's army score doing? Is he top or something? We've actually got 60k. It's just not a lot. We can't afford to be losing units, and that is certainly what's going to happen right now. Maybe let's try and come back in 10 turns. Although we can probably wait one turn longer. Now that we've killed all of that. This knight definitely needs to stay here. And then King PCJ Law can wait. Next turn. Yeah, so we didn't lose any didn't lose anyone, which is good. I wonder whether Chukanoos or Longbowmen are better. Um we finally got oh, we got rain we got barrage three now there. Still a lot to go before we get the promotions we need. We definitely need to peace now, otherwise we are going to get too many killed. Sure. Because this Minuteman could kill someone. Although, that could be us breaking through at this point. I mean, is it us breaking through? I don't know. But it could be. So maybe we just stick for a bit. And see how it goes. If we don't lose too many units, we'll be okay. Who's at risk? Probably Mike is at risk. Oh, it's got... It's almost got range, though, or logistics, even. Kind of sucks. It's definitely going to get killed by the Minuteman. Might be necessary for the war. We'll see. If we can break through now, that would be great. Yeah, Mike died. <laughs> well, RIP. Sacrificed. We've got industrialization. At least we can kill that Minuteman. And we have Barrage 3 on RT. I think we can do a good job of getting some shots in here. We might actually have just lost these dudes. 
He says, what do men and men even have and why are they so broken or is it just because it's deity? It's a combination between deity and... What can we do? Is there any way that we can get anyone in here to help? Yeah, it's kind of a combination between just it being deity and that they are just a unit that's better than the regular musketmen, which makes it kind of difficult for them to be... Well, which makes it even more difficult for us because they're even stronger than a unit that's already too much of a match for anything that we've got. But they're very powerful units, and I think they've got extra movement or something as well. We kind of need to build factories at some point. Don't need night goats here. Got that minute man first of all. But yeah, they have no combat bonus, but scouting means they get in very easily. Yeah, I guess that's true. They just they can just see. Which is quite powerful for them. Generally anything that's better than the standard musketman is quite hard for us. I like Andy. We didn't actually lose RT here, which is good because I nearly got RT killed. But I'm feeling quite optimistic. We might have just broken the AI. Shop. I wonder if that means that we need to get one more night before we go anywhere. This car goes back. So where were they going? Bratislava and Gurenberg. So we need to send another one to Bratislava from Mansfield. And our knight actually has an instant heal now, which is good. I think we're going to need Bombay mix. We need to start getting into city range. What can we, what can we, how long does it take? Three turns here. A couple more turns here. Do we get into city range or do we wait? I guess we wait. We can actually shoot the city now. I guess we can do that to warm up. And then just heal Artie right in enemy territory. Mike says, just came back. Do we have logistics yet? Uh, no comment. I think we need to vote for Egypt. Mike, you may have died. <laughs> for the good of the Empire, though. Trust me, it, it was fine. We're going to need one of these, these newbies to show up and become the new... Oh, here we go. So, we did have... Mike like 98. I guess it's Mike like 99 now. For the king, <laughs> indeed. For King PCJ Law. Right, the black vegetable's still here. It's still chilling, still alive. I think we need to get everybody prepared to go attack. So we'll even bring Squeak forwards. No to the peace. Grab for 119 open borders. I would really like anything else, really, Gandhi. Syria's got marble. Assyria wants crabs. Is there anything that you will do for this trade? No. Shaka has got cotton. But we've got nothing that we can offer him because we need our coal. We should be building we should be building factories in a minute. Keep chopping down all of this jungle. We got any more workers here? Not really. We're a bit low on workers because we got them all captured by America. We should really be building factories now. Let's go in and do that after some of these zoos complete to get us happy again. Then we'll maybe golden age for them as well. Cargo ship. So we probably need to send it to... York needs production. I guess we can do that. And then this needs to be food to... Oh, we already sent from Mansfield, did we? Oh, we did. Mansfield to Bratislava. Gurenberg to York. This needs to go to Gurenberg. And so this actually needs to come from York to Bratislava. Whoops. Kill Nightbot. And but we can... No, we can't, we can't even get shots in here, really. It's this forest again. Okay. We really need to chop this down so that we can get, in, get some shooting positions out here. This one. This two, actually. I almost wonder whether or not it's worth planting a citadel on something. Yeah, Booker says at least you haven't died twice. That's true. Some some have died twice, sadly. Do we need to push these longbowmen in to city range? I guess we'll see what actually has shots in next turn. 
Although Bombay Mix has been around for a while here. Is, is there anywhere good that we can put Bombay Mix? I'm intrigued to see what happens if we get bombarded by the city. It might be that we can just walk in. We didn't die. We lost a we lost a worker again. Which we need to recapture. We need to try and kill the knight. There we are. The knight can be killed. Chop that down. Perfect. Need to recap the worker. Need to get Bombay Mix out of here then. Maybe just push units forward. So maybe Nightbot can go into the fray. That seems a bit risky actually. Probably should not have done that. York grew. Okay. We need to work the workshop slot. Otherwise this is totally fine. And Bombay Mix can definitely just heal. Needs that. We actually need to bring the black vegetable forwards. See if the black vegetable can survive up there. And this cargo can go to Bratislava to keep it growing. Let's kill that trireme. That's dead now. And then this was going to Bratislava. Again, continue. We don't have any gold. Okay. Well, next turn, hopefully, we can do some shooting. No one died yet, which is perfect. Although another Minuteman has now turned up, which is going to slow us down a bit. Maybe there's a way that we can deal with the minute. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Now that we've cleared this forest, we've got more shots again. That's great. Probably need to bring Mr. Jarvis over. Maybe right up next to the city, actually. Like, right there. Nightbot can pillage. Guren is definitely in danger. Okay. You can get Guren out of there. Guren needs to be the one shooting from considerable distance if we can. Which is not something that we can do this turn. Guren's actually dead. Whoops. Well, if Guren's dead, I guess Guren can go down in noble honor. Or something. Maybe. Let me shoot the city here. I need to do this. <laughs> yep, I know. Guren is about to die. I mean, maybe Guren can get a last gasp pillage off and survive. So we'll try it. And then apparently we can promote this... The Navy with the Caravel. And we actually have a second Caravel here right now. Maybe, perhaps we'll, we'll, we'll have to name this one Guren 2. <laughs> Let's bring our Navy around, see what we can do. And then we need to go cutting some more tiles down. Maybe repairing some stuff. All right, Mr. Jarvis has got to go. Take it easy, man. All right, see you later, Mr. Jarvis. Thanks for joining the stream today. Yep, Gurren died. Or well, Gurren 1 died, rather. Not the real Gurren. So I guess Gurren 2 becomes this new caravel over here. Gurren 2. Counting the deaths. We probably need to actually just nope out of here. These caravels we've got no business hanging around with. Silk and Craft from Boudicca ended. We just can't get happy right now. Boudicca doesn't even want any of our stuff. So we are just unhappy. Damn, that sucks. Well, what can we do here? Four turns to get this cut down. Probably just want to shoot the city. So we can take it. And we maybe... We can't make our way around to get this worker, unfortunately. I guess we're taking back some of the workers that we'd lost. But it's going to be a while. Because it's dying over and over again isn't healthy for the mind. Kind of unlucky that America was your spawning neighbor, says Mike. Yeah, that's true, actually. I mean, it is a bit unlucky. I mean, you can't count on luck that much, but... They do, they do have... I mean, it's just the musketman that they go for, I guess. I need to rename this, though, now. Let's see. 
Oh, wait. Swedish Assassin jo joined the stream earlier. Sorry, Swedish Assassin. I forgot to get to your, your chat comment. It says, I keep spawning next to the Huns in my deity games. Yeah, that's really unfortunate, actually. Although the Huns are the Huns aren't the worst person to spawn next to. The problem with the Huns is if you spawn next to them and they don't have another neighbor. Because if they have another neighbor, then you can actually usually pay them to war very cheaply to go to war with that neighbor. Except for Yeah, so it's like if they have a neighbor, you can usually pay them to war cheaply with the neighbor. If they don't, then you will struggle. Is I guess the the thing that I'll say about that. Okay, we didn't lose any units here. We might need to take an instant heal on Nightbot. That's fine. I think we already took an instant heal on Nightbot, actually. And what else have we got? We got Barrage 3 on Booker. Who's wisely stayed out of the way. Most of the war. Let me just try and kill Boston. Probably not wise, is it? We're just going to take some big hits here. Got another knight, though, that can come forward. Maybe we can get this worker captured instead of losing something to the Minuteman. And then bring another one forward. Maybe move this general over. We should have moved the general first, but oh well. Looking to just protect our trade routes here, I think. But yeah, Black Vegetable says, I feel these continent maps are too large on standard size. Too many civs inland. Also for the Netherlands game last week. That's true, actually. Very true. So we didn't lose anything, which is good. Although we are in danger of losing Mike 99. Let's maybe take a pillage and see what damage we can do to Boston. Taking the city will solve a lot of troubles here. Let's get everyone shooting. A couple more turns, I think. We'll just move around and pretend to repair stuff. Yes, we're putting down roads. And we need to remove some roads with this worker. Now that we are producing factories, we should probably golden age this artist. It's actually gold per turn. Which means that we can pay for this silk from Boudicca now. Which is what we needed to be happy. We actually could pay for this spare cotton from Shaka as well. Which we kind of need to do. And then we do have spare coal. So maybe we can just sell that. And we forgot to place our spy. Oh, I just gave away free coal to Ram. I guess that means we're not doing meme clads with it. But we can place our spy somewhere. How's our demographics doing? I guess we should spy on Egypt. Uh, Thebes, please. Can we peace Bucharest? We actually can. We could have peace Bucharest ages ago. Got another great general. That is Pompey, but this is, I guess, going to be called... Uh, well, maybe we call it called Queen PCJ Bay. There we go. A new general coming to the forefront. Oh, Black Vegetable says, I'm calling it a night. I hope tomorrow I will have logistics, double cover, march bazooka. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair enough, Black Vegetable. Have a good evening, and I will see you later. Thanks for joining. All right, let's try and make some progress here. We need to chop some forest still. See what we can do. Well, no, we lost someone. I don't know who we lost. It wasn't even Nightbot, was it? Nightbot's this one right here. Oh, someone died. But the Black Vegetable has Barrage now. I don't know who we lost. Uh, I think we need to pillage. And we need to shoot. Can we take the city? We cannot. Are we really one shot short? We aren't anymore. I think we're going to get it. Cool. We've got Boston. Probably actually want to try and hold it. Oh, welcome to the stream, Babo. <laughs> How are you doing? Could you, do we create a puppet or do we, do we keep the city or do we puppet it? I kind of like to keep it, actually. Like, if there's one, if there are two cities we keep of Washington's, we keep this one and we keep Washington. I guess. We need to remove some more roads. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully we don't lose anyone else now. 
But this is, is this a multiplayer game? Nope, this is a single player game. We are longbowing America. And struggling at it right now, but it's been a long, long war, but we have managed it. We've managed to take well, we've taken three cities. Good day. He actually wants a peace treaty. He would do flat peace, but we don't want that. He needs to bring PC Queen PCJ Bay over. But yeah, England and I strong stiff. Sadly, like every every capital is inland. Except Ulundi. So we haven't actually been able to ship of the line anyone. We do now have five cities and 78 pop though. But Baba says, just came here to vent about our horrific performance at the Euros just now. Oh no. Oh, Squeak joins chat. Says, hi. Welcome to the chat, Squeak. It might have been, it might have been you that died, actually. I was. It was Squeak that died. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> but man, I, I guess Germany didn't do well, huh? Now we've got all these Minutemen incoming. We just want to take Washington. It's going to be tough to take Washington, though. What do we do? Mr. Jarvis now has three promotions. What can we do here? Need to get the knight out of here. So maybe let's pull it back. Perhaps all the way to our own territory, actually. And we need to get some units up here that can do things. And repair our luxuries. We'd have to go within bombardment range of Washington to assault it. Which means we might lose some people. America is still at war with the Celts. Maybe Nightbot can be the first in. Where did Nightbot go? Oh, Nightbot went into the city. I think uh, if we push here and then we move here and get this to fix the horses and just get rid of some of these more irrelevant roads that we can. And maybe at least cross the river with everybody and heal who we can too. This would be something. Maybe push up here. But yeah. Oh. So, Paul Karna 1337 joins the stream today. Says, is this vanilla or modded? This is vanilla, Civ 5. Anyway, Bubbo says, all right, man. I'm going to head out since I'm fairly drunk. Long. Good, good luck with the rest of your game. All right, thank you. See you. <laughs> See you later, Bubbo. Bubbo says, Lur should have been let go in 2018 already. Oh, has it really gone that badly? That is unfortunate. But all right, well, see you later, Bubbo. It's a shame the Germany game did not go well for you. Maybe let's push Poop Man up. Okay, there's only a trebuchet in Washington. Black Vegetable is a bit in danger, to be honest. So Black Vegetable needs to heal a bit before Black Vegetable goes in. We can maybe push Orion up. That'll let us move some other stuff over, maybe. But we need to get the rest of our units around and doing things. This worker can step out and be useful. Maybe in just like restoring tiles. But oh, Mike says, I go nap now, PC. Good luck. Fight nobly, everyone. <laughs> yeah, thanks for, thanks for joining, Mike. See you later. Let's see. We didn't lose anyone last turn, which is good. Oh, now all of these American units have come back. So close. <laughs> the booker says, never noble. <laughs> Oh dear. I don't know how we're going to capture Washington with all of this stuff surrounding our city because the Lancer is here now. It's almost like we need to general in. Because there's roads here as well. But the problem is, is that maybe we need to use one of these generals. One of the generals needs to nobly sacrifice themselves. But we just have so much infantry incoming. Logistics would have been so helpful, but we still didn't get it. And we're still growing here as well. So maybe this is the time to give up. Hmm. I mean, we keep saying about giving up, but this really is more than we can handle. Like, three minute men and a Lancer. That's for sure too much. So we don't have the damage to kill it all quickly, but without losing some stuff. We're still building factories in our own cities. It's almost like we need 10 turns of peace and then to come back later. 
to then go for Washington. Some of these things, some of some of these, some of everyone being Gatling guns though could help. But we've only got enough to upgrade like one Gatling gun. So maybe we do just have to peace for a bit. And then wait for the units to walk away and then snipe Washington and then peace again. Trouble is if he wants to peace, it's a good point to start with all the peace stuff. I guess we did kill some cities. Let's rip up some stuff. Hmm. Mike 99 can go heal in the city at least. If we want to break this, we'll need to Citadel. But not only will we need to Citadel, we'll have to handle all of these units. And I'm pretty sure that's too much for us to handle right now. Good day. He's, yeah, he still wants our own cities. So maybe we can just take straight peace for now. Maybe. Does that make sense? I guess so. Come back later. Okay. I mean, all of our stuff was going to die anyway. So maybe if it all runs back over to the Celts, we can do more with it later. And still build factories for now. Maybe take all of his land. That we can do. So maybe this is a job for... Oh, we, didn't, we don't have open borders now. Oh, well. Here we go. It says, I can't say we haven't committed war crimes, but we get our hands dirty so our civilians don't have to. <laughs> exactly. I guess we have to we, we have to peace for now, but it's fine. We'll figure out something useful to do. Keeping Boston, though, is a bit of a pain. We certainly would have been better off if we hadn't done war on what we're currently looking at. But that's okay. King PCJ Law is back in Boston now. I guess Queen PCJ Bay can move backwards. Heal Nightbot. Heal everything. And maybe if we can come in for a bit of a snipe of Washington, we will. Hopefully all of that stuff runs away towards the Celts. We met Leventa. Need to heal Orion. If only we had more gold. Booker says, I wish we didn't have neighbours with Minutemen. Well, exactly. Or, I mean, it's neighbours with Musketmen, really, or anything of the sort. I don't know what else we can do, though. How many... Shaq has got seven cities. He wants to trade. America is, like, the most forgiving person in the world when it comes to doing things like war. No. I don't ever get why. No. We do need to cut America off. We could take some of Washington's tiles. Is Boston even any good? It actually kind of is. It's got some buildings and stuff. We are happy. We need to get marble for Samarkand is what we need. 25 influence away, but no one is selling marble. I bet America is going to love these horses. No, okay. Well, let's try Ashurbanipal. I love the horses. Ashurbanipal does love the horses. See what it takes for us to get marble off him. Still way too much. And if anyone else has got the marble, can't we? Can we check? Is there a way to check? Yeah, so we look up here with EUI. Resources available. Marble is held by Egypt, Assyria, and the Celts. And maybe Egypt will give away their marble. Wants us to vote yes on the world's fair and give away two luxuries. We can trade maybe one luxury. And then see if six gold per turn will do it. And open borders. Okay, so we got our marble. Perfect. I guess that's taking the city state ally away from them. Bring this back. Factory's done soon. That wasn't the most successful war we've ever done, but hey, I guess we had a bit of war party for a while. We do have some more luxuries now. I would very much like to take America's tiles. If we could do that, we might be able to take Washington on the second attempt. Or if we manage to get any gold per turn whatsoever. We'll need a road here if we are going to try it again. And then we'll need to Citadel in a bit. He wants the crabs. Well, let's do the embassy first. Right. And then maybe we can trade away the crab. Go ahead. I guess it's six gold per turn. Is his going right? No. Yeah, it is. Try and accumulate a little bit more gold. Washington's plotting against us, really. I mean, we kind of knew that. They're still at war with the Celts, so hopefully all the army goes over there. 
Marble connected for Samarkand is perfect. So now we're the allies again and we've got loads of happiness. Just need more gold. I mean, building all these military units has stopped us from having any. What are we doing here? Improve that. I mean, at least our population's fine. We've got 79 right now on five cities and it's turned 183. So we're not doing too bad. Although, I don't know if we're behind or ahead of usual timings right now because we are on standard game pace. Open borders. Yeah, sure. We'll take open borders so that we can put a citadel down right there. We're already doing our trade with Egypt. So we can trade this for... What is it? It's like 240 gold. That's a Gatling gun. Egypt wants citrus as well, but we can't afford to trade that away. Samarkand doesn't have citrus. We've got another friend though, India. They don't have a lot. We can maybe trade for... That's uh, like 90 gold and... Maybe like 5 gold per turn. Or 4. Okay. Uh, the World's Fair we're voting for. So we'll do that. I guess that gives us a few Gatling gun upgrades nearly. And even see what else we can do. Gurren says, really, it's that line of jungle between Boston and Washington that's making it a little tricky. Yeah, I think so in a way. I mean, the reason we couldn't attack Washington wasn't because of the line of jungle. This line of jungle, I think, probably slowed us down the most. It wasn't like the... It's not really this line of jungle, although it does make it a bit hard. It was more the fact that we got surrounded by a whole bunch of powerful units that caused us some trouble. Let's go explore. We're going to need some Gatling guns for the conquest. We can take these Gatling guns. And then maybe we try and trade away some of our 14 gold per turn as well for some more gold. So it's like 10 gold. What's 10 gold per turn get us? Get us like 400. No, 350. 325. 300. No. 290. 280. 270. I guess we get a really bad rate like this. So we'll go back a bit and not, not trade it away. But yeah, while well, well, Poop Man's still going strong, maybe I should change my phrasing. <laughs> yeah, I know it's quite funny, isn't it? Poop Man is still alive somehow. And doing well, actually, as well. We need... We've got a Golden Age for two more turns, and then I guess we Golden Age again. I think that makes sense. These Gatling guns are doing okay now. So the Gatling guns can straight away run up onto these tiles. We should maybe Citadel out Washington. That we do that. So the World's Fair passed. Which means that we need to go and build World's Fair everywhere for the free social policy. Factory done in one turn in the capital. World's Fair here. This is fine. We'll queue up public schools behind everything else. So now we need to start making our moves. So we can maybe use Queen PCJ Bay and just take some tiles. Oh, wait, we can't general here. Why is that? We can build a citadel here, but we can't build the citadel on there for some reason. I don't really know why. It still takes the tiles that we want, though, I think. Or does this one take the tiles that we want? We want to be able to move up onto a lot of this stuff and move through. So, <laughs> Poop Man has been standing next to me for far too long. <laughs> Says Booker, apologies, Booker. There's not a lot we can do about that, I guess. Maybe we'll have to sacrifice Megs as well to get our breakthrough. I don't know why we can't Citadel. But if we, like... If we Citadel, like, right up here and take this ring of tiles and then Citadel there and take these two tiles, that takes virtually everything we need away from Washington. Which is perfect. So maybe that's what we do. We can click to propose something now. Probably just like cultural heritage sites. Something random that the AI doesn't hate. And then the general Queen PCJ Bay. We'll do it when we're ready to war. We've still got a peace treaty that lasts for a few turns, don't we? Good day. Yeah, may not attack until the current peace treaty expires. So we can wait for a bit. We do want to keep this golden age going. So the Gatling guns are fine here. Remember, we've got two range Gatling guns because we're England. Let's make Kaisel. This Longbowman is back. Oh, look, all of these uh, 
All these muskets are back now. Is America not a war? Yeah, they are still a war with the Celts. There's some more Assyrian cities up there. Then we can just put a mine down here. Might be time to bring Boston over to our side soon. Boston has got a lot of stuff already. In fact, it's got a... It's even got an opera house. It's building a library right now. It's got loads of good stuff. So maybe we just annex it. It doesn't really stop us doing anything. Let's kick it out of the market slot. Go production focus and then line up all of our food tiles. The ones that we need. Anything actually good. And then we could just work mines. Afterwards for the production which we've got. There's a library in four. And then we'll need something like a courthouse probably. And then scrambled megs can come back. And so that, those are the tiles that we want to general out. Next turn on that worker. It'd be nice to get this tile. 13 turns. What else can we do here? Just wait, I guess. We're going to take some tiles in a minute. And then, okay, next turn. Need some gold. So we can upgrade a fourth Gatling gun. Jack has declared war on Ashurbanipal again. So all these American units go towards the Celts for a bit and we can snipe Washington from behind their backs and then just set up a line of Gatling guns to hold the current plan. In for scientific theory. We've just finished off factory so we can take... We're the first ideology, which is perfect. I don't know what... I, I feel like we should go autocracy here just because we want to do war things. We've already got more than enough population. We've got 79. We'll easily make 95. So I feel like autocracy is a good idea. Booker says, am I still a longbow? No, Booker, you're Gatling gun now. I feel like autocracy is the play. Because we are doing war things. So we can take autocracy. I don't know if we're going to be doing gold purchasing of units. But we certainly need the happiness policy. And we need maybe wounded unit damage. For the first thing, elite forces. And that'll help because our units have spent a long time wounded. And now we can push for the Prora. Our gold is okay. Mike is back as a knight. So that's perfect. Are we... Yeah, we are connected up by a road here. Might actually need a road up here first. So let's do a road before a mine. Then we need to repair some farms and stuff. Get ready for more American betrayal, I guess. Let's do some scouting first. Ameri all of America's crossbowmen are over there, and all of their longbows are over here next to us. Or no, not longbows. They're, uh, they're Minutemen. Just so many Minutemen here. Gatling guns would easily deal with those. Especially if we ever got two, two shots. Which may or may not be the case. I feel like it was a bit of a waste not taking... I mean, I don't know what we could have done. But not having logistics has really hurt. I guess we should have built barracks. That would have meant that we would have got, got it all already. But where did where did this... Uh, we want to work food. Sadly, there's just not a lot of food here. We need to keep public schools up behind all of this stuff. We actually have Jesuit education in one city. Which we should probably use. Yeah, let's just use Jesuit here. We grew here, so we could probably do with working this engineer slot. In fact, we can maybe try and work both for the moment. But we will need to unwork them at some point. How long until our peace treaty ends with America? I swear it's used, it's supposed to tell us how long it's going to last. It doesn't matter yet, I guess. Need a farm here. Need to get rid of some of these joke roads. Like these ones that have gone down here. I don't know which ones we can get rid of. I guess every one that we built, we can remove. And every road that we didn't build, we can't. We have another food tile. We can grow to production and just keep pushing the food. Maybe get try and get rid of more of the, the joke roads. Or we can actually build a road here and get rid of some other joke roads. Still at war with the Celts. Good. 
Maybe we can keep exploring. Oh, we found the rock of Gibraltar. Nice. That's a little bit of extra happiness. The Boston will grow. That will get the library down to finishing in two turns instead of three. We've done 359 for the World's Fair. I'm pretty sure we're never going to win it. Actually, we are third production. So let's try and win it. And we just got our research agreement completed, which is perfect. Boston grew. Do that. What happened here? City connection broken. Bo Boston and Bratislava. What happened there? Did a city state take our tile? Or did we just dig up the road? I don't get what happened. I guess we dug up our road, which we did actually do. Okay. Apparently America's got some silver available. Do we need silver for a quest? No, we don't. So there's no point trading for it. Mansfield's about to grow. We should re we should really be working a lot of this jungle here. Anywhere we can. Because these trading post jungle tiles are really, really good. Yeah, there's really nothing at Washington. So when this peace treaty expires, I would love to do something with it. Unfortunately, we don't have any gold. I don't really know the best way to get gold. I guess we'd have to trade away some happiness, which is fine. Booker says, can't believe it's taken me so long to redeem this. Take a sip of your beverage. Booker, thanks for keeping me hydrated. How's the World's Fair doing? Not bad. We can now take secularism, though. Or do we take happiness? It's definitely secularism. And then Mansfield did grow. Probably wants to work. It needs production, sadly. In fact, we should work workshops in every city where we're working in mine. Because that's the secularism bonus now gives science for that. So we actually absolutely, absolutely should do it. In here, we almost just want to work the factory slot. It would totally have been better to do freedom. But I think it's okay for us to be doing autocracy. We've got more than enough population. We've got 83 now. We'll get to the 95 that we want by the end of the game. So that's really not to worry at all. We do, however, need to find a way to get some more Gatling guns. That's unfortunately pretty important. Good day. Go ahead. We can't trade any iron. We could trade away this citrus for another Gatling gun. I don't really know. We'll have to see how things net out. See if we can get any trades. Because we currently don't have any gold. Which in part is because we just broke our road connection to Boston, but... It's okay. We need more gold. We'll get onto the schools, though, when we're ready. That's our connection back to Boston. We can't clear this road, so I guess we're all done now with picking up the roads to Boston, actually. Use the navy. Wow, there's loads of ships near Shaka's land. All these galleasses. Oh my god. Three, four, four. So there's like a million galleas. Kind of interesting. Boston's about to grow. We want it to grow to some production. We actually need to start working the slots as soon as we can in Boston. We do also need more. Oh, the Zulus captured a city. We also do need another cargo. Scientist born in Gurenberg. Graveyard of the dead. That's now three scientists we've got. Which is good. What can we do here? We need to get a pasture on this cattle. And then we're nearly done with this civil service farm. So let's go get another one. Still doing mines. Actually got up to 9 gold per turn now. We've reconnected the city. It's almost like we should drop a couple of turns into a market in the capital. Just to, just to get some gold. What else can we do? This city needs a market as well. But this city's miles behind its production queue. Kind of do need market. It's a two turn market. We could probably do that before the public school. Because the gold per turn will be useful. Gun says, is that an MP? Where's the MP? What MP am I looking for? Oh, lol. Yeah, it is an MP. Just, this is chilling in here right now. 
When can we war America? It's been a while. Hopefully soon. We need to get back to business. We don't actually need that many workers in and around this area. Just keep chopping forests. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like an MP chilling down here. Uh, America's now captured Cardiff. So America's finally making inroads against the Celts now. They're not sending units our way. It's very typical. We need another horseman. Oh, no. We've got two knights. This should be fine. Oh, and we did win the World's Fair. Perfect. So we have our social policy, which we can use to take humanism. Our golden age is nearly over. But we've been doing alright in the golden age for a while. We should just bowl both these writers. We have we have two writers. Because we can actually use them to get closer to free thought. Up there. We need to get some longbows upgraded. This is a nice tile for Boston to work. So let's get it to work that while it builds things like a courthouse. Apparently, we can't sell our citrus for gold anymore. When can we declare war? Oh, we can declare war on America now. This feels like this feels like it would be as good a time as any to do it, doesn't it? If we were going to do it, we can do it now. Because uh, we can get the Gatling guns in next to Washington and attacking. With the range and the promotions. There's, we've got three of them. How do we get more Gatling guns? That would be the question. And so the question would be... Apparently, we cannot sell citrus anymore. So the question would be, what can we do for... How much gold do we need to get two more Gatling guns? So they're 220 each. So we need 440, which means we need... Uh, what's that? 280 gold from Ram? So how do we get 280 gold? Oh, okay. How about 500 gold? Um, why can I not see to give cultural heritage sites away? So how about 500 gold? Okay. So, try this. 400 gold. To vote for our own proposal? Sure. Yeah, 300 gold that was, which means we can get two more upgrades. We can make it. Who can we make it? We can make it Bombay Mix. And we can make it, not Nightbot. Maybe Mr. Jarvis can be upgraded. Or RT. I don't think it matters who is closer. Oh, RT's out of range, so we can upgrade this now. And then I guess that means we can push back into America after paying them to I declare an expensive war on someone else. Like Gandhi. Proceed. No. Egypt. No. Zulu. Ashurbanipal. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we can pay Egypt to war America. Apparently not. Who can we pay to war America? Will the Zulus do it? They will do it for a lot, so we don't really want to do that. This whole two range thing is a bit close to me, says Booker. Yeah, well, we're going to have to try it, I think. Let's do this. If you're trying to provoke a war, you're doing a fine job. Good. And then we can move up here and we can just plop another citadel down. You know there will be consequences for this. Yes, I know. Oh, look, America's general's right here as well. We can just take it. I trust you are a friend. So... We are back to war, and we have stolen their caravan, which is perfect. Then, what we can do is... What exactly? Taking one of these workers would be nice, but we really don't need to. So, we need to step up. Is there a road here? There is no road. The Scatling gun has already moved, apparently. Oh, because we upgraded, I think. That's fine, then. Well, two range, one range... I guess what's the difference? Maybe push around and take that. Return the missionary to the Celts. That'll make them like us at least. And just do some damage to Washington where we can. With our multiple range units. I really just want to use this knight to kill that. So that then we can bring the longbow forwards. And this longbow, RT, can just pull back into our own territory here. So we've got, yeah, this longbow can't shoot, so it can wait. And we can keep doing this pasture. Keep chopping this down. Yeah, the general got pushed out. I know, it's unfortunate. So all the units have come now. That's fine. 
We've got citadels to do some damage. I mean, to be honest, if we just put a citadel next to American territory, it would probably kill him. Like right here where the Gatling gun is. King PCJ Law. Could perhaps do something for the cause. Capture a couple of workers. And promote this knight. Take drill. That seems fine. The question is, do can we capture Washington? We need to kill some units a little bit first, I think. Got two range on this Gatling gun, but it's not got a good shooting position. Here is a decent shooting position in Boston, isn't it? Yeah, it is, actually. So we need to pull this Gatling gun forwards. Then we need to find a way to get more Gatling guns into the mix, which is not possible to do right now. Not without pulling a Gatling gun up onto the Iron Hill. So which one of them can do that? Okay. That seems fairly okay. Then we can maybe get rid of this Citadel straight away. Get our spices back. Move this stuff around to try and protect our cities again. And we're just going to build public schools. I think that's fine. Hopefully we can make this a bit painless. Yeah, Booker says, I'm in the Citadel, yes. Protecting people. We can maybe pillage. Move around and pillage again with this knight. Oh, we've been attacked by city-state caravel. Really? Half our navy has just been taken down to very low health. Oh, we got another caravan. Perfect. Who do we lose? We lost a knight. Damn. Was that FJS War? I think it was. I realised that knight was going to die. We're going to have to be careful with our remaining knight. Okay. Lots of American units. We can actually upgrade another longbow to a Gatling gun as well. We don't even mind about losing that worker. Just need to try and put damage on the city really here. Or do we... Kill the Minuteman? This one, unfortunately, can't see. It would have to move up. Maybe we'll use these ones to put damage on Washington like that. And then we'll get our knight actually back into a sensible place. Bring these workers back. And just keep improving stuff. But yeah, protecting people, no. Protecting myself, yes, says Booker. Absolutely. <laughs> it's noble. It's a noble cause. Maybe work the factory slot for a bit. I wouldn't mind generating an engineer. It would give us Prora, which is pretty good. So maybe we can try and generate one in the cap that's now built on market. Engineering 21, 129. So this 21 turn engineer could be quite nice. So if we delay that scientist, we could probably get it. We'll have to remember that. Wow, we lost a Gatling gun as well. Who died? Look us out of the citadel. This city combat... This city bombardment is probably being quite killer. But we're making our way through the units. Just really, really punishing. We can pillage on Booker now. Then we do need to push forwards. I wonder if we do just ram another citadel down while we can. Might be quite good. Use King PCJ Law now. I mean, we we want to push a Gatling gun up. So why don't we just pull King PCJ Law in there? Hope King PCJ Law doesn't die. I don't know what we do with the longbow. Wait with a lot of stuff, I guess. Maybe we can put some workers out there. Try and bait the AI in. We need to work a market slot in the capital. York grew. Cool. Got some decent population going now. Just sleep these workers. Yeah, you did You did get moved out of the Citadel, Booker. But we pillaged with you. Let's hope no one dies. Oh, we... Are we who did we do? We didn't lose Booker, but we lost someone else now. This is bad. Apparently, we're getting picked off one unit per turn here. 
So let's use King PCJ Law, see what we can do. Don't know that we're actually going to be able to take Washington now, not without something like artillery. But I think we're losing one, one person per turn, which is kind of bad. Maybe going for the war wasn't a good idea after all. I guess we can take more workers while we're at it. But we might be being punished for not building Gatling guns here. I guess because we're spending so much time in city range. That's what's doing it. I really know. We might have to do we might have to do peace or lose Boston. I mean we can retreat to Boston if we keep using a unit turn. Oh, we lost Booker now. Oh no. I think everything really is going downhill in this war. We just don't have enough firepower to capture the city. So all the citadeling we've done, I guess, has been a bit of a waste and we lost everybody. But we tried it. <laughs> yeah, the city bombing really is brutal. Well, we tried. I guess we retreat now to our the safety of our own city and try and not die. The, comment, the city... We're going to lose Orion as well in the back there. I don't think there's anything we can do about that. Just retreat to our own city and stay alive. But the best thing that we can do right now... We've got all these workers. Let's bring one back at least. Yes, we'll wait until America wants peace. But RIP. Lots of good people died to that city bombardment. We tried it and it did not work. Wow, we're losing everything. Can we hold our lands right now? Or do we have to lose Boston? I mean, these citadels are going to cause a lot of pain and suffering. But at least Mike like 99 can do stuff. But everyone appears to have Made some sacrifices. Raise it all. <laughs> Says Book of Salt of the Earth. Yeah, I know. I don't really know what we can do to push through this right now. Because we just don't have the tech to do it. So I think we just have to wait and accept our fate for a while. Before doing anything else. Sadly. We can keep growing in here though in Boston. Just wait, wait with everything and use the last of our units as defense. All of these workers that we've got that we can't do anything. I was hoping some of them would be city state workers, but they're not. So I guess we can just delete a couple because we don't need them. And then we'll find a way to come back for Washington later, who now wants peace. We absolutely should take that and trade. Because we can't take we can't take the capital, sadly. We tried. We tried taking the capital, but we failed. However, we have claimed more land. Washington has been brutally citadeled. Which I very much enjoy. So I guess if there's anything we did, it was that. And we can come back for him later. At least we neighbour him. Let's go. Ugh, we just deleted all those workers, but we could have done with them all right now to repair our citadels. <laughs> come back to Mansfield. Public school's nearly done everywhere. It's good that we took Boston, actually, because we really did need that extra combat strength. Well, unfortunately, we lost almost everybody through that. But I guess we've citadeled America, and they don't mind. Is the following trade of interest to you? They want crabs to accept embassies. I don't think so. Keep trading away with Assyria. Well, maybe we helped the Celts for a bit, but man, when that when all that army showed up, that was it. Yeah, we're gonna need a bigger graveyard, exactly. It's fine. Maybe we'll we'll find a way to do it better soon. Need to build an ironworks, I think, in the capital. Things like temples, though, would be quite good right about now. Temples and shrines, and we have this cargo ship. 
that we can use to feed a city. It needs to feed, Mans feed Mansfield, actually. So we'll send it for Bratislava. Because that Mansfield's the only city that actually has reasonable tiles it could work. Boston's actually one of our better cities. Let's repair our citadel and then we can repair our horses. Repair some other nice tiles. We're being denounced by America. He's done great works of music. But hey, look. At least we've got three tiles in America's first ring. It's fine. We'll put bombers in Boston and then deal with that. And then it's probably stealth bombers for the rest of the AI, maybe. But we're not doing too bad in terms of timing. We're just not doing brilliant. We should probably work the horse. Maybe we can do this tile. And then we've got this shrine. Let's go for a temple. Now that we've got the Colosseum here, we can go for a monument next. Gurenberg's going to grow. We need to do this growth well. And then Gurenberg is pretty much done at Pop 17, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. We need to take our ideology wonder. Do we need to take it now or can we leave it to after labs? Still only order on autocracy, so we can perhaps try and leave it until after labs. And this cargo was going to Bratislava. It definitely needs to continue. And this one from Bratislava can feed Mansfield. Lots of roads going around right now. Hmm. I wish these Gatling guns were better. That could have been good. We needed to fill our, our public school slot in the cap. First to trade with the Shaka. And then to fill the public school slot. We would like an engineer though is the thing. To actually build Prora with. We're basically done growing here, so why not just work factory slots for a bit? And give up all of the rubbish growth tiles that we've got. It's minus one, this is fine then. So that's fine here. We're done growing for a little while in some of these cities, which is perfectly fine. We need to go for maybe some banks now. A forge would be nice. A bank would be good though for more slots. We're never building Hermitage. And I, we probably need three more social policies would be nice. Oh, this horse is hit repaired. I didn't. I thought it was telling us that it was burning, but I guess it wasn't burning. It was just being normal. Okay, well we go back then. We can pick up this citadel, but we don't really want to pick up the one that's next to Washington. No more good tiles to take. I guess it's waiting for bombers now then. And then we want to push for stealth bombers after that. We've actually got decent faith. So we could purchase an engineer. We never did get our religion in our cities. It's a shame it was okay. We got one pagoda. We lost our faith from natural wonders. Temple done. We can maybe push for markets. I mean we could push for the hermitage. Not the worst thing ever, maybe. Because we actually have an opera house in Boston. Pushing for the Hermitage in some of these other cities could be quite good. But Mansfield is still behind building a public school. Maybe delete one more worker. I don't know how many we've got now. Plenty, I guess. This needs to keep feeding Bratislava for a while. Have we got a road here? No, let's get one. Okay, so we're not doing too bad. Just need to figure out, I guess. I mean, we can take, we know we can take Washington the moment we get bombers. That's fine. Monument done. Do we get a garden now? It's not really going to be useful. Probably better just to get something like a stables actually is really good in Boston. Mansfield's about to grow and that can grow into its production. We can maybe push it up towards pop 20. This was going to York for production. Let's continue that. This is actually going to Gurenberg for food, which probably needs to continue. Got some nice tiles for Boston again. 
Can we afford to give any of these up? No. But we will give up our growth to go back to working it. It's a shame we didn't get to use any ships in the line. That could have been nice. We're only 6% behind Egypt here. Don't really want to be friends with Celts. I'm pretty sure we need to kill them next. So Mansfield has grown. Okay. Yes, work production. That's fine. That's what we want. Boston grew. Booker says... Oh, agreed they're right ne up there next to camels. Yeah, the ship of the lines indeed. It really is a shame we never got to build any because they are fantastic units. But there's only one coastal capital in the whole game. So there wasn't really anything for us to do. I don't know if it makes sense for us to be pushing for Hermitage. Like another... If we get another writer and another golden age, we might be okay. We need to wait the 10 turns for this engineer now. Yes, we can work these tiles in the meantime. And get a bank up. Fertilizer would be great. Fertilizer can't come soon enough. I think what we're looking at for now is just a reasonable labs timing. Our labs timing is not going to be great because we spent large portions of the game unhappy, not using our rationalism bonus and delaying universities. Maybe we can go in for replaceable parts to plastics and then back to flight. Assyrian order. Okay. Bank done in the cap. I think we want to, one, work the bank slot. And two, I, we need to get started on the hermitage. We don't have any aluminium, which is a small problem. And by small, I mean a very large problem, to be honest. We have Riga as an ally. That's got no aluminium either. This is the only aluminium, aluminium here. It's three. We didn't even steal any from America. We can probably take aluminium from someone else. But it is worth bearing in mind for the whole stealth bomber thing. If we do need that. Who has aluminium? There's not a lot. At all. But maybe one of our friends will give us aluminium. Like, perhaps Egypt has just got a load of... Al some someone's got to have a bunch of aluminium for trade. At some point, they will, hopefully. And we can just kill them last. We only need the aluminium to build the stealth bombers. Mansfield is going to be ages before it produces a lot of this stuff. It would be nice to be able to get a stock exchange in the capital. I guess we can just wait here. We've stolen America's bananas in Washington. Apparently, Ur oh, wants an engineer. Truffles is wanted over there. Sidon just became in awe of us. I don't know what that was. Oh, we built. A, we just made a scientist in York. That's unfortunate. It's 19 turns for the engineer here now. It's probably just not worth getting. Let's just work the, the scientist slots in the capital. 19 turns away. I mean, 19 turns away. Still 19 turns away. I should have really paid attention to that. But I guess we can work scientists for a bit longer now in the run-up to research labs. Going for opera houses anywhere we need to. We're, we're actually done growing here. Why don't we work a factory here too? We're done growing until we get fertilizer. A nice tile to improve here. We still need to keep growing in Boston. We're actually up to 92 population right now. So we are going to very much hit benchmark by around about the time that you'd want to be hitting the benchmarks. We're just behind a little bit in science. American order as well. Lots of order being chosen by the AI. And we're autocracy. We need to find time to build our barracks and stuff as well. But I think we can find the time to build those in all the cities apart from Mansfield. Stable done here. Do we need temples? We kind of need happiness. When did we go unhappy? I think that's ideological pressure. It is 18 from public opinion. Which sucks. Um, can we sell horses to anyone? Assyria. We sold horses. But we don't have any luxes to trade for. Is there a way to get happy? Probably not. Not without building a zoo. Or not without taking the next social policy. In autocracy. 
Where did we already build zoos? Pretty much everywhere apart from the capital, I guess. Over here almost needs a zoo. Does this this city even has a zoo? So I guess we built zoos everywhere apart from the cap. So that's what we need to be building there. We really did. Wow. I guess we were in a lot of unhappiness earlier. So we need to fix that again. Our New York Alaska joins the stream. Says, how long have you been playing Civ? Welcome, New York Alaska. I've had the game since about 2012, 2013. And I have been... I've got, I've got about 1,850 hours in it right now. So quite a lot, I would say. But welcome to the stream. Yeah, I don't want to give away one rando Cole. Oh, our friendship with Egypt ended. Will they stay friends with us? They're declining, okay. So we only have a couple of friends, and they're not people that we want to be friends with. Peace treaty expired. We can't really, don't really want to be doing anything about that. Our deal with Boudicca ended. Crabs and citrus can be traded. That's fine. Both AIs will do the deal. We need them to. Syria apparently doesn't like us. They want some horses. So we can make that work. Maybe we could have traded away all of our horses for that. We're still at one unhappiness, but that can be solved. Let's push on. As soon as we get our social policy, we'll be okay. We just need to wait for that policy. Our culture's been slow, which is why it's not been good. Hong Kong's now in awe of us as well. That could have been quite nice. We're 127 behind in Hong Kong, though. We're too happy again. Why is that? Literally, no. It's because we've got friends with Hong Kong for a while, is why. We can build barracks and armories and stuff in anticipation. Oh, a factory here. Perfect. We were selling away all of our coal. Cultural heritage sites will ban whales. We don't really want to ban whales. Aren't we getting whales? We're actually not getting whales. Oh, we aren't. I guess we can ban whales along with Egypt. I don't really mind if cultural heritage sites does or doesn't pass. We've got four scientists. A reasonable amount of faith that means we are going to be able to purchase at least one faith scientist. Rigging elections. Wales got passed. Cultural heritage sites passed. Friendship with the Zulus expired. I mean, we need someone to stay friends with. So the Zulus would... Zulus are very loyal people, which is good news. Opera House nearly done in Gurenberg. Needs a market. Egypt likes us again now. Hopefully that means that the friendship will come back. Oh, the Louvre was still going around. The, Zulu, the, the entire world is order. Are you serious? Four AIs are order. No one's going freedom. No one's going autocracy. This is weird. Opera house. Go for it. Armory. Sure. This is very strange. A oh, public school done in Mansfield that we need to get worked. How do we get that worked? I guess we can grow onto our production. Production's really bad here. Production in most of our empire is quite bad. It's why it would have been so nice to, to capture Washington earlier. Because there's India autocracy soon, perhaps. Gandhi got to be Gandhi. Oh, <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably. We need someone to do something because right now it's not great. We need a friend if we can get one. We got a new spy, though, because we went into the modern era. I mean, we don't want autocracy too bad, because... Oh, the series got eight mar got a bunch of marble now. Can we maybe give away seven horse for it? Good. Okay. We've got marble to stay happy. But yeah, Bukatini says that's going to be some pressure. I know. It's going to be a lot, isn't it? It's fine. We're going to be able to solve it because we're autocracy. But it's not ideal, for sure. So Boston's doing good, still growing. We need to solve this school slot like that. And then we can just keep next turning for a bit. We built our zoo to stay happy. The stables would not actually be that good in the cap. A barracks, though, would be fine at some point. And so would a stock exchange. We also need the ironworks, so maybe that's what we build next for production as we progress towards research labs. We have our new spy. I mean, we can chuck it in Hong Kong. 
Just so that we can get some rigging going on in there. Maybe keep that happiness up. We can get a spy steal. We can still fly from Egypt. Wow. I guess we build Prora now. 19 turns. That's bad. I guess we build the ironworks and then build Prora after. Okay, so Mansfield grew. Growth is slowing down a bit. That's okay. We built our barracks. We can actually build a stoneworks for happiness. Which might be necessary. But let's build the armory because that can be happiness. Then we can choose host, which we're still going to make Egypt for a while. They're not doing anything weird. That we dislike. So we can build Prora. It's a 19 turn build for Prora. It would go so much better for us to be able to engineer it. And we finally lost the World's Fair win, actually, which has made our culture really slow. But let's just bulb now while we can. And we can take happiness. Because we'll need it. And then it's 37 turns until our next social policy. But I guess this is why we're building the Hermitage. We weren't able to do a good job on the city-states. If we could get furs, we could maybe start friending Kabul. Who's got furs? City-states have furs. Sidon, Bucharest, Zanzibar, Kaizu, and Leventa. It's a shame. And then all, all these other ones have quests that we're going to find difficult to do. It's going to be like eight turns before we can faith buy an engineer. Why don't we just do that for Prora? And then for the special autocracy policy, we just need to find a way to, well, 37 turns, I guess. We want to be building military sooner yeah, than that, so sure. let's find a way. It would be nice if Egypt friended us at some point. It's fine, it won't be 37 turns because we will build the Hermitage. It's just sleeping the workers right now because I'm pretty sure the next thing they need to do is build us railroads. So we were selling crab to Gandhi. I mean, we could still do that, but it doesn't really give us a lot right now. But it's better than doing nothing with it. So we can sell it for seven gold per turn. And Egypt wants our spare spices. We can also try and sell that for eight if we can. No, seven gold per turn. Yeah, so let's not build Prora. That's too much right now to build Prora. We can sell our iron because there's no way that we're doing any shenanigans with... Ships of the line, sadly. Not unless we want to build ships of the line and upgrade them into battleships, but I don't think that works. Sadly, with continents, the dream was to be able to use ship of the line to take what we needed to take. But no AIs seemed to spawn coastal. So that wasn't really a thing. It's unfortunate. Boston keeps growing. It's doing better now. It needs to keep growing for a bit. We can maybe keep working some food tiles. At some point, it's got to turn around and actually be good. Armory's done. Markets next, or harbours. We, we're not going to need any sea units, but we should build a stable here. We should have built that long ago. The problem is, is that we were too busy building military, like longbows and stuff. The thing to think about mili the thing the thing to think about with military is it always costs you something, and it's usually at the cost of other infrastructure. So there's lots of really nice buildings for cities that we could have built, but we can't because we went to war. Pretty unsuccessfully, all we did was get one city from it. Nearly worked, but America probably brought muskets over about five turns too soon on us. In the end. Got another scientist. When's this engineer? 20 turns. Unless we want... I mean, if we want the engineer, it has to be for Hubble Space Telescope. But we've got five scientists right now, and our endgame science is going to be pretty good. Which should propel us towards stealth bombers pretty easily. At least we've got exploration hammers for all of these cities. Otherwise, they would be truly garbage. That's part of why, I produ why our production is so terrible as well. Opera house now. Time up for the hermitage. So we can maybe just try and push through some of these turns a bit quickly. So that we can dwell on some of the more interesting stuff later in the game. Sadly, this war was not to be. We demand cocoa. No one's actively trading it. Go for a market now because this city needs it. 
And we're going for markets everywhere as well. Oh, finally, we can be friends with Egypt again. Perfect. That's what we needed because they got loads and loads of gold. Should we build windmills? Let's not do our trade agreement with the Zulu, though. Let's do our trade agreement, our trade agreement, our research agreement with Egypt. If we can. Yeah, 350 gold is fine. Guren says, it's like they knew you wanted to ship of the line and spawned inland. I know. That's actually like a valid multiplayer strategy. If you're like, I know, if you're fearing England that hard, you just move inland <laughs> with your settler so that you don't have to worry about any of that. Hashtag pro tips. We actually need fertilizer at some point, but we're still pushing towards plastics. Oh, we've been declared war on by America. Oh no, we might actually be losing Boston. That's sad times. Not a lot we can do about that. 240 gold. Maybe we can upgrade some longbows to some Gatling guns and try and hold. He's got riflemen though. Finally, the Celts went autocracy. I mean, if we upgrade to Gatling guns, we might be okay. We like do enough stuff. That does kind of put an end to our dream of building the Hermitage though. There's all these units up there. I wonder if there's anything that we can go to quickly that would be really good. Or do we just need to spam Gatling guns for defense? We've got promotions available now. I mean, we definitely need to upgrade these Gatling guns. I think that's probably the first thing we need to worry about. So how much more gold do we need to do that? Probably only another 100 to get two Gatling gun upgrades. So maybe what can we get for 100 gold with RAM? So maybe 120 gold. 101 gold, two gold per turn on open borders. Let's just make it three. Okay, four for like 120. And 10. This is quite bad, 105. 100, is it like 25 each? It is. So we'll upgrade some of these. And then... Well, at least we've got some range Gatling guns that can deal some damage. But we're going to take some hits here, for sure. Because it's a shame all of your noble defenders have died, I know, actually. It's kind of unfortunate. We've got these citadels. That can do some serious damage as well. We might generate... We might spawn another general, though, at least... Can we build some Gatlings in out expands? It's really expensive. Great War Infantry will probably be what we need. I wonder if we can just purchase one Great War Infantry or something. It's 12 turns for a Great War Infantry. It's really long. This is not what we needed right now. Is America at war with anyone? No, that's why it's happened. The Celts have probably peaced them. I mean, if we can weather this storm, these units aren't strong. But they are strong enough to cause us some grief. Unless we can upgrade them all to machine guns or something. But that's, that seems far away. Machine guns would end this attack though. It's 260 gold. Nizef just joined. Have you been a bad boy again and Uncle Sam decided to teach you a lesson? <laughs> yeah, kind of. I mean, we tried to war America and we raised two cities and captured Boston. But we weren't unfortunately able to finish the job against Washington. Well. And so America's decided to come in for some fun now. Shame we didn't keep those citadels too. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world if we lose Boston, but it would it would be a shame. I wonder if there's anything we can do to get some units out sooner. Just, uh, like, do anything about it. <laughs> and if there's people that we can pay to War America, that could help. Seven gold per turn now for the Zulus. Maybe if we make it, like, eight, they'll do it. Or nine. And try and be a bit of a distraction. If there's anything the Zulus can do, that would work. And then maybe Egypt will do it as well. That's a lot more. We can't really afford that. Maybe India hates America. Not enough. Okay. Well, we're just going to have to see if this is enough for now. There's nothing we can do apart from sit and wait. Maybe build walls in Boston. We're being denounced by Assyria. A lot of these units will die in citadels. We actually did. Acquire this three aluminium, which is perfect. 
Okay. We're going to lose Mike, Mike like 99 here. And we've got these units coming in for this city up here, which actually is in a bit of trouble. Gurenberg. Does it need walls? I don't know what it needs. What can we do that would be a quick and easy solution to all of our problems right now? Not a lot. If we lose Gurenberg, that's going to be pretty painful. This kind of needs walls. So I'm glad we're building some units. We're kind of safe in Boston. Yeah, dare to units that spam says Booker indeed. I mean, we're, we're, the problem is we're going to get slammed to death here by everything apart from the cannon that's then going to actually do some real damage to us. Unless we can get some units in Gurenberg. A Great War Bomber would be nice, but we don't have one oil. Can't actually trade for it, can we? Oh, we can. Well, how do we get a, a Great War Bomber? How much is one of those? 929. Oof. How do we get 929 gold? We actually can as well. So we vote no to ban gold. That seems fine. Open borders is okay. 12 gold per turn is fine. And these two luxuries... So banning gold no appears to be a thing that they really want. And then we have to, we'd have to give up 12 gold per turn gold and citrus. We can't afford to give both up because our happiness can't handle that. So we can only, we can only afford to give up one. So again, let's go for a thousand gold. One of gold or citrus. I guess we'll give up citrus. And then we can change this to like 19 gold per turn. 20. 21. 22. Okay. So now we've got our gold for one. Do we want to buy it in Gurenberg? Because then it's got the range to attack everything? Probably. Now we have our great war bomber that's going to have double anti-land promotion. Then we need to figure out what to do here. Sadly, some of these units are just going to die. That is just going to be what it is. We need to stop this from dying. Now this is going to die anyway, so why don't we do this? And at least do some damage to some stuff. So that we can rescue this into the city. Shoot that Gatling gun so it might die inside the citadel next turn. And try and do some baiting. Bookatini says, Poop Man's still alive. Unbelievable, I know. I know, a lot of stuff is going to die soon, though, I think. It makes sense for us to lose a few units. But yeah, I can't believe that is the one that survives. I don't think we've got anything left apart from selling some buildings. Yeah, and Nightbot, I know. Nightbot is the, person, is the one we risked the most. And Nightbot is still going. We might be losing Gerenberg as well now. Unless we can get peace. At least the Celts joined us in autocracy. I guess we just need peace. And then we'll see. Well, We still have business to settle apparently. I don't, it doesn't seem like we lost. We lost our knight. But other than that we're doing okay. Some units in here. Our citadel got pillaged, unfortunately. I think we need to get rid of the cannons. They're doing a lot of damage to the cities. Then we need to... Alright, well, let's... What can this, uh, this Great Wall Bomber kill, first and foremost... Literally anything it wants to. So we might have to kill the cannons. Because they're the ones that can do some big damage. We just use the city bombard to go kill some other more threatening stuff. We're unhappy for a bit because we lost our gold. Factory is done here. 
We can build a Great War bomber. It would be very nice if we could get another Great War infantry. I guess we should start a Golden Age now. For the production boost. More than anything to help us survive. Because I think Gurenberg's the one place we need to survive the most. Well. Boston's taking some hits, but Boston might be okay because we've got some units around here that can do stuff. Yes, we can keep trading with India. The Gurenberg should hopefully build the walls and that will give it some extra health as well, which is quite good. It's got extra health. It might just be better to build a castle. 98, okay. Need to kill this cannon because that's in range of units. My, oh, logistics here. That'd be so nice. Hoopman can get logistics. And we just heal Nightbot. So what can Pootman do? Kill this Gatling gun. And then this can just kill this Gatling gun. Oh, apparently it can't. Kill units. Kill units. Kill units. Trade route got plundered again. Really? Bring the caravels around then. I guess that's to be expected. Hopefully Gurenberg lasts a bit. It's got five turns. And it's just going to starve because it's got no food. Unless we try and give up some tiles for it. But all of its good ones are being stood on right now. There's actually no more food to work. So it's got a six turn starve going. Well, We try to keep asking for peace every turn. At this point, it doesn't look like we're losing anything. Oh no. Especially not once some of these Great War Infantry come out. Gurenberg is taking some sustained damage. But the AI is also running out of slams. We just need to kill kill units now probably. Let's, uh, let's not shoot with the city yet. And instead we can do another Great War Bomber attack on the cannon. So that's really whittling down the capability to do stuff. Just kill units. But that died. We can maybe prepare to use our caravels as some weaponry here. We do need to attack this Galias. So we use the navy. Apparently Boston's actually struggling. That I did not expect. It's because all of these cannons are here now. So I wonder if we need to just chuck a unit in front of the city. To help it survive. America's running out of melee units there. It'd be good to have walls. Walls are two turns. I'd be more valuable than the Great War Bomber. Yeah, so these cannons are doing us a lot of dam are doing a lot of damage right now. If we can just try and stop some of these riflemen from getting close to the city, we'll be okay. So it's like these these couple of riflemen and the lancer that's a problem. Maybe let's just kill this lancer for now. Hopefully these cities live for a bit longer. I think Boston can be captured. It can't. Yeah, so now America's derping by not actually moving units in range. So Boston can get some health back. Gurenberg's getting pretty low. We can kill that now though. That's going to end half this blockade here. But Gurenberg, I'm pretty sure this attack is on its last legs. Oh, really? That thing lived? Oh, and that lived as well. Why Why were both those attacks so not useful? Okay, so the Lancer, I think, poses us the most problems here. 
the lance is now dead and we can kill that rifleman as well all well, this rough terrain is quite helpful for us because it keeps them away from boston we get a great war infantry next turn that should cheer up gurenberg no more cannons there oh we lost gurenberg oh wow how did that happen i guess we got slammed too much rip just as we are ready to defend it too I mean, there's no point taking it back now. We probably should have tried to... We lost a scientist in there as well. well. That's next to the city. That's got to die, otherwise we will lose the city. We actually can't shoot it. Can't kill it. Need to kill it. Book, Book says, well, this has looked better. Yeah, I know. It's not really going well. But yeah, sadly, we lost Gurenberg, which is unfortunate. I think we might be losing Boston, too. Not going well. well. They still want peace us, either. Well, let's come home. But yeah, losing that scientist was unfortunate. Yeah, we lost Boston now, too. Apparently, we need horses. And it, would, it would be okay if we hadn't lost the scientist. I think that's probably one of the worst things that's going on. Well. We still want peace. I mean, the worst thing about this is that we're not going to die. Not with all the Great War infantry that's coming. So it's just kind of mildly annoying. Didn't build Great War bombers. I guess all of these Valiant units... will have to die too. Because we can't really extract them from American territory now. Cargo that was going to Bratislava can continue to go to Bratislava. What's our pop like? 67. We don't really have a lot. I guess we were relying on three city pop and now we've... Or five city pop and now we've got... Well, not very much at all. Hmm... Well, we've got these great war infantry that can do things. Just kill stuff. And then we can head towards, I guess, railroad. All of these units here. We've got one last remaining Gatling gun over here. But America peace yet? Well. Apparently not. Okay. Well, we still have four scientists. We'll still be able to get one. I guess we're going to be a long way from nanotechnology. Actually, we might lose Mansfield. I mean, if we can just put a Great War Infantry in front of Mansfield, it won't die. There's only two tiles that can be attacked. Losing Gurenberg's a pain. We could have been fine just losing Boston. Losing Gurenberg was probably the biggest problem here. So just take an instant heal on this Great War Infantry and come back. Cargo that was food to Mansfield. Yes, it can continue. And apparently this Gatling gun still lives here. I guess we need to push the Great War Infantry in front of the city just so that we don't lose it. Because there's no embarked melee units that could capture it. Can we just kill this? Okay. Is that problem solved? Golden Age ended. Fine. We should be building this windmill. It needs to be lab if we can. They're friends with Gandhi. So now we just need to... I mean, the thing we have to watch for now is this caravel that's right here. That could capture our city. So we can bombard that and now the caravel's dead. We've got an infantry. Let's just sit it in the water just in case there's something floating there. Even though I think there is. Because this has all gone downhill since a few of us died on the hills near Washington. Yeah, it kind of has, I guess. I mean, I think this is probably a, a lesson in what happens when you don't finish the AI off, the AI off after declaring war on them. 
I mean, it's not really worth growing Bratislava anymore. We might as well just send production. And so I think that's what this is really, is like, you know, if we'd actually finished Washington off by taking a couple more cities, this would have been fine. But it's the fact that we only killed three and left Washington in the game that made it a problem. Allowed them to spam units from some of their core cities from behind. But this isn't really a problem anymore. We just need to, we just need to build research labs now. And upgrade some infantry, I guess. And wait. And see what our endgame science is going to be in the end. So our caravels are now back home. Grimbo's getting raised. Well. Apparently will peace. I guess there's no point in not doing it. So just get out of the land. So the question now is how to... Oh, Chris says, Our bodies were retrieved and kept in Christos cryostasis. We shall return as XCOM super soldiers, lol. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, we've got another bot here. That's funny. Booker says, To be issued have been fine on multiplayer. It's just that the deity bonuses let them recover so easy. Yeah, that's true. It's very true. I mean, the... I mean, we... I mean, the, the initial push would have won a multiplayer. It's not like a... A case of deity versus non-deity at this point. It's just that, well, no, no, sort of whether or not the, whether or not we'd have slowed down Washington enough. It's more just that, you know, on deity, we didn't finish him off. And that's a problem. He's being attacked by the Zulus and the Celts now. Shame we're losing Gurenberg. But alas, Lizzo says, what was the reason for not killing Washington earlier? We couldn't. Our, our attack drowned out because Washington spammed too many Minutemen at us and we weren't able to push through. Sadly. Otherwise, we might have managed it. But alas, we're just sat on this cheese three-city empire trying to see if we can find our way to stealth bombers to rule the world. But yeah, I mean, we pushed through. We took three cities, but then, yeah, the Minutemen came a bit too fast and America had too much stuff. America's dying now because they sent all of our, their army at us as opposed to dealing with whatever was behind them after we paid for those wars. We still actually need the Hermitage and Prora. We'll build the Hermitage after we finish the labs. We'll get Prora with this engineer we're about to generate. It's a shame we lost that one scientist, actually. I didn't expect that city to die just then. It, it must have got slammed by like four or five minute men in a row. And I guess that's what got it killed. Not sure. But I definitely didn't expect to lose it, and that was a problem. I guess we've got more good tiles to work in the cap now. It's not really solved much of our spacing problems, but maybe it solved some. It's a shame because if we were preparing for a three city empire, we'd have done some of this a lot different to the way it looks now. Scientist next turn. Let's just make sure that doesn't happen. So that we do get the engineer we need. Maybe we need to push gold. Can we do even good gold right now on our three city empire? Probably. And like spam purchase stuff. With the autocracy purchasing policy that we'll get. And then in 22 turns we'll get the unit stuff. But let's just grab Prora. And then we'll think about it. We probably are going to need to gold purchase a lot of units. Because there's definitely an interesting game to look back on and think what could have been done better, didn't done different. I think we just needed to go with longbow sooner. I always, I've always kind of said to myself, all in pushes on deity are what you need to do. Because if you don't go all in, you end up in a situation like what we did right now, where deity AI just reaches the tech that outdates your units too soon. Which I think is what happened to us, really. Like the the dirty AI just reached the end game tech that out, the the tech that outdated our units way too soon, and that caused us a big big problem. Sadly, assigned delegates. We don't want to ban gold now. Rather not. Thanks. We don't actually need to worry about it. So let's just abstain. But yeah, it's like oh, the ruins of Gurenberg, a long lost ancient monument. I know, I know. It's such a shame. Gurenberg was nice. 
We can actually trade with Boudica. I know Boudica's got Crab, which is ours. We lost Crab, I guess, from having our city raised. We need to fix a tile here. We can build Military Academy soon. But I think we might need to rely on gold purchasing for this game. Because we've not really got a lot in, inside our cities to make them any good. Make a proposal, good. What do we need to go for? I mean, World Ideology Autocracy would be nice, but that's not really worth much. Just go in Natural Heritage Sites and see if we can get some culture. 17 turns away. Yeah, they raised it, I know. The ruins, they clearly don't appreciate our culture. We only have three workers now. We've got the rest captured. Maybe trade for our own crabs with horses. And Indian freedom. Okay. Our culture's really, really bad. It doesn't need to be good, though. Just 17 turns until the final policy we need to win the game. Now we have military science. So we can maybe push... I mean, we should push for gold. If we're going to go for lots of gold stuff. So we'll build a stock exchange. And then we also need to get our cargoes back. In fact, getting the cargo ships back will be better for gold than a stock exchange will. So we'll build both of those and then get a stock exchange. Just accept that our cities won't contribute a lot. And try and buy a lot of the units we need to win. We could open commerce and build Big Ben. That would be ideal if it's still here. Big Ben is still here. Noted. So, highest gold. What's that? Memphis. Okay. 23 per turn. See what else we can get. Washington stole our land. Man. That sucks. I mean, we didn't need the bananas, but it would have been nice to have everything else. So, we're going to have to reset our tiles now. Yeah, our empire doesn't really do well. Just chilling. But at the public school. We can just keep growing for a bit. Work factory, maybe. I hope Washington doesn't raise more of our lands. Yeah, they raised... Yeah, because they, they captured it on like six pop. And then it, it went pretty quickly after that. sadly and then stock exchange would be good for gold we need more gold per turn though oh look zulu's already resettled it find it interesting i wonder what our, our science is going to be post labs my bet is awful but we will see need to work the lab slot so let's do that oil from riga is good news highest gold is unfortunately it's hong kong actually so we can do that so Mansfield has grown. Good. Work that. York grew too. Nice. I guess at least we can work all our specialists. But America stole our bananas. Gurren says, I mean, it's all in stealth comms, right? Yeah, it is. It's all in stealth bombers for us now. Booker says, still happy with autocracy? Reckon something with the foreign legion policy could have worked. Oh, it certainly would have worked. I think freedom for... I mean, freedom foreign legions would have meant that we wouldn't have lost either of the two cities and instead we marginally lost both like if we'd had maybe one or two extra turns we'd have kept our Gurenberg and similar for Boston so it was a shame for sure okay well we're going to see what our end game science looks like in just a moment it's not going to be good but yeah like freedom foreign legions having good culture something like that would have worked better I mean the overall story of this game is Finish the dirty AI off if you attack them. If you leave them alive, things it means trouble. We don't really have a lot of population left. I wonder if we just do this. Research lab done. We now need to just go banks and go for the money. It would be good if we got a harbour. Doesn't that increase sea trade route distance or something? So maybe let's go for harbours. Got railroad in seven. Keep selling the crabs. Jack is apparently plotting against us. Gold per turn's not good. Needs to be better. 
Did we take autocracy purchasing? Yeah, we did. Good. I don't know how we get another social policy by building the Hermitage, maybe. After the harbour. And a writer. Lots of people are plotting against us. I mean, Washington might come back. Our goal per turn is pretty rubbish right now as well. Because we haven't had the chance to do a lot. Let's see. Horses. So the Zulu don't really appreciate our deals anymore. The Celts probably do. Let's try it. If we can ramp up our goal per turn to something good, then we can maybe do something to try and win. But let's see otherwise. Next turn. But I mean, autocracy, it's definitely not the right choice now. But there's no really no real way of knowing that back then, of course. Banks, military. We need to get these military academies built. Okay, so our endgame size is just over 700. Which is pretty terrible. Work research labs and keep growing for a moment. Got another great person born, which I li is okay at least, I think. Another scientist. That brings us back up to our five that we had originally. Railroad in three. We still got our research agreement to come through with Egypt. Building our hermitage, but our culture is truly terrible. We're not even going to have the room to open or talk, open commerce at this point. So how much is a bomber? It's, it's a lot of money. We don't have the gold per turn. I mean, we'll still get military unit production. But we really don't have a lot right now to give. York can grow a couple of times, but we really, we're really behind. At least we might squeak to 75 pop. And then after that, I oh know we're not going to finish rationalism. Which is up to 54. We've got railroad now, so we can at least build railroads. So we can do that. Our research agreement came through. Bank is done. We need stock exchanges. But we need this cargo in the cap first before that stock exchange. Then we would need military academies. But it is a, a sim to stealth con. So it's not like we're in much of a rush right now. We just need to basically build up a stack of gold. This research agreement is actually going to be worth it. 31 tons. And then see if we can stealth drop the world. Navigation soon. Almost open ships of the line. I mean, I think the thing that derailed this game most is probably just the fact that we weren't able to actually ship of the line anyone. Atlanta, maybe. As long as America doesn't war us again. That's fine for now. We just need the gold per turn. Gandhi gets a statue. Statue would have been big for this empire as well. Like, the reason I picked autocracy almost is probably because with five cities, we can make up for the lack of statue production. But with this amount of... But with three cities now, we'd really, really struggle. And we are struggling. York grew. We're up to now 72 population. Because we'll just have to go England again at some point. Yeah, we will, I think. America's not even at war with anyone right now. Which sounds like bad things for us, actually. They've denounced a lot of people. They're not at war with many of them. Up to 106 gold per turn. And he can go to war with everyone. Three gold per turn, horses and iron. He doesn't care about anything apart from about four GPT or five. We decline. Is it six? You cannot be serious. What does he want? Okay, well, we'll just give him what he asked for then. Let's go back to war with the Celts. Stock exchange is up here. Probably a seaport next for that production. And then the forge. Scott says, Blasted Barbarians, Washington. I know. I know. We were so close to keeping hold of the cities as well. It was really a very, very touch and go kind of thing to lose them in the end, which is a real, real shame. It would have been nice. And this land just doesn't work on three cities. It's an easy way to go irrelevant. So hopefully Washington turns around and goes and does stuff with the Celts now, which he does. We should try and trade for Rams. Sit 
Silver? Oh, uh, Assyria has declared war on us. Why? He's got like three cities in the middle of nowhere with no navy. Okay. Seems a bit strange. We need to take total war, the military unit production, and it's 42 turns until the next social policy. I mean, there's no way of speeding that up without a cultural ally, right? Point blank. So how do we do that? We need 85 in Kabul and furs. Can we get furs? Who's got furs? Oh, all the city-states have got furs. Like Bucharest. Which one's Bucharest? Kaiser wants us to build the Brandenburg Gate. Really? Brandenburg's still here. It's 10 turns. Maybe we can build the Brandenburg Gate for Kaiser and that gets us a general. <laughs> Syria got noob whispered, lol. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Okay, well, we'll just sit here. Oh, America warned us anyway. Okay. I mean, this is going to be like the last war. The only place they can come through is in Mansfield. Which means that this is just going to be a bit of a ruffle stomp. I mean, we lost a couple of cargoes. We build a great war bomber or two. We can buy a great war bomber at least soon. 204 gold. I mean, a great war bomber would be nice just to deal with... Oh, look, we got one, actually. Let's just pop that in Mansfield and carry on like the war doesn't exist. Probably the best thing to do. Let's at least get these caravels out into the ocean so that we can spy on what's going on. Okay. This cargo was going to... Food for Bratislava. It needs to be production to Bratislava. I guess Brandenburg down a turn. So the solution to our city-state woes appears to be Brandenburg. Let's see what America does. We've got 11 turns until the Golden Age, which is good. We need that. That'll be good for gold. Oh, Brandenburg goes. Okay. So much for those dreams. Just kill some stuff that gets in the water and just wait. Mansfield, I guess, can starve for a while. We want to build the cargo ship here for gold, probably. We have at least completed our railroads now. So we do have the railroad connection stuff going on. It's good. Now we just need to find oil. And actually, look, we can improve this marsh tile. Ray War Bomber can deal with a lot of this nonsense now as well. Prague, if we were to get a great general. How far are we away from a great general? 508. This is quite a way. But perhaps Prague is our next most realistic option. I only need 90 to go past India. I think Prague makes sense as opposed to being in Hong Kong. So why don't we go sit in Prague? And then maybe we can like pay Prague money at some point <laughs> if we need to. You need got a promotion. Okay. Still need this cargo. We've sent it from Bratislava. Now we've got a seaport. Maybe that'll make our potential trade routes even better. Trouble is there's no coastal capitals. Oh, rip. Come on. This is the most annoying thing. This blockade mechanic. Just take some promotions on the infantry. I guess we should probably rename everyone back again. Bring people alive. Let's maybe make this Gurren 3 underscore. And we had the Scott Noli 2 can return. Instead of Scott Noli 1, of course, we can have uh, maybe instead of. Uh, so we could just call this one Booker instead of Bookatini. Apparently, we've had a trade route. We've had trade routes plundered now as well, really. Even Assyria seeks to do harm by us I guess we just build some bombers that'll dispense with all of this rubbish bombers we don't even have barracks and military academies there though we don't have barracks and military academies anywhere so we bring some units back from the dead in fact we probably need to choose who the first bomber's gonna be <laughs> good says continues to fight for our country exactly
Someone needs to become our first bomber. Maybe we'll make our... I don't know who will make our first bomber yet. But this one needs to be anti-land promotion. Shoot the cannon. And America's even running off now. Oh, hey, look. We can actually go for refrigeration now because this is a good tile. Does America want peace already? Well. No. Okay. But America is running away. Let's kill that. It's going to return our tiles to us. We're still we're back to stagnating here perfectly fine now, which is okay. Bratislava's done a barracks, it needs an armory. Still need gold per turn. What can we do? Memphis again. I feel like that was the one that got pillaged. Will Assyria peace us? No. No, but we'll try trading with Memphis then. Again. But yes, the bomber needs to be renamed. Who 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 can be the bomber? A bit of a scroll up. Oh, here we go. Nizef can be the bomber. There we go. So now we have a bomber. Unfortunately, the ruins of PC King PCJ Law is still over there in American territory. We'll have to we'll have to acquire those back at some point. Keep these trades going. I mean America's running away now. We can actually acquire a couple of oil nodes here. Some work boats. Why is Mansfield starving to death? Minus 13. We must have been sending it a trade route. Minus 5 and build a hospital. Good work here. That's going to be more production to do it like that. So let's do that. And then we can take Coastal Raider. Just bomb some stuff. And Nizef can go take the fight to some people now. Natural heritage sites. Yes, please. Still need to up our gold per turn. Gold purchasing is not going to come cheap. But as we said, we can just spam bombers and infantry and stuff. And get there. And maybe just do some cap sniping if we can. Military academy next. We can heal our great war bomber. Our natural heritage sites failed. AI never votes that through. I mean, they do sometimes. But we can keep trying it. They don't have any problems with us proposing it, but they always vote it down. We don't need this great war bomber now. America appears to have just left. So we can build a bank instead. We actually need to churn out some more cargoes again in the capital. So let's do that. We don't need to build units yet. Yeah, so we've got two more cargo ships. Okay. We can send those out for gold. That'll make our gold per turn a good number. We can stack gold with the golden age. And hopefully, that will put us in a good position. Yeah, trade with Alexandria. And then maybe we send this final one to Prague. This, though, needs to be production back to Bratislava for sure. 84. Trade route plundered already. Okay. Memphis. That's Washington plundering that one. It seems to be a bit of a problem. Look, I mean, Washington is being having their cities captured by the Celts now. They still insist on warring us for some reason. Okay, well, this needs to go to Prague. 18 gold per turn, that's fine. Apparently America's attacking Riga with frigates. That's what's holding the frigates up. Maybe we'll try and resurrect this cargo again. I don't know what we can do about the American units in the water, though. There's not really much we can do about it. Apparently Shaq is running towards us with an army from somewhere. Seven hundred thirty-four sites is not good. We need to keep bombing with what we can. We don't actually see any units that we can bomb. There's another trade route in penicillin, but I don't think we can afford to go for that. I think we need to go for satellites because we can't faith purchase any great scientists, but we can faith purchase engineers. And so, if we go for satellites, we'll be able to get the Hubble Space Telescope for two more scientists. 
See what this American thing is that was plundering our trade routes. If we can get Memphis again. And we're going to get a golden age. We're up to 132 gold per turn. So our purchasing will be kind of decent now. Golden age will actually get us maybe towards commerce too. In 26 turns. There we go. So up to 165 gold per turn in the golden age. York grew. That can now work a factory slot. We need a fishing boat in Mansfield. That can come after the hospital. And a fishing boat in Bratislava, I guess, is fine now too. We should just improve. Where's this raw oil that we've got here? We don't really need it. If we're going for something like stealth. We'll need aluminium somehow. We've actually just got this worker captured. It's a bit dull. Oh, apparently Assyria has literally got a Galias in there. One gold per turn and yes for arts funding. I guess that's fine. We don't, don't really, not really worried about arts funding going through or scientists funding at this point. We're almost out of great scientists to spawn anyway. We actually didn't lose our worker apparently. Oh, because the American Great War Infantry can't get through Zulu territory. Don't really want to be friends with the Celts. So just a Boudicca ended and we got refrigeration stolen. Apparently we can trade citrus for truffles. Which we can continue to do. Sleep this stuff. Get an oil rig up. And next time we can get an oil rig up in Mansfield as well. You just put an oil well down here I guess. Don't really need the other oil. Unless we want to do something funky with battleships. So we can bring these back now and hopefully that means our trade routes don't get pillaged anymore. 165 gold per turn is not good, but it's enough so far. We can purchase a few things, especially getting Big Ben could be helpful. Apparently American units appearing from the north. So let's get our bomber back from Mansfield. Get an oil well down, perfect. Armory next. Arbor could be good, but we don't need it. Okay, so the Military Academy is done. National Epic might get us some more stuff. I don't think it matters. We need to build units for upgrade because that is going to be cheaper than purchasing them. So we can do that. A forge would be good for building XCOMs later. We can just build Great War Bombers for upgrade at this point. Let's rebase this one to Bratislava. Hopefully next turn we can deal with a privateer. So we got some oil online. Oh, we can actually take this. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> he went through Zulu territory. <laughs> now we lost our worker. That doesn't, that's okay for us. It's gonna be a bit sooner, I believe, that we actually we do we will actually get commerce in the end. We've got air repair immediately on our bomber now. That's perfect. And we can just spam bombers for a long time. We actually could do with the stock exchange. But we can pillage this at least. Okay. What else is going on here? Don't really... We can use this Great War Infantry to come up here. And we can move this infantry over there. And see if we can... I don't know, find some more trade routes to pillage anywhere. Prague likes us. It would be good to get a great general. We've got enough influence in Prague to get what policies we need when. Great General 538. 745 science now, though. It's not like the worst thing ever. Although we've got five city science costs on a three city empire, which is pretty devastating. But we do still have Oxford, which we can build. Rationalism finishes totally out of our grasp, though. Military Academy next, please. See if we can find any more American cargoes anywhere. Apparently, America is now back for more. So we need to shuffle these Great Wall Bombers around again. And we can take our worker back. This was going where? 
Because it's like, oh, it stopped being to Hong Kong. I don't feel like we need to trade with Jacka. So we can just trade with Bucharest, not our enemy anymore. Apparently not. Zan where's Zanzibar? Hong Kong's actually a perfectly fine choice. So let's just keep going to Hong Kong. And stacking gold. We can buy an army whenever we need it. So we can bear that in mind. We've got more than enough culture. Unless we actually want to finish rationalism. Which could be good. But also mean our gold purchasing is less powerful. Get instant air repair. And start just bombing stuff. America would probably peace us right now. But we now need to train these bombers. See whatever we can get. Just, well, we can, I guess we can come out there with a great war infantry and build an oil well and chill so we lost friendship with Prague we give them a gift of gold we can get that back though Bombardment 2 now on this one. Okay, I need to be careful not to get it killed. We could just give Prague a gift of gold. We only need to stay friends, although we can actually get allies for 500. So that still feels kind of worth it. Got some new great war bombers. Maybe name after some of our fallen warriors. There's Assyrian battleships now. Will Assyria just peace us? It's been that long. They probably should. Oh, this writer. That's seven turns. Apparently Assyria won't peace us. Got another scientist out, which is good. Let's maybe just move them to slightly more protected seas. How many do we have? Let's check the unit list. We have one, two, three. We've got six great scientists, which is actually not bad at all. We still need a lot of tech, but it's okay. Bomb some more American units. Guess we need to move over and heal this one. But we're now getting an army together. Which is good. I think it's Kremlin. I mean, America just doesn't have anything. These Assyrian battleships are getting awfully close. It'd be nice to have real bombers to tackle those. Maybe we need to. It's not like we're really waiting for anything. Okay, well, we can maybe... We can build a submarine or we can buy some submarines. York is actually pretty exposed here. I, I totally forgot. I thought the AI had to go round, but it doesn't. At all. If we want to kill the battleships, we might need a submarine. Totally fine thing to spend the gold on. Get double wolf pack. Get triple wolf pack. And we can perhaps buy a Great War Bomber. So this second Great War Bomber can again get Bombardment and Air Repair. And these bombers can barely reach. We need to bring these ones facing America off back to Bratislava then. And heal this one, which is fine. This one needs to do some damage and it can't yet. It's okay. Nothing stopping us from building more bombers though. The Military Academy is now done here. Oh, we're good to get a harbour first. Great wall bomber. It's fine. A bit annoying that Assyria won't actually peace either. We should try and put a scientist inside the... Inside the cities for safe keeping. If we can. We've used two. I have to be aware of that. Yeah, there we go. One into Mansfield. So we've still got four... Uh, this well, this might as well just shoot now. No reason to not. 
So the battleship's going to rock up on our doorstep in York. I wonder if America will peace. I think maybe the battleships are just trying to go past to get to Egypt. We're into a new era. We can keep our golden age going, which is perfect. And we can just keep training on the battleships. Actually, we can upgrade to real bombers is what we can do. Will America peace yet? Well, Apparently not. Is Okay. Maybe put our spy back into Hong Kong. Hong Kong went. Rocketry next turn. I would get this submarine out, but there's too many battleships hanging around right now. American units are back and being annoying in Mansfield. We're probably being, yeah, zocked off a couple of our crucial tiles to make it starve. Fishing boat has been destroyed, huh? There's something like submarines. Yeah, submarines can't actually attack from inside the city, apparently. Try and sink some stuff with our triple wolf pack submarines. Guess we need another bomber here. The AI being annoying. We can maybe pull a caravel along because otherwise the caravels are pretty much useless. Trade routes plundered again. Let's push for satellites. So we're into the info era and we've apparently found Lake Victoria. Now we need to push up to robotics. We're pretty short on science at this point, though. 700 science is not a lot. Research agreement with Egypt doing 7. Scientist in 10. We need to buy an engineer now for Hubble. That's going to be two more. I mean, given how much Hubble cost, it probably actually wasn't worth the detour. These random units around Mansfield. Offshore platform has been destroyed, really? We are definitely being trolled by the AI here. And Assyria won't peace. Let's just keep training our units while we can. It's not as if America can even do anything serious because we can just shoot everything with bombers. Okay. Build another bomber. We need to build back our fishing boats at some point. Which I guess we can do now. Use a host. We don't want it to be Egypt because they will actually win the game. We can vote England again. Or vote England again. Just vote England for us. And then we can go for Hubble. It's 12 turns. Pop the engineer out. Oh, we finished our oil this turn. That's quite nice. That's what's allowed us to... Keep building units. Gold per turn is okay, but it's not great. We've lost faith at some point. We stopped, well, we've stopped working our natural wonder again. We've got the Hubble Space Telescope. Bombardment, bombardment, air repair needed. We can... Probably upgrade these Great War Bombers to real bombers now. Let's drop some fishing boats in. I wonder if we can find any more Assyrian units anywhere. Plus sub. No. Okay. I feel like that was a bit overkill what we just did. Push for combined arms. It's 12 turns for computers now. 5 turns for computers. So we've got quite a lot of turns left. There's 28... 33 turns of research left on the table. Which is a really, really slow stealth bomber timing, as to be expected. Given what we've gone through this game. We've got a great scientist in 20... Oh, because we, we finished Hubble, it slowed down our great scientists. I forgot about that one. I'm usually more considered when we're doing something like that. 
It means that it is quite a while until we get to stealth and XCOM. We want both. It will be a long time. I wonder what is to be done about that. America's still strolling around without even any anti-air. Which is kind of ridiculous, actually. Need another fishing boat. Not a worker, a work boat, please. Can upgrade Nizef at least. And then we got these air repair bombers to attack things. Low science, but maybe we'll be okay. We've got loads of stuff pillaged. We're already top in terms of tech. We've got a long way to go. We might actually need the rationalism finisher instead of commerce. It's not great, but it might be something that we need. So let's try for it. 30 turns. Take cover. Let's kill that. What can we do with these bombers now? This one's taken some damage. It can continue to shoot at least. We need to get it to air repair. In lieu of having anything else to do that. It might be time to start pushing back against America. But we just don't have the military right now. Because it's all in bombers. We need paratroopers if we're going to start doing something like that. And this actually, this research agreement. Three term research agreement with Egypt will probably do us a world of good. Air repair. We need to build back our three lost cargo ships. Not an aircraft carrier. Cargo ship, cargo ship, cargo ship. Okay, and now we just need to start or keep pushing these bombers along. I'll even just shoot this American general. That's dead now. And that general, that died as well. And the worker. Perfect. And we can move some bombers over to Mansfield. Oh, and a new bomber here. Shoot another American worker. Might be the time we start pushing back. What, the factory slot? I don't need to grow any more here. So we can work bank slots instead for gold. And we can maybe keep pushing bombers for a while. I mean, we want max bombers before we do anything. Get our oil back online. Gandhi wants a research agreement. No need for that. So computer's coming in too. Uh, Assyria wants to give us loads of stuff for peace. Are you serious? Okay. Why? I mean, we'll take the three aluminium, but we don't really want anything else. We'll take your cotton and your 93 gold. Okay, cool. Well, that's a lot of stuff for peace with Assyria. Nice. That's the first time I've ever had a deity AI just come and like do that without... We need range on the bombers. Kind of any prompting, which is really strange. If we want to actually go and do some war back, we perhaps need paratroopers now. I don't really want to capture Portland at all. I'd rather capture Portland and just give it away to someone. Like Port Assyria, probably. Maybe we can do that. Like, should we just push in now? We've got loads of bombers. We can reach Portland. So I guess we should. Try and take it. There's experience for our bombers to get massive amounts of promotions. Who knows, we'll leave, we could even try and get to like logistics on some of these things. We got a general. Which Kaisel has recognised. That's perfect. So I wonder if there's anything that we can do with that in terms of... Getting access to any aluminium. It actually is, because we can drop it on this aluminium that's over here. I wonder if we do that. Let's get Great General. Which apparently doesn't even have a name. 
Highest gold. Card to Kulti Ninurta. Okay. Let's keep ramping up our gold per turn. Up to 167 still. But it is a golden age that we're in. We will finish Rationalism. So we're actually going to be able to use the Rationalism finisher as well in 21 turns. Which means we'll use that on Nanotech. And we'll try and use Oxford on something else. Oh, Riga got captured. Okay, nine turns to Robotics. Paratroopers required. Actually kind of need some paratroopers. Look, would you look at that? Bratislava. Old per turn. Memphis. Yep. Village. Okay, let's bomb Portland. I might have just screwed our ability to actually capture Portland this turn for pillaging. See, so, yeah, we could have taken Portland this turn and instead we did a pointless pillage. Probably not a bad idea, actually. In fairness. So maybe we... Push forwards a bit or something? Maybe. We can still take this aluminium. Seems like the best thing that we can do, really. Not even generaling any city-state territory for it. So let's see if we can take this. And that's a little bit of aluminium that's ours, which is good. There's nothing American that we can bomb from here. That we can move to next turn. What do we lose? We lost some infantry. Okay. Get trading. So the Golden Age ended, but we're on 180 gold per turn. Let's take range next. I do like a bit of range. I guess we're going to have to wait for our paratroopers to really make a difference here. Oh, but these pillages are nice. Apparently, we could we can actually lose infantry in one turn. It's kind of interesting against America. Not a lot to do with the rest of the units, though, so we can wait for a bit. Wait for natural heritage sites again, see if that goes through. Riga is sadly going to die. But we have a, an army now. Don't really want to go to Quad Bazooka. Go to something over here. Hong Kong. Perfect. Gun says, my god, Egypt is getting pretty, pretty close to world leader as well, I know. There's not a lot that we can do about that, though. If we lose to world leader, we lose to world leader. And it'll just be like a, a lesson in... Probably just a lesson in if you're going to... Attack the AI, kill them. I think. It's what I would say about that at the end of the day. Definitely finish off the dirty AI because this is where all of our problems have stemmed from. Like, nothing really... It's not really been anything else that we've done apart from the fact that when we attacked them, we didn't finish the kill. We really shouldn't be wasting this infantry in front of Portland. AI is trying to pillage our citadel, but I don't think we're going to let that happen. That means we've got... At least... Some aluminium access. We've got the three from Prague and the three of our own. Use production. Keep building paratroopers now. Five turn paratroopers is not bad actually at all. And we can use some of these bombers to kill these frigates that are apparently on their way to come get us. And we can kill some civilians as well. So this gets air repair, Nizef, which is perfect. And then we can just power drop. So we can take maybe drill and double cover. It's perfect for a situation like this. I just realized we parked our unit next to that citadel, which is a terrible idea. So now we're going to take damage for that. But it's fine. We can lose this inventory for the cause. So we've got a bunch of bombers that have things that, to do. I forgot to shoot this.
this um oh yeah i forgot unfortunately to shoot this cavalry so now it's actually going to pillage our aluminium but we can get that back america now wants peace i don't think so we're pretty close to being able to roll america yeah we got our citadel pillaged that's all right all we wanted to do was claim the tile Sardon's apparently at war with us. We lost our infantry. But we now have Portland. Create a puppet. Got some new promotions on bombers. Perfect. What can we shoot with stuff from Bratislava? Barely anything. From Mansfield though we can shoot these new frigates that are trying to be annoying. And then we can shoot some of this other stuff. Apparently, we can take range here as well. And then with all the new paratroopers we're building, I guess we could just keep pushing America and finally take Washington. Orland needs to be ours for a while so that we've got actually a staging point. Let's do that. Seems fine. 171 gold per turn. We just I just moved all these units in there, but I totally forgot that America could take it back. But we've got this mountain range that's blocking them from doing it right now. Culture victory contender. Egypt might just win a culture victory ahead of us at some point. It'd be kind of amusing. But we can move the bombers away. It would be nice to be able to upgrade to something silly like 18 stealth. Well, let's secure our position first. No point in not. Apparently, America literally has no air units at all. So we can just keep killing stuff and healing. Robotics in four. That's good. And then we can take lasers after that. I mean, we're just training units on these American ones right now. I would like to take Washington. That's got to be our goal. Because there's work tomorrow. Have a good one, lads. Good luck, PC. Thank you, Booker. Thanks for joining the stream today. It's been fun, if not unsuccessful. But thanks for joining. Hope you have a good day at work tomorrow. Let's see if we can do this. We've got a large volume of units still incoming. But we can certainly flatten them all with what we've got. Now that we have air repair. Probably worth some more bombers at some point. Now that we've got a few paratroopers. Goons is later book a disappointed there's no space laser unit. I know. So if only there was something that we could do. We could exploit our top tech in some way. But instead we're just stuck here churning through American units right now. Waiting for stealth bombers and XCOM squads. We should expend our 18 turns. Are we gonna? Yeah, so we're gonna have still we're gonna have the text in 18 for sure. But I think what we need to do, and we can keep taking range on some of this stuff. What we need to do actually is burn our Oxford University for nanotech for XCOMs, and then we can just use our rationalism finisher for stealth. And just keep destroying American units that insist on being a pain with our wide range of bombers. Need more, really. There's just a lot coming right now, which is blocking us from being able to go after America. Each of these infantry is taking a few turns to kill. But we'll make it. We just don't have a lot of units. Mansfield for production, that's fine. Carry on. Goon says, nukes later, will you reach that at all in time? Sadly, I don't think we're going to reach nukes, no. Stealth XCOM is about as far as we can go, and even that is going to be quite late for us. For sure. We've only got six aluminium, so we need to use America to get some more. But we're making progress now. Like, with every new set of units we kill, that is less that America can do against us. Oh, well, that is less army that America has. And then eventually we'll be able to fight our way to Washington. Definitely finishing robotics next turn. Which means XCOM squads. 
That will be pretty game changing in terms of killing units. Joe says, don't finish that Oxford. I want to. We'll get nanotech next turn with it. And then in 16 turns, we've got our social policy, which will allow us to take the rationalism finisher. We can keep going paratroopers. We'll actually probably need an airport in here. India's getting wrecked, which is perfect. Yeah, so we don't need lasers for nanotechnology. You only need them for stealth. Let's try and finish that battleship. So this looks like to be the last dregs of American units, the ones that are backing out in here. So now we can, once we've got XCOMs next turn, we can upgrade our paratroopers to them and then push towards Boston. So we actually didn't finish Oxford last turn, apparently. No idea why. So I guess we haven't done it anyway, which is fine. But now that means we... I mean, we could do with getting vision on Boston. We'll just have to wait one more turn. Which isn't really ideal. But it's okay. I guess just kill what we can. And then we'll power drop everyone up as close as possible to America. But without going into their territory. So that we can do all of our XCOM shenanigans. So these just need to fortify the paratroopers. That gives us vision now. So I wonder if maybe we give a quick rename to some of the melee units after, well, everyone died. But let's see. But at least rename this one for... Uh, I guess that would be Gurren 4 at this point. There we go. And we can even bomb this missionary. <laughs> yeah, Gurren says, oh my god, I know. Gurren 4. Accidentally getting Twitch followers killed on Sith. Holland is still taking heat, but America's just got nothing that they can do to attack it. Right. American battleship here. We can finish that one off. We can take nanotechnology. And then that's 13 turns for lasers. The Oxford is done. We really just need to build more bombers. Or XCOMs. I don't know if there's any AA guns yet going around from America. It doesn't look like it. If we needed fighters, that would be a pain. But apparently we don't. Let's go repair our Citadel. So we've got a bit more aluminium. Maybe bring our submarine around. And then we can just wait with some of these bombers. Actually, no, we don't need to because we can pick off some of these. Okay. Then we do need to wait for this one. This cargo ship is done. Was this going for gold before? I was going to Prague. I mean, Prague's actually a perfectly fine choice. Keep going to Prague for gold. We can keep stacking that gold. Go and says, my lineage have fought for this empire for thousands of years. <laughs> yeah, it actually has been, hasn't it? That's kind of funny. Uh, Gandhi wants friends. I don't think so. So we're being bombed by artilleries and triplanes. Triplanes can't really intercept bombers to do any meaningful amount of damage. So I don't think we're worried. And apparently, Boudicca is back to war with Washington again. So let's just power drop in at Boston. Bombers and triplanes. We actually can't reach without range. There's not even any air defences. Kind of ridiculous. But apparently we can try and get all of these airplanes. Next turn even. They keep trying to bombard our units with triplanes. We can retake Boston. We've got lots of gold. I would have loved to have had commerce to make gold purchasing better and easier. But we sadly don't. And this bomber here that can only shoot that, that's fine. Okay, plenty of gold still. I mean, that can, that gold can get burned rather quick. Because it's 730 for a bomber right now. So I think the idea is to upgrade into stealth. And then we'll use gold to flesh out what we need of probably XCOM squads, I think. 
And it would be nice if we could ever get commerce for Big Ben, but I don't think we will. But right now we can't even afford like four stealths probably. Let's just try and bomb through in Boston again. Let's use the most healed one we've got. There's not even any interceptions in there. Which is kind of bad. Not for us, but definitely for them. So we can reclaim Boston. We captured a Celtic civilian unit again. We can return it to them. Create a puppet. We definitely don't want to raise this one yet. We can give it away at some point, but we don't want to raise it. And I feel like the city's not going to get captured. So let's just put this new bomber straight there. We can actually bomb Washington now. But why not? Let's do that. We can finally claim the city we've been trying to take for thousands of years. Behind our new, our newly formed army. More bombers, please. Sign delegates. Uh, yeah, Egypt's getting close to world leader, but let's just keep voting England. Let's not accidentally think that we are Egypt. Washington could almost die next turn. We should probably just power drop. In fact, I bet Washington will die next turn. Shift P, please. The pillage. Yeah, I mean, Washington's going to die next turn. Pretty ridiculously fast. Just Alexandria, that can continue. Hopefully this gold pattern is valuable to us. Guren says, Guren 4 will make his forefathers proud. Guren 4 will. Okay, we're being denounced by the Zulu again. Guren 4 can perhaps capture Washington and be the Gurren that finally does it. Okay, apparently we can't reach, but we can bomb this infantry. Let's do what we can to make sure that Washington is dead. Apparently we can do a spy steal. We can take penicillin for a trade route. That's perfect. Oh, we... Bombed, apparently, at some point, we bombed through an AA gun. Well, AA guns can't protect themselves, so I guess we can just shoot it. But we do need to... I guess Washington doesn't die this turn, then. But it can die next turn, probably. I mean, we could have bombarded it. Hey, we got a new paratrooper. Double cover. Then we can move it as far as we can go and then upgrade to an XCOM. And then we actually just need to... Still need to build some bombers, really. Although we are a bit short on XCOM squads. But we need to make sure we're not purchasing very many stealth bombers. I think that's what we need. Uh, America's now willing to give us the world because he knows his capital... Oh, we lost four bombers in Boston. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. I don't know where all of that came from. I guess the bombers. Complacency. Not good. That slowed us back a bit. It's a good job we're building new bombers. Still soon, at least. But what can we do here? We can still bombard Washington. That's still the only city we want to take. It's taking a bit of effort now, though. Anything with range. Range doesn't actually work from here, so we need to put the bombers over there. And then just keep killing more American stuff. And I really thought we had the better of Washington there. That'll teach me. We can capture Washington next turn, mind. That is a thing, for sure. Okay, well, once we have Washington, I guess we can peace. And then... Build up for the Celts, maybe. As Washington gets slammed. She's our most healed ones first to bombard Washington. But Washington clearly doesn't have a lot. Yeah, and we can actually just do this. So, you're in four. Captures Washington. 
Create a puppet. Good. So it's, okay, so that's America done with. Garen Fort finally captured America. Good day. Uh, how what's our, what's our stealth bomber range? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 15, 16. So it would have been nice to have another American city. We only captured the pyramids in here as well. This city's so bad. Washington is what it is. We keep killing stuff for now. We can maybe have Boston annex it and then raise it or something. So I wonder if we go back to try and claim it. So Washington is ours, and that's not going anywhere. And then we can peace America as soon as we're ready, which basically means as soon as we've recapped Boston. And the whole idea about Boston is that we'll annex it at some point. 27 public opinion now for new ideology. We'll annex it at some point so that we can then raise it afterwards. Let's check America will actually peace us. So we can take Bombardment 3 now on some of these bombers. And then, yeah, before we take Boston, let's check America with peace. I trust you are a friend to Liberty. The deal looks good to me as it is, he says. So he won't even try and give us something like Seattle. Which means I guess we just need to pillage and take Boston. Return the Celtic unit again. 3-8, puppet. And then peace. I trust you are a friend to liberty. Okay, so we now got peace with America and we've got their cap. Seven turns and eight turns until stealth bombers. So I guess we'll just move our bombers over. There seems no I mean there's no reason not to move the bombers over. If it's eight turns until stealth bombers, we need to pop a spy in Edinburgh. So where is Edinburgh? There it is. And then we need to pop a spy also in Delhi for India, which is 47 population. And we'll need to pop a spy in, I guess, Assyria's capital, which is uh, Assur that they still hold. Perfect. What's the combat strength of Delhi? It's actually dying to someone else right now, so that's perfect. Next turn, we're being denounced by America. That's fine. See how many stealth bombers we can accumulate. We got nearly 5,000 gold now. India lost its capital. Been captured by Egypt. That's going to make it a lot easier to take. Egypt wants to be the last person we attack though. So we should actually go and pop our spy into Ulundi. It's probably stealth bombering Asur. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, it's stealth bombering Asur from Edinburgh to give us a staging point to go down to Alundi. Let's actually drop this into Alundi. Okay, so bombardment, bombardment, air repair. Fine. Move to Washington. So the maximum we can use from two cities is 12. So that's how many we want to have. Which means we're too short right now. And we are building those two, but we can get more. And let's get more. By building some more bombers. Then we need to make sure that we've got enough aluminium. So let's take Egypt's for a while. Maybe trade him for... Something like spices. So it's like five aluminium for spices. And then the remaining for one gold per turn. Then let's see if anyone else has got any aluminium that we can trade for. I mean, there's no one that likes us that we can trade aluminium with anyway. We need to try and take the Celts aluminium cities if we can. Which seems to be Philadelphia. It's the old American one. Or is there any aluminium in a serious territory that isn't? There isn't any in Shackers either. So we need to make sure to try and acquire some aluminium. San Francisco almost would have been nice for that reason, because there's eight there. We've only got three of our own, plus three from Prague. Where are we getting all of our aluminium from? Yeah, six from Egypt. So we're getting a total of 12 right now. But it's fine. I think by the time we get to Egypt, we'll be okay. Okay. Well, this is good. This is giving us time to build up forces. We'll have enough bombers for stealth by the time that we get to the correct tech. And then we can try and blitz the rest of the AI for the win. 
I wonder if we even just tried... I mean, we can't try and go for the Celts now because we don't have the right staging point. So, air repair, move. And now we can just spam XCOM squads until the end of the game. So, one, oh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Something like that. Good. Perfect. Does Boudicca have any aluminium in her cap? Asks Gurren. That's what I was thinking too. I don't think so. Which is a real shame. I mean, this is the aluminium we want. That's actually held by the capital, I believe. So if we take it, we might get it. And that might just be enough. We'll hope so. We'll see when we get a spy in. We can finish lasers though next turn, which is perfect. We're up to 845 science actually, now that we've taken these extra cities. Here's our scientist. Through lasers. That means all we need is stealth. That's for the rationalism finisher. And we can just push for nukes. Never going to actually nuke, I don't think. But we can push for nukes nonetheless. Another bomber. That's our final contingent of the 12. So, more XCOMs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. More than enough bombers, more than enough XCOM squads to win the game. And so once we've upgraded all of our stealths, we'll know how many XCOMs we can buy. Yeah, we'll keep buying this Lux for a bit. What's the Celts got in Edinburgh? I wonder. Two, two, two Wonders. One of them's Petra. They've got nothing next to Edinburgh as well. Kind of crazy. Okay, well now we just need to wait the three turns. Seems reasonable. And we've got we've only got three XCOMs. We're not actually going to have any more by the time we get there. So I wonder if we could purchase a couple now, because we want six. There's 760. How much is the stealth bomber upgrade? We've got to upgrade 13. And it is 110, so we only need like 2,000 gold. So we can buy three XCOMs here. So let's just do that. So let's get some drill and cover. Oh, I, I accidentally took the wrong promotions. It had been taking double cover. Perfect. And then we can build more and then we'll have a big XCOM army. Oh. Kira Tinata says, would you be interested in a trade agreement with Big Big England? Yes, I actually would be as well. But we're, we're not interested in training with anyone right now. We're interested in killing everybody for sure. But welcome to the stream. Kira Tinata. Just, just struggling to... I, I, I keep wanting to say Kira Nata, but that's clearly wrong. There we go, and we have another bomber. We will need to think about nuke defense at some point. Actually, that's just the best thing that we can do. Why not just click telecoms? And then we can spam XCOMs in the capital because we're also done with stealth there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. And maybe we can use some gold to purchase something that we need, like a. I mean, I'm not sure what we could need yet, but like an airport somewhere could be handy. Something like that. Gurren says, we're exporting bombshells and plasma shots at historical rates, basically giving them away for free. <laughs> Lol, yeah, I guess so. So we're going to try and do... What do we need? Yep, trade with Memphis, fine. Rationalism finished in two turns and then we're ready. Take the Celts aluminium from them. And we can just drop straight. Look, look, the moment we're ready to attack Edinburgh, they've moved units right around the city. Next turn. We're still at war with our uh, peace. Okay, here we go. So it's only turn 304 stealth, which is pretty slow. But I think given the circumstances, it's a pretty good result. So now let's go and upgrade everything we've got. Here we go. Six stealth there. One, two, three, four, five, six stealth there. We're still left with 2,000 gold, which is perfect. That gives us room if we need it. International games. No, not really. Don't really need it. Let's go. 
next turn we can declare war on the Celts. So hopefully they move their units away and we can just drop the XCOM in. It doesn't seem to have happened. It's unfortunate. How big is Egypt's capital? 156 population. We'll need to use some XCOM slams to break Thebes. International games actually passed. Not that we really care. Alright. We are at war with the Celts. So we need to snipe some units around the capital first. So that we have room to drop our six XCOM squads in. In fact, we should probably just sit here and snipe units for a little while. While we do that. Because these infantry are actually still taking quite a long while to work through. You know what? No, no, no. We can, we can drop the squads in straight away. Once we've got the room, we can drop them. It'll probably speed up the Celt's death. Our happiness situation is a bit precarious. There's not a lot we can do about that either. Double cover, please. So we can do our mass XCOM drop. Okay. So we probably only need five in here. We don't need... Well, I mean, we will bring all six. But we got the five for the surround. And then this one to take the place when we kill the infantry unit. Which is there. And then this one to come in and take that caravan. That'd be a nice pillage. Perfect. Okay, we're in there. Oh, Lion Hippie joins the stream. Says shout out to the two settlers standing in Edinburgh. <laughs> Lol, yeah. <laughs> the, the one settler that was next to it that we killed. The other one that's standing in Edinburgh. And there's one in Dublin as well. Classic AI really, isn't it? Now we need to... We're derping a bit because we're doing XCOM squad dropping. This is something about Civ that's always been broken. Where are we trading here? Where were we trading here? It seems to not be telling us right now. I'd love to send production to York though. So why don't we? Okay, well it looks like Edinburgh's going to go down rather fast. Unless there's something about what... The Celts can do that will blow all the stuff up. Grim says, if you have time, you can do another route for more gold or whatnot. Oh, for the trade routes, we certainly will try and take as many trade routes as we can, yeah. So let's see if we can get them. Just probably need to shoot Edinburgh straight up now with all these stealth bombers. But yeah, I want to get some more trade routes for sure. And another, and another cargo ship, you mean, from the capital, for sure. We don't have quite enough units yet to take everything. We'll probably need... We've got 12 stealth bombers. We'll probably need as well as that the same number, if not more, of XCOM squads. I think. Apparently, the Celtish capital is ours this turn. So, yeah. There we go. We've got it. And that means that we can now power drop from here next door. So that we can pillage this caravan. <laughs> and we actually have this aluminium, which is perfect. But we do need two Celtic cities to be able to hit a sword. So our next goal is definitely to get Dublin. But first things first, we need to make sure that we can't lose Edinburgh. Oh. I don't realise these two, like, Celtic... Celtic aircraft carriers were right there. So I think these new XCOM squads that we've just spawned can go and do this. And then this XCOM squad as well, we can just take a couple of promotions and drop it in next to Dublin. Which is perfect. We've got a spy that we can already go and put into... I mean, what do we need? To take a Lundi, we'll probably need two Assyrian cities as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That's fine. 22 to Alundi because we actually... 22 to Alundi. We actually have range on a lot of stealth bombers. So that's fine. Our words are backed with nuclear weapons, says Egypt. Okay. Well, that means we kind of need shelters, but we're never getting to shelters. It just means that when we go and actually attack Egypt, we don't want... <laughs> Our stealth bombers in the cities that are going to get nuked. Probably. We need to get Egypt to war with the Zulu if we can. That would be good. Maybe the Zulu likes us now for some reason. And we'll war Egypt. No. That's a shame. 
Okay, well, we got a Stealth Bomber upgrade. We're progressing our way slowly to range. We're actually being attacked here. Although America's at war with the Celts. I really want to lose a city. I'll just go and take Dublin. We can maybe do a bit of a balance with our Stealth Bombers right now. Half go and get to work on Dublin and the other half just defend ourselves for a second. Maybe. All these Celtic units that are on the way. Maybe let's just kill everything that America can't deal with. And apparently we can tribute India's ally of Ur. So we'll take 260 gold there for sure. We'll pillage this. And then fortify. I would like to try and get in here. Oh, Nizov says, not that I have anything anything Scotland, but it is so satisfying to conquer Edinburgh. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Oh, Lion says, after you move your stealth out of Boston, maybe give it back to Washington. Yeah, I was thinking about that, actually. I think that's what we want to do. We only want to hold the capitals and that's it. So the plan is to have as few caps as possible. Nizov says, you seem to do fine after all. Well done and good night. Oh, good night, Nizov. I guess you are off. But yeah, I mean, this was a real struggle for a moment. In fact, it, I mean, it is still kind of a struggle. We're still, I mean, we're still at risk of losing everything to a nuke. From Egypt. But it's okay. Just next turn. We don't need to get anything in Celtic territory until we piece them. Looks like we've shut down any threat that the Celts were going to pose by getting them in the way here. I'll go and ask, is there anything you can buy with your faith? In a few turns, we'll be able to buy a scientist. But it's a thousand, the base cost. And the base cost is a thousand because we're on standard game pace now. So we can keep shooting down Dublin while we're here. Stealth Bomb is taking quite a lot of damage now, which is something we'll have to remember. This is why I was saying we'll probably have to use some XCOM slams to break into Egypt's final city. There are a lot of Celtic units pushing, pushing through America here. We just need to make sure that they can't actually recap now. Will they piece us? Apparently not. We can take the city. Almost makes sense to try it. Not like there. Oh, okay. Perfect. Create a puppet. Nice. 13 unhappiness now. Can we peace? Not yet. I know what we do to stay happy. Probably nothing can be done to stay happy. 13 unhappiness is pretty bad, but there's not a lot we can build to stay happy. We just hold too many cities. If we can piece the Celts at some point, we'll be okay. Maybe. But the problem is that we captured all the worst AIs first, not the best. Which means that we're struggling to stay happy because we haven't captured anything like Notre Dame. Building circuses. Lost our caravel. I don't know why the Celts seem so interested in doing war still. We actually probably should have built some of that international games in the end. Because there is, there, was, there is a bit of happiness in that. Maybe we can actually try and ally one of these city-states. 187 sounds like not a lot. Or sounds like too much, rather. And here, 172. Who do they want me to denounce? The Zulus, Kaisal. Oh, we actually lost... Oh, Hong Kong's our biggest now. But it will take us a long time to get Hong Kong. We actually lost Zurich at some point. Oh, did we lose? Did we get Sam Samarkand died, did it? It did. That's why our happiness is so bad, because Samarkand died. Well, we can bomb our gold on something like this for jewellery and pearls, and it'd be like 11 happiness. Don't know that we need it. Like, all we need to do is dispense of, like, Boston and Dublin or something. And we'll be okay. What's the Syria got in Assur? Porcelain Tower and Statue of Zeus. So there's still nothing there. Well. Boudicca still won't peace. And it's not its not that like not piecing Boudicca is a particular problem for us. It does slow us down a bit, mind. We've got some meme clads. I 
guess Boudica definitely doesn't like us, though. We're picking off all these American units. Oh, I'm Shadowfax says this is versus the AI. Yes, it is versus the AI. Oh, Lion says it would be pretty easy to liberate Samarkand with stealth, yeah? Oh, actually, it would do. That's a good idea. We could think about liberating Samarkand with stealth, although I don't know that we need it. Our main problem here is not... I mean, we, we can fix happiness relatively easily if we wanted to. And doing it with Samarkand might be a good idea, but we don't want to go back to war with America again is the thing. Now we can drop 2k gold in here and that would do it. Maybe we do. Because that's us to 9 now, which is quite nice. And then we'll complete some circuses and stuff, which will bring us to a better number. Well, Shadow, Shadow Fact says, do you prefer Civ 5 or 6? Civ 6 PCJ Law. Um, Civ 5, which is what I'm playing right now. But welcome to the stream. Just having a bit of fun as England. Ormus is annoying. They're actually coming for Dublin. We need to... Ah, oh, Shadow Fact says, thanks, I love Civ. Yeah, well, me too, which is why I'm streaming it. We need to we need to break this Celtic attack at some point. Like, why are they not piecing us yet? I mean, we can defend Edinburgh, so I guess we just move our stealth bombers up and be happy about it and get rid of Boston. Save some happiness. So let's do that. If we know we can defend the cities, like, why not? So we can maybe give Boston away to someone. I was hoping to give it away to like a Syria after we piece a Syria or something. But maybe we can give it to India because we never have to attack India. In fact, yeah, that's a good idea. Give it to India. Because we never actually have to attack India. Okay, so we gave India Boston now. Kind of breaks our city connection, but that seems fine. Gun says, you've been at war for less than 10 turns. That's probably why. Oh, yeah, good point, actually. But yeah, Egypt's winning the international games is a bit scary. There's not a lot we can do it though. Do about it. I guess we've been killing them quite quickly, huh? We actually need to secure Dublin by finishing off all of this city-state garbage. We also need to finish off all of this stuff that's in here. Like, I'm sure if we just eliminate Boudicca's army a bit, that will also help our cause. This Zulu fleet is now here. Do the Zulus want to war us? That feels bad. We really could have done with the Zulus going to war with anyone else. Maybe that's something that we can solve still. This army like finally arriving on our shores or something. Again, we can handle it, but it's just really annoying. Yeah, he went off to go get America, so I guess that's fine. Might, which probably should have been the Celts that we asked them to declare war on. Or Egypt. Okay, we can peace the Celts now, which is fine. Maybe we'll try and take their seven aluminium. Good. We now have peace with the Celts. That's perfect. That means we can go move straight on to Assyria. And that's, I guess, given us enough time to build up some more XCOM squads. And we've got an upgrade here for Bombardment. If we can get double shots at some point, that would be really good. Okay. Well, there's nothing left to do apart from declare war on Assyria right now. Still 13 unhappy, which means we need to ditch Dublin as soon as we can, basically. 104. Barb's in your territory. Oh, really? Oh, lol. There are some anti-tank guns. Good, we high rolled with that XCOM squad. I guess we can handle those quickly before moving along. It'll be nice to grab one more XCOM squad before we go anywhere. Before our gold runs out. Oh, we're kind of producing them fast enough anyway. As long as we don't lose any, we'll be okay. So let's start the war against Assyria. First, can we convince them to war anyone else? That might be quite nice if Assyria would war the Zulus or something. Oh, we can't do that. Okay, that's fine. Can we actually convince the Zulus to war Egypt as well? No, oh, okay, we can't. That's fine. 
But yeah, we don't really need, need science buildings anymore. That's very true. We could sell them off. I like that they are producing us gold right now. So I do like to keep them around. But anyway. Because we're getting gold from science buildings. I mean, while we... Just kill this thing. While we don't need to delete them, I won't worry about deleting them. And I guess we can just do our 6x compare drop. And look, there's a nice juicy caravan for us there. Or maybe it's like 4x compare drop because we can't quite get this around. This one next. Landing on the cotton. Landing on the other cotton. And it is the full 6x com drop. So we managed to drop into 5 tiles around the city. And then we can just drop in here for the 6th. But we are actually getting gold from them. Not that it really matters because we're running a massive negative deficit. But we'll also get gold from capturing cities, which is quite helpful. We are war with any city states we don't need to be. No, good. None we contribute either, which is a shame. But it's fine. We've got some extra XCOMs that can come along anyway. We will need another city of something like Akaten. So we'll need to exchange Dublin for, for Akaten at some point and have a bit of fun with our... If we can box those barbs in, actually, it might be best for us just to leave the barb alive. Because maybe it will stop other barbs spawning. I don't know. I don't know what kind of happens in, in the context of rebellions like that. Well, this, does the Celts want to trade? No. We nearly lost an XCOM here. We should do our best to save XCOMs where we can. Because it does take us a long, long time to build them. So let us do that. Now we can start on the city because we actually can't reach the units. It's taking quite a lot of damage. I mean, it can't die this turn, but it can die soon for sure. We need to drop another XCOM squad to occupy the space that's been left by the infantry that we killed. So this one right here. And we can at least pillage with this one. Try and heal. I mean, we won't heal, but I guess at least we're fortified. I talked about trying to leave that bar behind. We'll just let it. <laughs> we'll just kill. That's fine. What do we need to do now? I mean, we're still unhappy. Which is a bit of a problem. But I guess we'll get there eventually. The problem is Dublin. It's just too much unhappiness that we got from it. Because of the population. It's 11 population we don't need to be holding. Which is pretty much all the difference at this point. Gandhi could trade with us though for spices. Cool. <laughs> but that helps. Alright well let's see if we can get us her next turn. Should be able to. And then once we have. I mean it's probably almost better to. Take Efequini. I guess, to shoot at the Zulu capital of Alundi from. Although I don't particularly like going after the Zulus right now because all their units are like right here. Which is not the best place to be in the world. Alright, let's bomb Asur. Trouble is, we've got we've to go after someone at some point. Is it the Zulus or is it Egypt? I mean, it's certainly the Zulus, but we've got that big Zulu navy to handle. Which is really annoying. It would have been nice if we had some submarines of our own to defend our lands at home. Like a set of five or six subs would have been more than enough to make sure we were safe. But that is not what we have. But our sir is ours. 14 unhappy. We're going to have to deal with that for the moment. I guess we capture something good in here. Broadcast Tower, Statue of Zeus. Again, we just captured no good wonders because we've gone after the, the worst AI, the ones that have been getting killed first. Let's make sure to defend Asur. These inland cities are fine, but I'm actually worried about our, our own cities and how they can stand up. It would be good if we had anything like missile cruisers or submarines or anything. I don't know what that needs to be. Maybe it's a sub. And, like drop one in ahead of some of these XCOMs because we're doing okay with the XCOMs that we've got. 
would very much like a, a couple of submarines just to shore up against the Zulu. Or maybe that's what we buy because we can't really afford anything else. It's like two subs. Spend the last of our gold on that so we can get triple wolf pack on the submarines. Because this Zulu Navy is not particularly strong apart from a couple of subs that are hanging around. Okay, and we can rebase towards the Syrian territory next turn, which means that we'll be able to get rid of... Okay, we're being denounced by Gandhi. It would be really good if Shaka was at war with Egypt. Like, really, really, really good. Delhi's easy. Thieves is going to be hard. But Thieves has got a load of rubbish units. I'm Shadow Fact says, Gandhi will nuke you. Well, I hope he doesn't, because we're not at war with Gandhi. If we can liberate some of Gandhi's stuff, that would be good. We need to get rid of Dublin, though. It's holding it is currently a problem. But let's move along, and we'll just give Gandhi Dublin, too. For free, and hopefully that will start getting Gandhi to like us. Or for gold, whatever works, really. Yeah, so Ethic Weenie's probably a better city for us to go get. But let's give away Dublin now. Can we try and give Dublin to... No, not to the Zulus at all. It would be nice to give Dublin to Egypt. To declare war on Shaka. Cool. So that serves our purposes nicely. So we've given Dublin away to Egypt to get Egypt at war with Shaka. Oh, we've got a bot here. <laughs> don't trust Gandhi, a big warmonger. I certainly don't trust Gandhi. But... We're doing okay right now, at least. We can take Ethic Queenie with whatever we've got in Asur. That's going to be fine. We're down to 11 unhappiness. We're not really saving as much happiness as I'd have liked, but that's because we're giving up unique luxuries and stuff along the way. I wonder if Assyria will peace us now. No. Okay. Oh, it's unfortunate. Not a lot we can do about that. So, we just need to heal the stuff that's in Assur. Different Brain says, let me see Tears of Heroes. Did you get it? Oh, yes, we did get it, actually. Good point. We we could annex it, but I can't rename it without annexing it. And annexing it currently gives us massive unhappiness problems. Because we've taken all of the rubbish capitals. We need, we need Delhi. 31 wonders. Kind of crazy. But yes, here is Tears of Heroes. We did finally get it, Dripper Brain. Washington. Which we can't rename yet because it'll make us mega unhappy, but we will rename it as soon as it makes sense. There's not a lot else we can do for happiness apart from liberating Samarkand. Unless there's something else that we could liberate. I don't know if there is, actually. It would be going after America. It might have been wise to have liberated Samarkand while we were there. Let's see, world leader us. Again, Egypt is getting very close. We've got a couple of spies going around now. What do we need to where do we need to put them? We haven't got one in Delhi. So we need one. And we could also do with one. Oh, we can tribute Sidon. And where else could we do with one? I mean, nowhere really. No Bamba, maybe? Just for vision. There is no Bamba. It's like 24 pop, is it? Yeah, 24 pop. Cool. So apparently we're still facing some Assyrian pressure. Maybe we actually do want to go for Ak Akhetaten. But I'm really worried about facing up against Zulu Navy. That would be annoying. I'd rather just peace Assyria when we get the chance. It's probably not been long enough, as someone pointed out to me earlier. There probably just needs to be a finite amount of time in the war before we can get peace. But Assyria doesn't have a lot of units. We can just not care about them at some point. Does Assyria have, like, an airport? No. Oh, no, we don't want to annex this. Well, at Katartan, we can take... We're worried about Shaka's navy. Hopefully we can just kill it. 
The advantage of Akutartan is that it doesn't have any pop. Jack does have a triplane and a carrier there. That stops us having to worry about. I mean, the pro. No, you know what? I want to take it. F heck weenie. I just do. Because that's a Zulu staging post. We'll get Zulu units come running in towards Asur if we don't. So I would really like to take F heck weenie. Let's just get out of there. Make another proposal. Uh, maybe it's just like natural heritage sites again for fun. Keep trying this piece with Assyria. It's not happening though. At some point we just have to declare war on the Zulus and hope for the best. But they are at war with Egypt's now. Egypt's got a massive army which I'm sure is just nukes. We might have to weather a storm a bit with Zulu units around our cities. I mean, or we can just defend Asur for a while. But this doesn't look good for us. There's a load of trash. Can we actually reach from here? Yeah, we can. Perfect. Well, we need to figure out what to do. We're a bit short of XCOMs, I think. Which is what these ones over here are for. We'll have four or five XCOMs that we can actually use in against the Zulu. Let's maybe wait a couple of turns just to see if we can get peace with Assyria. Didn't even raise that Katartan if we really wanted to. Plant our own stupid city in there. Can't really do that now. Just move back. There's no need to be there. I really want to start the war with the Zulu now. It's going to slow us down otherwise. Yeah, why not? YOLO. Three more natives to go, says Dripper Brain. Indeed, just three more. And then we'll own everything. Alright, let's just war the Zulu. I'm, I'm bored of standing here waiting. So. Aggression never hurt. Let's just bomb stuff. Kill it first. Then we have this XCOM that was inside the Sur. What we don't want to do is lose the Sur right now. So let's just get these out. Another general, which is cool. The Zulu settler in there. We can just here we go. Look, the Zulu navy, I think, swam towards Egypt and then it might have gotten killed. Which would be perfect if that did happen. We just need to sit around in Edinburgh for a moment and chill. I think. It's almost like we could rebase some of this stuff to York. Or Bratislava. The trouble is, I don't want to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We could rebase to Bratislava. The problem with doing that is I don't want to get the stuff nuked. I'm pretty sure holding our stealth bombers in places like Elundi and F. Hequini is going to be less nukeable. India so I want to hold them in those cities rather than our capital which is highly likely to get nuked really see where any of these Zulu armies go but I'm hoping they'll just smash into a lot of Egyptian stuff Egypt's got nuclear subs That's kind of crazy. And we can take a round of bombardment here. I wonder if Egypt's planning to war us. Hope not. They war with the Celts or something. The Zulus and Assyria. It'd be nice to get them to war with the Celts in some way. We don't have anything to give them right now to do it. What's going on here near Ethequini? Just need to have another round of shooting stuff, I think. And then we should be all good to go for attacking the city.
Or do we just go for the Zulu cap? A few rounds of stealth bomber shots might just take the capital down instead, and then we don't have to worry about it. But we need a staging post to go after something like Delhi. XCOM squads improved at home. Yeah, and there's not a lot we can do with these ones that are stationed in Edinburgh. Apparently this cargo needs to be told to do something again. Production for sure. But let's sleep all of this stuff and hope that nothing comes of Egypt's units near our borders. I don't know why the two atomic bombs on here, which is something that we have to be aware of. I would love to track where that is and sink it the moment we declare war on Egypt ourselves. Arrows and triplanes, and those are the two atomic bombs. He wants to give us Atka 10 for peace. I don't want Atka 10, but we will make peace. I'll take your 21 gold per turn and your 11 aluminium and your 58 gold. How much aluminium? Five. Okay, that's fine. So we got peace with Assyria now. So just the Zulus and Egypt's left. Those nukes are going to be painful and we're never going to get telecoms. So we just have to hope that we don't get our stealth bombers nuked. Bratislava, but I was a settler. Really? We still got a bomber in here. I didn't even notice. Probably should have upgraded it. It's fine. We'll do it with our next set of city capture gold. So, take this city. Probably on the next turn, actually. But we can pillage and move around to see if we can get these great generals. And now that we've got peace with Assyria, we can just drop in like this. Probably don't need any more than these. Oh. Drip of Rain says, Why? wait, aren't, aren't you can just ban nukes? So we could do that, but it doesn't remove the already existing nukes. As Guren says, it only stops new nukes from being produced. That's a bit of a different thing, sadly. Yeah, we just need to wait again with these stealths. This is the problem right now. This is why we're trying to take Efek Queenie, because we need a staging point for these stealth bombers. Let's really hope that Egypt's not coming to war us right now. We could do with maybe two or three more turns. I'm hoping they're just going for the Zulus or something somewhere. Which does look to be the case. These two atomic bombs are sitting right here. We just need to get our... We need to get our submarines like right next to this carrier. And just sink it the moment the war starts. So let's surround this thing and try and keep track of it every turn. Because that could be where the majority of their nuclear missiles are. And honestly, it could be the ones that come for our capital. Okay, so this is Ethic Weenie dead. Just need to kill some of the stuff around it so that we can't get recapped. Brit puppet. That's made us quite unhappy. Yeah. Well, I guess we can get rid of it. And we got this thing surrounded, so we can just go and rebase straight there. And we get vision of both cities. Unfortunately, we can't. Making it really slow for me to do this rebasing. So we can move across. Oh, you can raise it down to one pop, right? Yeah, we can, actually. That's true. I didn't think about that. Where's Kaisel on the map? Here's Kaisel. You can ask for tribute here. Save some gold. Yeah, we can actually raise it down to one pop, but like one pop is one happiness. That's not really much of a difference to us at this point. Oh, we can upgrade this bomber to stealth. Like one pop doesn't even get us below this 13 mark. Our apologies, we will leave them alone. Okay, 
I don't see why Gandhi is the one who hated us for tributing Kaisel. What's in Delhi? Fighters and bombers. Okay. Now let's hope that Assur and Efek Queenie aren't the places that get nuked by Egypt. If they are, we might struggle to win this game. But if they aren't, we'll probably win the game. Atomic bomb. I'm pretty sure that one of these atomic bombs just got moved. I don't know where to. Do carrier incoming here. Where's our fourth sub? Oh, we've got one here. It's in York. Oh. There's the double abo atomic bomb one. So there's actually more here. I don't know if... They probably pledged them. Yeah, that's true, Gurren. That is very true. I don't know if... Um, okay, so here's all the Zulu army. So this is why I wanted to take Efek Weenie as opposed to having Ak... At Hatartan because of all of this navy that's in the water. Right now, this navy cannot touch our inland cities. Which is just perfect for us. And we need range. I forgot to take range on a couple of these stealths, which is really annoying. Which means we need to do some switching. Apparently, or to just fight and kill a Lundi with what we've got. Which is probably actually all we need to do. We'll just use those stealths to deal with the home problem. It might even be that we bail out of Efek Queenie as soon as we've got Alundi down to quite low health. Because what we could do about... Oh, no, I'm shooting no Bamba for... Oh, my God, that did not need to happen. We've wasted some shots there. Oh, Jipper Brain said, did everyone die already? Yeah, everybody got killed. So, sadly, what happened was we, we tried to kill America with those longbowmen upgraded to Gatling guns, and they just got wrecked big time wrecked so they all died uh, and then america came in and captured the two cities that we own so we actually ended up going three cities into the end game here to try and win it it's kind of crazy that we're even being moderately successful right now we can put we can put the stealth bomber in york right i mean it's a bit exposed but it would help us kill delhi faster i mean what we really need to do is just make sure that the stealth bombers go in somewhere else later we need to drop some XCOM squads on Lundi next turn. It's got a lot of combat strength. Peeves has got 171 now. Apparently we've got these anti-tank guns spawn again. That's that dealt with. We need to take... Yep those promotions so we can go after Alundi again and we do need to definitely drop our XCOMs in next turn and then just see it out with Shaka yeah Alundi's going down shame we have not been at war with them for very long because I would very much like to peace don't want to take no Bamba at all What do we need to do? Yeah, Gurenberg is indeed gone. Sadly. We just want to shoot some stuff to get some levels. We can. Maybe we'll just bombard things like the frigates and the ironclads for a bit. And we need to drop XCOMs in. So the ones at the back are the best choices. And the ones in the cities. We probably do only need the three. Sidon, we're not at war with yet. I think this one's the best choice to move. And why have we not dropped in some of these? Okay, I need to pee quickly and then let's finish this game off.
and a writer are looking for somebody who brings everything to the table. You know, who brings heart, who brings their vision, and particularly who bring their brain to the table. So that uh, they're aware of what they're doing and they're making conscious choices. Okay, I'm back. We just need to figure out how we're going to win the game. Hopefully it's a bit of a straightforward ride from here. The Egyptian atomic bomb carriers have all gone up there. So we need to swing our submarines away with them. There's so many Egyptian atomic bombs, this is unreal. We're not even going to be able to sink them all on turn zero unless we stealth bomber a couple, which I guess we'll have to do. But we can finish off the Zulu capital next turn. And then I wonder if we actually do wait for peace with the Zulus before we go after Egypt. Did Prague die? Might have lost our city-state. Another one. And I think we're starting to get our trade routes pillaged by random Zulu things. Okay, so where are these atomic bombs going? There's one bomb there now. Let's just keep a track of that. There's the other two bombs. That's the really valuable one to kill. Where there's two atomic bombs. For sure. And then we can take the Zulu cap now. Sure. That will become ours. Good. So we've got a Lundi. What else can we do here with the Zulu? We need to kill some units to stop them recapping. But I think this is going to be one of these situations where we might have to recap for a little bit. It's okay. Not a problem. But we can use this one to go cap a Lundi because it's already at low health. 25 unhappiness now. Kind of ridiculous. We need to get rid of F. Hekwini. Don't know what we do here. I think we still train the units. 25 unhappiness is kind of brutal. I mean, how are we supposed to kill anyone with that? How do you get happy? Get rid of Portland is actually what we do. I can't believe we still got Portland. We've been holding it for a long, long time, but we need to get rid of it. Let's give it to Gandhi. Hello, Mr. Gandhi. Would you like the city of Portland to declare war on Egypt? No. Okay. Would you like it for seven gold per turn? No, just take Portland then. Okay, that's got us to 17. We're still marshalling the atomic bombs, which is fine. And then if we get rid of Ethic Weenie, that'll be another couple of unhappiness we lose to. We kind of need to take Delhi first. Taking Delhi will probably solve a lot of our problems. I imagine Delhi is where a lot of wonders lie. Shaka wants peace. He wants to give us... Wait, what? No, we own Alundi. Okay, Shaka wants peace, and we've got peace now with Alundi. Which leaves us just... The two Indian owned, no, Indian, Egyptian owned cities to go and take. We have a great artist, which we can bulb. And then this stealth bomber that can now take logistics. Perfect. Trouble is, logistics is not going to be that valuable to us because we're running up against quite high, quite high combat strength cities. Do we need to... So we need to go after Delhi now, right? And the idea is to take Delhi basically on turn one of the war. To leave whatever we've got left to go after Thebes on turn two. Where's where's Egypt's atomic bomb carrier? Let's run all the way over here. That's the one we want to sink. Although it would do us well to sink that one too. We don't. We only have a finite number of submarines to use. 
Like, this is the one that can nuke us. This can't nuke us on turn zero. This can nuke us on turn zero. In fact, they probably both can. I wonder what the approach is. The approach is definitely to take Delhi on turn turn zero of the war. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And then we're how far are we from Thebes here? So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we actually need to keep Ethek Queenie as it happens. Or we put Stealth Bombers in Alundi, but I am not comfortable with that at all. So I think what we do then, if we've got all of our shots available, which we do, we can go after Egypt's now. And hoping Egypt having Dublin is going to be fine. Because the point is, we gave them Dublin. There's no way for them to get any units there. This 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 stuff is going to be a pain, though. We might we might lose a couple of our expansions. So the hope is that we don't lose the cap. We need to get around this side before we do anything with these submarines. Which is the atomic bomb carrier? That one. Okay. Can we kill it with this then? Okay, that's that atomic bomb carrier dead. And then that is the best that we can do there. We then need to go after Delhi. So let's make sure to get it on the next turn, which I'm pretty sure we've got the firepower to do. We definitely do. Yes, we do, for sure. If that Queenie is not being... It is actually being challenged by Sidon as well, but it's only being challenged from one side. It means that we can give up the XCOM squads on the other side. So we can just do sort of a three-line barrier around here like that. And then, similarly, the ones in Alundi are no longer needed. So we can go and do that. And then we actually do just need to find an XCOM safe space. Because right next to our capital is not a safe space. Right now, for sure. And so our XCOM safe space is probably actually by Washington. So let's just move all of our XCOMs over there because they're guaranteed to get attacked. They're going to guarantee to get nuked otherwise. Oh, great. I forgot to drop an XCOM. Got a bit of derpy movement. That's going to mean a couple of turns that we lose with that XCOM. We don't even have to keep this XCOM squad really in the Citadel anymore. Even move this general around. Push this worker back, expecting to get nuked. And then this general can just move around, I guess. Not really a lot else to do. So can we can we reach... Yeah, we can reach Thieves from there, which is fine. We can start bombing Thebes next turn. And if we want to do that, we'll actually need to drop into Thebes. We actually can't do that this turn because we just dropped everyone. So I guess we do that next turn now. We've got any spare XCOMs around at all. Just these three blocking at Sidon. It's fine, we'll wait a turn. Let's hope this isn't too painful for us. We've actually got oh, we've actually got a second shot here with a stealth bomber. I can't reach Thebes. It will be able to from Delhi or Ethequini. Got two shots, but we actually just want to heal. Okay, the moment of truth turn then. Will Egypt use their nukes on us? Then we can send production to Alundi. I don't think we need to do that. Probably just send to something like Riga. For gold. Try not to lose too much. And then see where we get nuked. If we get nuked, but I imagine we will get nuked. It just makes sense as a thing that's going to happen. Still keep track of the nuke carriers. We lost our submarine to the nuke sub. That was always going to happen. And yeah, their stuff has moved now. And I don't know where it's gone. And we need to find out so that we can sink it. They moved it all off the submarine, actually. But we didn't get nuked. 
anywhere last turn. Which is perfect. And we've got logistics now. On some stuff. And we've actually just finished another XCOM. Oh, another two XCOM. Perfect. Well, that's probably just what we need to win this game. Logistics as well. Although anti-city promotions probably would have been better. Uh, we need to create a puppet here in Delhi. 24 unhappiness now. I suppose attacking Thebes is a suicide mission for these. It certainly is. So can we get the surround on Delhi? And can we get the surround on Thebes? Because what we need to do now is we need to use XCOM slams to break Thebes open. The idea. So Thebes right now has got too much combat strength. When our stealth bombers attack it, our stealth bombers will die. So what we need to do is slam Thebes down to low enough combat strength with the XCOM squads that we have to then enable our bombers to go in and be able to actually attack the city. So that's what we're doing. Just lining up the XCOMs to go in. We're going to need a lot of these. But that's why those extra three that we just built are kind of very important. It's also why we don't want to pillage yet because we want to pillage to heal. Is this going to XCOM drop for me? Can we actually XCOM... Oh, we can't actually XCOM drop there. It's too far away. We can land here, then pillage, then move away. Okay. So then we got these three extra XCOMs. What they need to do is defend Delhi. Because if we defend Delhi, then what we can do is we can put the rest of our stealth bombers in Delhi. Although that seems like a risky proposition because we know those nuke carriers are right nearby I don't know where they've gone oh the nuke is in Asiut it's not good I don't know where the nuke carrier has gone here probably stealth bomb of this marine with that and then we've got these units. I really don't want to put these stealth bombs in Delhi, but they are virtually useless to us otherwise. Just attack some stuff, I guess, with these stealths. For XP purposes. Although, I'm pretty sure that was more than it was worth to take attacking this rocket arty. Yeah, it really was more than it was worth to take. We'll probably just keep these as backups in case their thick weenie gets nuked. That's probably a better choice right now. Can any of these reach far enough? No, we could rebase to Alundi, I guess. Alundi seems like it's not threatened at all. So why don't we actually rebase these to Alundi? That could be a good idea, because then we can actually get all of these stealth bombers shooting on the next turn on Thebes. And if Egypt dithers, we might even be able to take them in a couple of turns time. We certainly won't be able to take them on turn zero. Just sink some in there. Go hang the general out. Also, our 20... 24 unhappiness is pretty prohibitive to doing anything useful. What, what's happening? Did we get nuked? Not in our main cities. Not in Delhi. Not in Alundi and not in Ethekwini. Perfect. Okay, so the next task then is to see what we can do to Thebes. Yeah, we basically die, which means we need to use some slams. So, pillage and slam. Slam. Slam, 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 and wait. I guess we keep moving around with this one. Does that mean we've now got the ability to attack? Maybe. We're going to need to take some damage on some stealths to get there. 
We need to make sure we don't double attack with anything that's going to die. We've got some land stolen. Oh no, it's a city revolt brewing. Oh no. So, a city will revolt in five turns. The city most likely to revolt is Alundi and it will join the Zulu. So we have to win the game in five turns. Scott says, what a grueling game. I know. But I think we're nearly there. As we... Make progress. We've got five turns to win. Delhi doesn't seem particularly threatened right now. We just need to make sure that we can keep up the assault on Thebes, potentially. The XCOM slams that we used broke, broke the city down a bit, but not enough. So we need to hope that the heals that we get over the end turn are enough. And we've got to do it within six turns. Really, we can't attack from here. It's fine, let's just put this in Delhi. I don't know where the nuclear bomb aircraft carriers went anymore, but they appear to not be around. But yeah, we might actually do this though, which I'm pretty, pretty pleased with. I don't know what we need to power drop, but we don't want to lose Delhi, although Delhi is the easiest one to retake. So perhaps we sort of don't mind it. Let's drop this one there and just sleep. Let's see if Egypt dithers a bit. Fingers crossed. Dirty unhappiness is wild. We lost three XCOMs here. So we need to replace them with some new ones. Delhi, we, um, we might actually lose if we don't shore it up though. So we can't use those. We'll pull that out. We're being attacked by the city-state here in Efequini. That might be one that we can give up. Pillage and move. Pillage and pillage. So again, we could do some big damage with the XCOMs. What sort of damage do the Stealth Bombers take? They all die now, don't they? So they need another couple of turns of healing before they can have another go. Although some of them might be okay to have a go now. Like these. Like that, maybe. Don't really want to expend all the XCOM too soon. But we do need to keep the pressure up now, otherwise we will certainly lose in five turns, because we'll lose a Lundi. Then maybe we can come in for one more big go in a couple of turns' time. But this XCOM that will be healed... Can't give up the ones in Delhi. Can't actually shoot though with the stealth bomber in Delhi. Are we really? We still can't reach Thebes? That's kind of crazy. One tile. There's not a lot we can do about that. Apart from to rebase one of these over. Maybe one with range can move. Like this stealth bomber. The one with range can move to Delhi. Then the Delhi one can move over to Alundi. Then when's our next XCOM squad come in one turn? I would love to have like three more right now. That would be perfect. This. Right plane and a bomber. Okay. Hopefully Shaka can do some damage too. I don't know when is the correct time to go after Thebes here. Whether or not we go now or we wait or what. An archaeologist and a bomber in there. But yeah, it's for natural heritage sites. Running out of time though. Our empire is very unhappy, which is actually probably the main reason why we're taking so much damage. But there's no there's no way to do this unless we switch ideology. How do we do that? Does that make sense to do now? How do we do that? How, how does one switch ideology? You'll gain 46 happiness, but possess too few tenants in the tree. We just switch to ideology. We don't need the production. We've got everything that we need to win. We just switch next turn. <laughs> Get happy. That'll increase our combat strength a lot. Which I'm sure is one of the big reasons why we're not winning. 
Let's just like produce this X. Like what happens when we switch ideology? Okay. Two turns of anarchy where we'll produce nothing. But we gain 46 happiness. Yeah, 46 happiness will put us into the green. So, and two turns of doing nothing. Maybe we just do it. Like, and like YOLO. Probably. Next turn or this turn. We'll take a lot of damage over the end turn. Oh, not much damage in anything that we care about though. Okay, let's do it. Next turn. That'll make all of our units just better. Yeah, see, we took some damage, but not too much. But it will matter for the combat strength of our units, I guess. And it will stop us from losing in five turns as well if we don't complete the conquest. We've got a new XCOM, hopefully. Yeah, we do. Perfect. That's more than enough. Let's just switch. Okay. Happiness from monuments. Happiness from workshops and factories. And then we can take... I mean, we just need Happiness Still, Academy of Sciences. Perfect. Didn't stop modern armors spawning in our land, though. Pretty sure that doesn't matter, though, at this point. <laughs> okay, so cheeky ideology switch. How does that net out now for our stealth bomber attacks on Thebes? Oh, so much better. This is almost like win the game this turn better. This is so good. Should have done that last turn, or maybe the turn before. Can actually even do two attacks on Alundi with this stealth bomber. We didn't get nuked anywhere important. We didn't lose anything. Let's just see what we can actually afford to bomb Thebes with without dying. I'm pretty sure it's everything. I think we're doing it. Got a nice full health one here. Chat. I think we're doing it. Victory. The world has been convulsed by war. Wow. Many great and powerful civilizations have fallen, but you have survived. That was something else. Victorious. Like, how are we ever supposed to win that game? <laughs> yeah, Thebes really was agony. It's crazy. But it just shows what the unhappiness modifier can do to your. Our overall combat strength is ridiculous. But we won. I actually cannot believe we won that one. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Uh, uh, welcome to the stream, Paul Kana 1337. Welcome. Unfortunately, you've just joined in to catch the end. Going says GG and well, well, well done, well done. Thank you very much. It only, it only took us sacrificing literally everybody we named the unit after. <laughs> to win the game but it did get one in the end which is i guess all that matters so we did win the game in the end the task of this game well it was it was to reclaim lands that once were, that were once owned by the british empire so we killed the, we had the celts that were in the game because well the celts are part of england we had america in the game because america rose up for independence we had India in the game because India gained independence. We had Egypt in the game because the British used to hold Egypt. We had the Zulus in the game because I believe the British also used to own parts of South Africa where the Zulu tribe were. We had, who else did we have in the game? We had Assyria in the game because I believe the British used to hold, used to hold the part of the Middle East where um, Assyria were. And then who else did we have in the game? Well, I think, I think we counted everybody. So all in all, six ais whose land we took so thank you very much for the ggs everybody oh you forgot china that's true did 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 um i mean china was never in this game but did 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 the british own parts of china i guess they might have owned some bits here and there you need to take hong kong <laughs> oh lol i totally forgot about that i probably should have made a point about doing that but we did succeed in our goal to dominate the world own the capitals of every civilization that used to be owned by the British. Fairly interesting. And we got our Augustus Caesar ranking as per usual, I guess, for a domination victory. It's very hard not to get Augustus Caesar when you're doing domination because taking all of the capitals tends to give you loads of score. We can maybe check how the map went while we chill. 
You also need to give away the opium luxury resource, lol. <laughs> but yeah, let's have a look at this. Um, and then it is indeed time for goodnight. So yes, goodnight, Scott. <laughs> yeah, the opium one might be a mod. Interesting to see this map pan out. Here's us in our little corner. Definitely going for City Sim because we expected to go to war with America rather than to do any sort of simming. Otherwise, we'd have probably founded another couple of extra cities in here somewhere to make it worth our while. But I think the problem really was going... I mean, one of the problems was probably going after... I'd never noticed the Celts flipped that city. Oh. But if we have a look at our, how our war progressed, we can see that we... We capture and raise this American city at some point in here. So cap and raise, and then cap and raise. But then we just hit a massive stalemate here when the Americans got Minutemen, which basically meant our longbowmen couldn't do enough damage anymore. But we eventually captured Boston. We held it for a while, and we were doing a nice little five-city sim to stealth. Uh, but we tried to attack America. It didn't go well. Got peace, but then America declared war on us, and we're unfortunately able to flip two cities. So we had to sim on three cities, even though we were playing five city cost of science. And we didn't have, we actually didn't have our three core cities worthwhile of a three city empire. With a three city empire, every city needs to be very strong. And we only had a good capital. In fact, all of our expansions were pretty terrible, but were helped basically by the fact that we had hammers from exploration. And the idea was that they're great five city cities, but they weren't any good three city cities, which is why we needed more land. But we had to make do with what we had. So we turned it into a sim to stealth. Fortunately, America's very backwards in tech. So we were able to beat them down with regular bombers. Which we're just about to see here. But there we go. We're making some progress against America. Beating them down with regular bombers. Taking their cities. And then this is the point where we got stealth bombers. Which then enabled us to reach the Celtic capital of Edinburgh. And take a second city to give us a staging point to go after Assyria. Taking the Assyrian capital right there, gifting away some of these other cities that we owned because we couldn't handle the happiness and we didn't need them anymore. We only needed them as staging point cities, not as whole cities because you only need to hold the capitals. So after we got Assyria, we looked for peace and declared war on the Zulus. Captured this Zulu city here again as a staging point before going after the, the capital of Lundi in here. We then declared war on Egypt immediately, attacked this, um, attacked and captured Delhi on the first turn of the war, the, well, first turn, we bombed it down to zero. Second turn, we captured it. We also, on the first turn of the war, sank the double atomic bomb aircraft carrier that Egypt had in the north. But apparently Egypt doesn't use atomic bombs immediately when they're at war. I guess they need to be provoked. And then we spent just a couple of turns figuring out how to take Thebes before we realized that switching ideologies would take us from <laughs> minus 30 unhappiness to about positive 20 almost, which meant that our stealth bombers actually became regular effectiveness again they were failing in attacking thebes when we were at minus 30 unhappiness because having unhappiness actually reduces your combat efficiency but once we figured it out we switched to order and capture the capital city of thebes for the win so thank you very much for watching everybody that has been well that that has been something that game it really has i uh i did not expect to win it after capturing two cities well i mean i hope to win it but you never really know how it goes yeah, depressed pilots, <laughs> indeed. That's kind of funny, maybe that's what it is. It's like pilot depression or something, or like pilots losing the will to do bombing or something. I don't really know. But we succeeded. We managed to claim the victory. And so that brings us to the end of this England stream, recapturing the British Empire. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Um, I will see you next time on Friday, where we're hopefully going to be playing some multiplayer if we find a game. Otherwise, we'll be back for Deity Single Player as per usual. It'll be 6.30 p.m. UK time on Friday. That's 7.30 p.m. Uh, Central European time. And it's also 1.30 p.m. New York time. So I will see you around then.